Yo. What's going on here then? What's what's going on? What are you all doing? Lying around. It's a disgrace, chat. It's a disgrace. New World? Yeah, that song's really nice, actually. That's why I played it. You know, I added some, um... I added some Warcraft 3 music. I don't know if that's played yet, actually. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Yeah, we'll see. Let's go. I wash them on the doorstep. Well, I mean, I guess that's convenient, isn't it? By the way, thank you very much to Full Potato for the 32 billion year resub. We love to see that. We really do. Trig in the chat. And you know what? I'm going to be permabanning Trig, guys, because I'm going to start talking about Heal Untamed and Heal Catalyst, and this guy is just going to be coping, dude. He's going to be coping so hard. Oh, my God. It's going to be... It's going to be insane. Like, I don't want to see this cope. He's just going to be coping left and right. It's going to be crazy. If New World gameplay was anywhere near the quality of the soundtrack. And it would be good, wouldn't it? It would be a pleasant surprise if that was the case. I'm the number one heal untamed and heal cat a hater. Stop playing this. Oh, okay. Well, it looks like we're, uh, we're going to agree then. Because those builds suck. Let's be honest, guys. Let's be, uh, let's be real here for a moment. It's not good. <laughs> they are not real builds. You know, you can't say that as an Anet dev. You're actually not allowed to say that. Do you know what the subreddit would say if they saw you saying that? That it's not a real build? They wouldn't be happy, okay? They would not be happy whatsoever. <laughs> I love tier lists, guys. I love them. They're real to me, exactly. Like they're real to the, you know, the chat. The chat finds them real, and therefore they are real. Heal Warrior is the only real healer. Heal Bladesworn. I mean, Heal Bladesworn, not so much. Heal Berserker, it's actually quite good, uh, I think. It's really not that bad. Am I a horrible person for Deadeye roaming in World vs. World? Uh, no. Um, this is one thing that everyone should always learn. If you're mad because one build is insanely strong, um... Stop complaining and play that build. Uh, get good. That's pretty much the uh, the rule when it comes to games, especially very asymmetric games like World vs. World Roaming. Like, roaming is inherently um, rock, paper, scissors, basically, except it's rock, paper, scissors, dead eye. Or, well, it's rock, paper, scissors, thief, and thief beats everything. Um, stop crying about it, and if you don't like it, then play thief or don't roam. Uh, Thief is always going to dominate roaming just because it's fast and has stealth. Uh, if you don't like it, then, I uh, know, tough shit. Uh, get better. There it is. Yeah. There's very little counterplay. Yeah, that's just Thief, though, right? Like, Thief, in general, in World vs. World, doesn't have counterplay. Um, because you can't catch it, you know? And if you can't catch it, I mean, you, you can't really win. Unlucky. I'm dead to guards. The guards are too hard. It's over. Yeah. And actually, something that has no counterplay, I would say that's extremely strong. What's this? Uh, World vs. World is worse than it's ever been. Unless there is a responsive blob, there is no way, let alone reason, to vehemence this now. Uh, you know, I actually saw this post, and I think this post is so stupid that... I almost have enough motivation to make a squad and just show people how easy it is to defend things. And I honestly, the, the, the trick is, I think I could do it with people who don't even really play World vs. World. Um, 
This is a self-report. This is a skill issue. I'm sorry, guys. Everyone commenting here, this is a fucking skill issue. Uh, I really ought to do it. Because, like, are we in, like, a high tier right now? I mean, I have no idea. I don't, I don't really know what matchup we're in right now. But, yeah, we could easily defensive. You could easily hold most of these objectives with, like, ten people, uh, to be honest with you. Um, if you know what you're doing. And the thing is... People have this unhinged idea that five people should be able to hold off a full blob. No, obviously not. You should not be able to hold a 5v50. That doesn't make any sense. You should be able to stall them and slow them down in time for your team to arrive. Um, but you shouldn't be able to hold a 5v50. It's ridiculous. It doesn't make any sense. Yeah. To join a squad, you have to uh, join a Discord, ask for the password of the squad, then somehow you should be able to join. Um, did not manage it yet. Yeah, uh, things are pretty locked down these days. To be honest, I'm just gonna, hey, yo, Lord Fitter in the chat. I'll give you the rundown on why this is the case. Um, the Guild Wars 2 community is basically full of leeches. Um, and. It's really not fun to play with people who don't really want to put any effort in. So basically, any anyone who's putting in effort, because organizing groups is a lot of effort, right? Like, it's pretty high effort to organize groups. So anyone who does that stuff um, wants to prevent leeches from getting into the group, or basically useless people from entering the squad. Uh, and so that's why they do it privately like that. And this is a pretty big issue in the Guild Wars 2 community. Like, people are very low effort in this game. Um, they do not like putting in effort and have no respect for people who make groups, basically. So leaders typically do everything they can to prevent people like that from getting into the group. Give to battle on the wizard bolt, solved. Honestly, not really. It's not really a PvE problem. It's a, a player, a culture problem. Yeah. Isn't that the case for almost uh, all uh, MMOs? Um, I would say so, yes, but it's more of a problem in, in Guild Wars 2. What's difficult? Well, look, um, okay, so we had a filter in the guild, right? And the filter was, if you don't link your API, you get kicked from the guild. 80% of the NA guild failed that check. And we even had it in a bot on Discord. You just had to basically copy-paste your API key uh, into the bot on Discord. It took five seconds. 80% of the NA guild was cleansed on the spot. Kicked immediately. Uh, what can a new player do to get into it? Um, I mean, pretty much just join the Discord and away you go. Boom. Love to see it. I stopped tagging him Dragon's End because of this kind of people. The amount of people is huge. Yeah, it's why um, a lot of leaders, especially like open world leaders, either run private or have stopped playing entirely. Because it's just not fun to play with people who just refuse to engage with you and give nothing back and, and only take, right? It's very selfish. People don't really want to deal with that. Yeah. Um, and any struggles guys online? I would just uh, get in, I just ask people questions is the way to do this. And don't overthink it. It's mostly run around and smash buttons and capture the points, easy. Is linking API like a background um, skills check? Actually, no. It was actually just an activity check, nothing else. Um, I didn't... We weren't actually checking for anything on them. Like, you can check people's gear and stuff by doing that, but we weren't actually doing that uh, whatsoever. It was purely, can you do a very simple task? We didn't take any information from the users. Is it fair to not enjoy SAB? And of course, it's fair to not join any anything. Makes me think of uh, EVE Online. Yeah, the EVE Online API is really extensive, actually. It's pretty cool. But yeah. It, it, it's, it strikes me as very weird that people don't... Well, I, I guess it's because it reminds people of real life. But to me, it makes perfect sense that if you're joining a group the leader will check if you're appropriate for that group. You know, like that makes sense to me. I don't know why that wouldn't be the case, but I guess people don't like it because it reminds them of 
of the real world. Which is fair. <laughs> you, wait, where was this um, meme post? I saw a funny meme post about DPS on Dragon's End. Let me see if I can find it. Let's go. Where is it? Where is the meme post? Ah, yes. Here we go. This was, this was a funny post, guys. Here we go. 2% HP, Su-1 fail secrets revealed. The astonishing damage distribution of the 60 to 40% phase. That's big. <laughs> Top DPS is 20k. Bottom DPS is 845 DPS. We don't like to see that, guys. 1.3k DPS. <laughs> I mean, that's uh, you know, that's unfortunate. That's uh, you hate to see that. You know, what's actually funny about this is that this post. Okay, this is interesting, guys. Shout out to Awesomeness, Anet developer Awesomeness, who actually did, um, you know. Uh, wait, how did this post even come up, actually? But anyway, it's an old video. Mech's top DPS without even trying. Indeed. No excuse. I mean, yeah, there is no excuse, yeah. Soul crushing? Yeah, I mean, if you wipe on 0.1% on Dragon's End, that is a little bit soul crushing. I will admit that. You know, that doesn't feel good. Like, when that happens, it's not great. Tribulation? Man, I love Tribulation mode. I, I kind of like stuff like that, you know? I am, um, I, I'm always excited to watch when there's, like, a new um, a Kaizo Mario game come out, right? In particular, I, I love watching the gamers do the, like, Grand Pooh world, right? That sounds a little bit weird, but, look, it's... There's a streamer, Grand Pooh Bear, okay? And th th there's, like, a thing in the Kaizo Mario community. They kind of name their uh, ROM hacks after each other. And so this one's probably the most famous ROM hack, actually, um, is uh, kind of the Grand Pooh World series by uh, Barbarous King, also known as Barb. Really cool, actually. Some really interesting level design. Um, honestly, some of that's really cool. I ask, it's really fun. And uh, yeah, SAB Tribulation Mode really reminds me of that. It really reminds me of, um, of Kaizo Mario games. And it's very cool. I like it. I enjoy it. Yeah. I was fashion checking people around SAB. A fair number of people don't have a gear slot equipped. Well, to be fair, uh, it show if it's the um, if it's this stuff, if it's like the head, shoulders, or gloves, then you know that's you know that's different, right? Because you can hide those; it doesn't show up. You've got them hidden, so that's fair enough. I don't think we can. We don't. We can't really like roast. Oh yeah, I had Eve open. Whoops, had to close Eve real quick. I was hearing some slight Eve music in the background, so I thought, wait, what's going on here, actually? That's a bit weird, isn't it? And why do I hear Eve music? Oh, yeah, it's because I've got the game running in the background. I guess that makes sense, doesn't it? Is there another MMO where you can't gear check others for uh, instance content? I mean, probably. You know, the annoying thing is... Um, the annoying thing is about the whole gear check thing that really annoys me is that people being so resistant to basically putting in effort or having any kind of requirements has quite, in a, in a cruel twist of irony, gatekept people more than anything else. The, the biggest gatekeeper of casual players in this game is sadly casual players. Uh, because basically the conversation goes like this. They say, well, if you're going to use the LFG, don't use kill proof. And then the raid community said, okay, then we won't use the LFG. And it's kind of a, a surprise Pikachu face moment. Like, for some reason, like, the, the casual players, I guess, or the, I should say toxic casual players, thought it was like a, a bluff. And that, oh no, we'll give in to your demands. Uh, no, they didn't. 
uh, and now the LFG is dead, and now getting into this game as a new player is annoying. Um, way more annoying than it is in these horrible, toxic other games. Uh, very unfortunate stuff, to be honest. You honestly hate to see it. Yeah. But yeah. Yeah, I guess you can't re- Well, yeah, you can't really gear check people in EVE. Although I think that's actually very intentional, because they don't want you to know. Because everyone is a potential enemy. And they don't want you to be able to see what someone is flying before you attack them. I believe they're- Oh man, I'm actually not super tuned in on EVE. I bet there's some, like, modules you can use that can determine what people are running, actually, in some way. But I'm actually not totally sure about that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it always felt extremely intimidating with the gatekeeping sometimes. To us, there is no gatekeeping. Um, uh, there isn't any gatekeeping, Akron. This is, this is important to understand, right? So, when you go on the LFG and you see a group that has high requirements, that isn't gatekeeping. That's an experienced group. Why would you want to join that group as a new player? That's like saying, I want to go and join Team USA as a totally new PvP player. It, you, that doesn't make any sense, right? That, that's nonsense. The main issue with the Guild Wars 2 PvE scene is that there's almost no new blood um, that uses the LFG. Like, almost everyone who's joining the scene does, through, does so through private discords, because that's basically the only way to do it um, that makes any kind of sense. It's going to be an even remotely enjoyable experience. Um, so, yeah, like that's the situation. Awesomeness in the chat. It's hard to tell between skill proof and gear proof. Well, as with all things, it's a heuristic, right? Like, you're not saying, oh yeah, this guy's done it a hundred times. That means he's insane. But it increases the probability, right? If that makes any sense. Think of it like this, guys. If you walk past a hundred red houses in a row, what are you going to guess the color of the next house is going to be? It doesn't guarantee it, but you can make a pretty good guess, yeah? Like, that's all this is all about. It's always about heuristics. It's always about probability and trying to get the best result you possibly can. It's not about absolute certainty. It's always about probability. Yeah. Uh, you don't have to put those modules in PB ship because it will um, make the... Uh, fit weaker. Yeah, exactly, right? Yeah, you wouldn't want- you wouldn't want to do that. Because essentially you're going to- you're gonna have to give up some of- some potential power, right, in order to do that, which is not gonna be worth it. Uh, to learn content by the LFG from my last message. I will tell you the truth here, and I want to be very clear, I don't like this, but I'm gonna tell you the truth. The LFG is not the correct way to engage, um, in Guild Wars 2 endgame PvE. I really hate to see it, say it. I, I promise you I don't like that. I hate that, in fact, actually. But no, it's the LFG is terrible for that. You shouldn't do it. If you want to kind of um, get experience, the way you want to do that is by finding a community guild. The LFG and, like, the pug scene in Guild Wars 2 is dead as fuck. Uh, it's not usable, uh, especially as a new player. It's, it's completely unusable as a new player. I wouldn't recommend it. There is a time when it was alive enough that I'd recommend making your own group, but I actually wouldn't recommend that anymore because the only people you're going to get joining like all welcome groups are to be frank, people who aren't going to align with your expectations, right? Like the people you're going to get in all welcome groups, most of the time, it's not going to be great. Uh, let, let's put it like that. You're not going to get the experience you're looking for. In Pugs at Weekly, same with Fractals. Yeah, but I, you're not a new player, are you? I'm saying if you're a noob. Yeah. That's how it is. Disconnect from the story. Uh, being a side game makes it inherently niche, which will lower participation over time. You know, I'd almost agree with that. But um, Mythic Plus is a total minigame. It's an unashamed minigame in WoW Nanny. So I'm not sure if I would agree with that anymore. Um, I know, I definitely understand why you say that and like where that's coming from. But M Plus is a literal minigame, um, to be honest. It, it's, it is completely disconnected from the main story. I'm actually not, I'm not totally sure when the game tells you to start doing M Plus. I, I actually don't know when it does that. Um, Probably, I, I, there must be a quest. I don't think I've encountered it. Because I probably just skipped it, but yeah. yeah. 
Ah. Isn't M plus the dungeon from the story reused? Uh, not all of them. Like, uh, it's... It's... F wait, hang on. Are... In the current version of WoW, none of them are from the current storyline. Right? Right? Yeah, there's no Dragonflight dungeons in this current dungeon pool. Wait, unless I'm... Com oh, no, that's not true. The Mega Dungeon is in. The Mega Dungeon is in. Um, but outside of that, like, not the not the core story dungeon. But yeah, there's Dawn of the Infinite, but everything else is from previous expansions currently. So, it, and it is a Giga minigame. It's, it's usually like, oh, yeah, travel back in time and, and, and do the dungeon. Very exciting. Um... I honestly want to do a, a CMCO training in the LFG. Besides my bad anxiety, I don't trust people to join voice. It's a trainable CM. It would get people interested in, in getting better. Yeah, the, like, this is definitely where you kind of get into the cultural issues, I would say. Um, there really isn't progression culture in Guild Wars 2. And there's a number of reasons there. I, I think a big part of it is because, you know, man, I could do... A, I should do a video essay on this. Guild Wars 2, you could do a study on this. Like, in most games, doing harder content yields you a better reward, right? That, that's usually the case. But in Guild Wars 2, it's actually kind of the opposite, with a, a couple of very niche exceptions. Um, but the lowest effort, lowest skill content in Guild Wars 2 is more rewarding than the hardest content a lot of the time. And I think that actually really creates some perverse incentives within the game and causes this, um, causes people to really struggle when they bonk into a bit of a brick wall because it doesn't make any sense, right? There's no payoff, right? Like they're not going to get the payoff for putting in the effort, right? Like that's the issue that you run into is there's no payoff in Guild Wars 2 for completing something really, really difficult. I think, funnily enough, um, Ceres CM is a fantastic example. Ceres CM is far harder than anything else in the game. You get four gold uh, for completing it. Yeah. Um, wait, no, maybe it's eight gold. No, Ceres is a four gold. So actually, it is eight gold. To be fair, I will give credit where it's due. Well, to be fair, you get eight gold. Um, that is hilarious, uh, to be honest. It, it's kind of laughable, uh, to be perfectly honest with you, right? Um, so because the reward structures almost punish you um, for going for hard content because if you think about it, right like if you do harder content you're losing gold per hour you're losing reward like when you have an incentive structure like that why the fuck would new players even try this right like if you're essentially going to punish them for doing it um instead of rewarding them then yeah obviously you're not going to have progression culture obviously you're not going to have this idea that you know people work towards a goal and, and will slowly move in that direction So that's how it is. Eight gold for ten minutes, huge profit. I mean, yeah, I, I guess if you can fully one shot it, then it's good. But the the thing is, though, is right. Um, like the amount of people who are going to be capable of doing that, it it's not it's not looking good. You know? Can we actually? Oh, you know, I feel like I maybe could have pulled off this one v two, but I don't think we can do. Nah, we can't do the one v three. We're if I was on Harbinger, maybe. I should have changed the I just kind of like Reaper, though, man. You know, I like playing Reaper. Yeah. Yeah. And you know, this is the the weird thing, right? Um. Uh, if you really are insanely fast, if you can do like a full raid clear in three hours, that is good gold per hour. But the problem is, is that the amount of guilds that can actually do that is not that high. Um, I don't, I, I wouldn't want to put a number on it because honestly, I, I actually have no clue. But the amount of players who are capable of that, it's not that many. Um, so realistically, the only the amount of people who actually make like big money from raids is minuscule. It's absolutely tiny um, in terms of like how much value people uh, get out of this stuff. Fractal CMs. I mean, Fractal CMs are not really that good. I mean, if you could just do tier fours all day, you would do tier fours instead. Like, Fractal CMs are all right, Gold Prowler, but it's the tier fours that are really getting the work done. Uh, two days to do a full clear. Yeah, like, one of the... 
one thing that I, I, you know, I used to enjoy was like Jester or Plenix streaming their full clears. I have seen Plenix do, uh, I've seen Plenix do seven hour wing six. So wing six, it took him seven hours to get the FC. It did include Kadeem CM to be fair, so it was with challenge modes, but that's what you're dealing with. Like, you know, fucking six hour full clear, boys, okay? Like, not even six hour full clear, six hours for one wing. Like, that's the juice. That's the content. Oh, I did Zara. Did P Dude, Zara is a pug breaker. Like, I don't think veteran players respect Zara nearly enough. Because Zara is kind of a meme if you have good DPS. But Zara is actually the pug annihilator. Holy shit. Yeah, gliding trips people up uh, a lot, actually, on that one. And just, like, not having DPS is one of those fights that I feel like is really easy if you have damage, but it's actually quite hard if you don't. Should have cancelled that. Whoops. Oh, yeah, and any fight that involves tanking is a nightmare. I don't know. Tanking is... It is a weird thing, um, actually. Because tanking is it terrifies people people do not want to tank people do not want to learn to tank in this game so that's true sloth will farm sloth is the destroyer actually sloth is also another big pug breaker it's true plunger 71 oh i've seen it i've seen planets go 71 wipes doom cm 100 i've seen it happen you hate to see it but you also kind of love to see it at the same time it is content is downtime not the actual voice oh yeah it's downtime but also it is the fights as well sometimes anyway what reward do you think you get people to, to pug raids and strike cms um more gold probably but like truth is um the i've been thinking about this um and this isn't particularly profound but the only way you can fix it is uh, making it easier to make groups is the only way you can fix it. And it probably has to be some kind of automated system, which in turn requires difficulty systems. Because the truth is, guys, but the elephant in the room here is that making a group is a fundamentally uncasual thing to do. Um, I, I don't like using the word casual to describe that, but we all know what I mean when I say that, so I'll keep using it just for convenience's sake. Like, that is a fundamentally uncasual thing to do. Um, and because there's so much friction in doing that in this game, um, it means that any scene is just fundamentally DOA. Um, like it, will not, it will not survive. Wait, what the hell is this guy doing? He just, wait, he just got some by and ran off. You can't do that. That's illegal. Come back. Can we get him? Dude, he's fast as fuck. This guy's insane. I'm going to catch him. Oh. Oh. This guy's a good apple. Fucking will bender, man. Do, do, do. He has to renewed focus. There we are. Let's go. He might teleport over the wall here. That's what I would do. Oh. He's just gonna run away? I think he's gonna run away. Oh, I got my EBQ pop. I think he's running away. Oh, well, fair enough. Um, need LFR raids and start with auto group finder for pugging to work. Yeah, you, you probably do. Um, but the thing, okay, the thing is, it's making my scratch my head here is. Why can you pug heroic in WoW? Um, like, I, I don't know. I, I think it has to be a little bit more deep than that. I think part of it is cultural. It can't just be systemic. Um, I do think that the fact that you can... Um, you have to apply to join a group. I think that is a really key difference. Like, in WoW, you apply to join someone group. You can't join their group without their permission. Um... If that was in Guild Wars 2, or if that was a setting in Guild Wars 2, 
that would probably help a lot. But the thing is, maybe in Guild Wars 2 it wouldn't help that much, because you need information transparency with a system like that. Like, if you want to do that, you need to be able to see people's gear, you need to be able to see people's experience level, um, in order for a system like that to kind of yield any value. But I do think that's like a big distinction, a big difference. What's normal right now used to be LFR when LFR first came out. Heroic was what normal would have been. So Heroic is, is where some difficulty is it's not a lot. Heroic is much harder than basically everything in Guild Wars 2, uh, to be honest. Especially Heroic end bosses. Like, Heroic end bosses are not free. Like, even with the BIS gear you have right now, uh, it is not free, to be honest. It's If, if you had... It, it, it would be, it's a little bit like pugging. It's harder than stuff like Kadeem CM. It's harder than Raid CMs. That's for sure. Um, it's not free. Oh, dude, we, we gotta get in. We've been added to the squad. Let's go. Oh, dude, this is the wrong build. What is this? What the fuck? Hang on. That's not right. Okay, we're good. Uh, roll icons would be useful. I think something like that would be good, but it's not something that really... I'm not sure that it would really be practical, uh, to be honest. In fact, it, it wouldn't be practical. Let's go. They're going in. There's the fucking veil. Ready to pump, boy. Oh, I got corrupted instantly. Are you kidding me? That's crazy. We're moving out. It's a big bomb dropping. I'm going to play a little bit more World vs. World than we got to crank out these tier lists. We've actually got a big Mythic Plus there. We're going to try and do 30 Rise. So I need to be extra sharp for that. Because that key is brutal as fuck. With a heart marker? Yeah, I think these guys know me. I think I've raided with them before. In fact, I have. I believe it was on an Alpine Borderlands last time though, actually. Uh, we had some pretty epic fights, so I think they, they, dude, this is the Bobber Gang, let's go, yeah, I, I, I believe I remarked on their good guild name last time as well. What tier list? I'm gonna do healers and DPS. Although I'm really tempted to skip DPS, because I kind of hate the DPS tier lists, because I think it's just so unbelievably situational that it almost becomes a bit meaningless, but I can just do a bit of a disclaimer, like get the really obvious stuff done, and then everything else just gets, gets slammed into the middle. Um, and I think I can use the tier list to remark on the fact that, um, uh, that Power Harbinger is a thing, and Power Mirage is not a thing just yet. Like, we can, we can probably do that. But yeah, I don't really like the DPS tier list, because I, I think it, it's kind of meaningless, to be honest. It's, it's just, it's, it's very, a very meaningless tier list. Um, but I'll just make it clear when I say that. Because it's too situational. It's too dependent on, like, group comp, like, how skilled your group is, right? Like, what your group is trying to do, right? Is it a speedrun? Are you looking for consistency? Like, it's, I don't know, like, it, it, it's very difficult to, um, to give an accurate DPS tier list. I think it's actually, per, um, uh, it, it's actually harder to do it now as well, because, like, so much power is loaded into supports. I think this is intentional. Like, ArenaNet is, um, distinguishing the roles a bit more. They're trying to really separate them out. And because, like, so much power is in your healer and your boon DPS now, like, what DPS you play is kind of less relevant, to be honest, than it used to be. Which, I, I, again, I submit it's intentional, right? Like, just hear it, like, when you listen to that sentence back, it doesn't matter that much what DPS you play. Yeah, it's the, that's obviously the point, right? Um, to an extent. Like, and I think that's, that's kind of where the, the game is going, so I'm not a huge fan of the DPS lists. Yeah, no, power, I mean, yeah, power mirage, they just have to, like, buff the numbers, and then that build would exist. I mean, they really tried to make it work, and the numbers look pretty promising. Like, there is one thing, I really don't like the fact that ArenaNet keeps putting, like, forced movement on rotational abilities. I think that is, look, here's a really big problem. No build that has forced movement is ever going to be, uh, will never have a high play rate, right? And... This is annoying, actually, because the Guild Wars 2 community is bad at the game, and they tend to look at play rate for as a um, 
a look of balance, right? They go, oh, nobody's playing this, so it must be bad. Um, this is obviously a child's understanding of how balance works and how play rate works. But yeah, it annoys me because people will look at a build that has forced movement on it and go, oh yeah, this is obviously unplayable. When that's not necessarily the case, um, you can absolutely have a build that's very, very strong, but people just don't like fucking playing it because it's annoying uh, and therefore don't play it. And that's why I don't like force movement, because it means that even if they make something good, uh, the play rate might not necessarily change because it's annoying or unfun um, uh, to play. And, and force movement, it's not fun. Yeah. Uh. That's how it is. It's time. Dude, we're just running back and forth, just destroying. It's a bloodbath, Chad. Look at this. We're just going crazy. Oh, defending is too hard. Oh. Oh, ain't it? Hate world versus world. Oh. Oh, it's too hard. Uh, anything for the war within Alpha? Uh, Delves? Well, I mean... I'm not gonna lie, I'm not looking forward to Delves. And the reason is the following. Um, it, they are going to be best in slot for gearing week one. Which is annoying, because it means I have to do them. Uh, but it is what it is. But yeah, no, I'll, I'll, I mean, I'll definitely check it out. Like, if I get into the beta, I'll play it as well. Boom. Let's go. But the War Within stuff looks really good, actually. Uh, in particular, the uh, alt gearing stuff. So, um, the alt gearing stuff is really exciting. Basically, when you play on your main in WoW in the next expansion, uh, you have a... Uh, you can drop gear that's like account bound. And it won't be uh, full best in slot. You can basically get like one below best in slot, essentially. But you can then gear your ults uh, while you're playing in your main, which is pretty good. Yo, Swizzix. That's the prime. I appreciate it. We love to see it. Um, Mop Remix Guild? I mean, if I have time to play, then, then I will, yeah, but... I'm going to be very focused on uh, Mythic Plus uh, this season. It's time to actually get good. A countdown hero gear? Yeah, yeah, it's like a countdown gear. It's very good, actually. The War Within looks extremely good, um, I think. Looks very good. Yeah, and actually, I feel like... Yeah, I've got to share this with you guys. Check this out. This is so cool. I mean, this is extremely based. I want, I want Anet to add this as well. Check this out, guys. Because the next WoW expansion is, like, infested with spiders... They've actually quite thoughtfully added arachnophobia mode, which doesn't get rid of the people who are trapped in webs. But check this out. It turns every single spider into a crab. Okay, look at this, guys. Like, they turn in... Look, that, look, spider, crab. Just like that. So, like, everything turns into a crab. Oh, I think I'm dead. This is bad. Oh, actually, no. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm okay. Oh, no, yeah, maybe not. Oh, the druid is on me. But I think I'm dead. I was too busy looking at the crabs. That is... You know, I, I, that's my own fault, to be honest, guys. And let me see if I can find some uh, better... There's, like, some slightly better images, actually, guys. Hang on. There's some superior images of this. Um... Where's the good... Where's the, where's the good image where it shows, like, all the little... Oh, yeah, here we go. Hang on. Yeah. <laughs> There's this really good thread on Twitter about this, and it just shows all of the um, all of the crabs just like swarming you. Like you know, you, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> look, <laughs> look at this. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah, look. There's like crabs hanging down from webs on on the ceiling. <laughs> And look, you're just being attacked by a, a huge army of crabs. I think that's pretty cool. I like that. Yeah. Crabs. I finally gave up and retired from WoW and just kind of play Guild Wars 2. 
um, Mythic T Swift through his own progression and enjoy WoW anymore. Yeah, that's fair enough. I mean, Tindril is hard. Tindril, yeah, yeah. Tindril is hard. I don't blame you. And I think, you know, you know, it's really interesting because <sighs> there is something about Mythic existing that does actually cause problems, right? For some players. Because I would say to you, well, just play Heroic then. But in, in a way, just doing Heroic, it doesn't feel good, right? You're like, you know, I'm not... I'm not beating the game, you know? Like, I, I can't finish it. Like, there's, there's something out there that I haven't done, you know? And I think that that, yeah, that is a, a really weird side effect of Mythic. Is that, I think once you've, once you've raided on that level, you don't want to come back, right? Like, I think it's really exciting to go from all the eye level. Oh, you're so unbelievably wrong. Uh, oh, trust me. It, 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 eye level won't save you on Tindril. Like, <laughs> Eye level won't save you there. Uh, it really won't. Uh, nor on Farak. I honestly, I fucking wish. I wish it would save us on bloody Farak. Holy shit. Yeah. Um, but yeah, like it, it, it's. It feels really good to go up, right? Like you go up to Mythic. But I think stepping down, man. I think it feels super bad. Like when you go from Mythic and you kind of retire to Heroic. I think that feels incredibly bad because you're you're gonna be you're gonna be chasing a high forever that you're never gonna get from heroic, right? Like you kind of want it and you go like, oh yeah, you know, like heroic is pretty hype, but you, it's not the same. It's not the same as doing mythic. Like mythic is something very different. What do you think of SOD? I actually really like it, Lara. I haven't actually had a lot of time to play it right now because I'm trying to juggle an insane amount of shit currently. I, I've got Guild Wars two operations to. Um, to manage. I also have like uh, WoW stuff in terms of rating, WoW M plus and SOD. And I'm also trying to lift heavy again at the same time. It's fucking ridiculous, right? It's, um, I haven't really been playing much SOD. I've just been raiding basically. Bit of a raid log situation, but I actually like it a lot. Um, I think it's really exciting. I, I, I hope they, I'd be a little dis- I kind of suspect, unfortunately, that they might not make Vanilla Plus at this point. They might actually keep doing seasonal content. I would personally be disappointed in that, but I would understand why. Um, World of Warcraft is really looking to go into the seasonal model and keep rotating stuff in. Like, they're adding Cataclysm, they're doing SOD, they're doing, um, Miss of Pandaria Remix, they're doing Plunderstorm, uh, they've also got all- the the retail, retail WoW is becoming very seasonal now. It's like going to be, they are going to be cranking out. They've said, honestly, this content cadence is pretty wild. They're going to be cranking out a raid tier every five months um, for the foreseeable future. That is kind of wild, to be honest. Uh, that's some pretty crazy content. That means it's going to be an expansion for World of Warcraft about every one and a half years, every 20 months approximately. So 18 to 20 months is going to be the expansion cadence for World of Warcraft. Um... And oh boy, that's a lot of content. Like new raid with like, again, like nine to 10 bosses uh, every single, every five months on Mythic. Bro, like you better get grinding. You're going to have to, you, it's going to be hard to keep up with that. Uh, that's for sure. Dude, we're getting smushed. It's over. I die with the commander. Well, the commander might get away actually. Uh, but yeah. What a rebuild. I'm just playing like Zerka Reaper right now. I think it's got some like Marauder pieces on as well. Actually, it might be a full Zerka looking at that. 10 bosses per X pack. Uh, I mean, yeah, WoW is going to have 30 bosses per X pack. Mmm, nice. M you know, more like 27 to be fair, because they usually do like bosses in nines right now by the looks of things, but it's pretty good. It's pretty good. WoW have DRMs? Well, I, you know, weirdly enough, yes. Uh, they have Delves. And they're not really DRMs, but I mean, I guess you could say they're somewhat analogous. They don't count how many bosses BFA had. Oh yeah, B BFA had a shit ton of content, right? I think it had like crazy content, no? Because they added like the mega dungeon in there as well. And then you also had like the little mini, but yeah, you had like the mini raid too. Like the two boss raid as well, just like randomly out of nowhere. That was pretty cool.
Uh, but yeah, no, SOD is really fun. I like it a lot. I want to level my warrior, though, actually, because they ruin shaman. Shaman tanking is lame as fuck um, currently in SOD, and it feels bad. It feels extremely bad, um, and I want to play warrior, because warrior is broken uh, right now in uh, vanilla. I mean, by the way, warrior mains are crybabies, okay? Oh, oh my god, I have to press three buttons to do 1k DPS. Oh, no. All right. They were complaining the entire expansion, even though Warrior is giga-busted in Vanilla WoW. We all know it, too. Um, but yeah, it was a skill issue. Hit 60? Yeah, it's level 50 right now. It's getting up to 60 pretty soon. Oh, wait. What's going on here? Wait, they gave me the tag, but I don't have the Cat Manda. But yeah, it's going up soon. No, I'm not. I, I gotta go, guys. I can't stick around too much, actually. I do appreciate the comm. Good lead. Shout out to Bobber, guys. Best guild in World vs. World. By far the most powerful guild in the entire game. Not even close. Rank 1 legend. Feels good. But uh, it is what it is. That's how it is. I will... I will step down. What happens when SOD ends? Um, I mean, they're running a couple more seasons of, of kind of phases at level 60, but they'll basically just let you transfer your character away probably, then basically retire it and do something new. Um, I do hope they do Vanilla Plus. I would love to see a Vanilla WoW old school RuneScape style thing. However, I suspect they'll probably just do kind of crazy wacky seasonal stuff. Maybe they'll go Vanilla Plus uh, and, you know, they just kind of tested some stuff out. Maybe they'll do a couple more seasons of like figuring out some ideas for Vanilla Plus before moving in on that. But yeah, I think they might just do seasonal stuff. Um, my least favorite guild in the game is UAOT. Wait, is that United Arts of Tyria? What did you like about them, Nike? What's your what's your beef with uh, the with that guild? They added new items. Yeah, but they could just like delete them, right? You could just like have your character and just not have the special items. They are anti-cosmetic inspect. I mean, that is interesting, I guess. They charge a thousand gold. I look for you a thousand gold. I'm in the wrong business. That's pretty good. Yeah. yeah. Incredible. I'm afraid of playing OSR, so I'd get instantly addicted. Well, you know, you can use it as a as a, a test for yourself on managing managing your time and managing your addiction. There you go. Boom. Easy. Easy self improvement arc. Yeah. You know, I do feel the urge to comment um because. For those who don't know, guys, Nike recently released a video, and it was talking about how, um, basically, Gil, I'm gonna go for the stun here. I think I can deny the stomp. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, I can uh, deny it, unfortunately. Um, basically, uh, Nike was talking about how his April Fool's joke shouldn't have worked. And to be honest, I think that's just a beautiful way to put it, because I completely agree with that. There is no universe where he should ever have been able to successfully bait people into thinking that he is the community manager for a multi-million dollar triple A studio game. That is ridiculous. Like, that is absurd. Um, that that is possible. And to be honest, it actually does highlight a grave issue with uh, ArenaNet and Guild Wars 2. Why isn't there a community manager for a game of this size? Why isn't someone addressing common community questions? Interacting with the subreddit? Talking on Twitter? Right? Talking to streamers? Getting involved in, in, in the scene? All that kind of stuff, right? Like, why is it usually people like Grouch or previously Ben P or Roy or Trig or CMC? Why are they doing it? Why isn't it someone's job to do that? That's a problem. Um, it is a really big problem. Like Guild Wars 2 needs a community manager. The Guild Wars 2 community is a clown fiesta. Someone is needed to wrangle it. But yeah. It doesn't make any sense. When fucking New World does a better job of managing its community than Guild Wars 2, you know something's not right. 
Isn't that Ruby? Well, this is actually quite interesting. Ruby actually did very recently, I believe, um, cha change her Twitter bio to say that it was, to say that she is the senior senior community manager uh, for ArenaNet. However, that's, I believe, a relatively new addition. Previously, it said um, content marketing strategist, which is obviously a, a, a different job description compared to community manager. New World's player numbers are down a lot. Yeah, it's because... I I'm not gonna lie. Like, they they've kind of fumbled it. Although, it seems to be... It seems to be, like, a lot of very interesting issues, right? Server management is pretty bad. Like, uh, for example, like, New World has a lot of issues with servers, basically. And not everything is cross-server. I believe you can queue for PvE cross-server. But I believe you can't really do that for PvP as of right now. But it is what it is. Try harder, noob. Well, I mean, wow. That's the, you know, most stable Roma that exists, I guess. Yeah. Hey, this guy, look. This guy ran from Zerg Reaper on fucking Virtuoso. Okay? Come on, guys. Please. Please. Yeah. Not ideal, guys. I mean, look, to be clear, 10,000 concurrence is really not bad um, whatsoever. It's certainly not like a dead game. But the issue is they have a lot of problems with content release, right? They just aren't really... They're not really releasing any content. Um, to be honest, they seem to have a lot of issues um, with being able to actually do that. And they've got engine troubles. They're trying to do like a console re-release. The server management is scuffed as hell. They did a combat rework that apparently kind of fucked up the game, and they've got to fix that now. It's it's a bit of a disaster, to be honest, um, with New World. It's a shame. I think they're really... Um, uh, each server only has a capability of uh, 2.5k people. Well, I mean, that's just like four full servers, right? Uh, but yeah, some servers are a little bit rough, I think. But that's why they need to have like the cross-server stuff for like a lot of the in the, a lot of the instance content, which they which they don't have for PvP, which I think is really not ideal. Um, but yeah, they do need to do a better job of like managing and merging servers. It's, it's very complicated to do, right? If you wanted like a, a territory control game, it is a little bit tricky to to manage that. But it's it's not terrible. Like I mean, the game is it's fucking you know it, it's it's not looking good over the past thirty days. But I think now is like a really bad time for the game. Uh, but I mean, hopefully it'll be all right. Yeah. Hopefully it'll be okay. Yeah. I don't think the expansion worked well. No one with a brain um fell for that for more than a more than a second. Well, I mean, yeah, a lot of people fell for it though. Game is not good according to players. Yeah, it, it isn't good. Um, I mean, that, that game was doomed for a long time there, right? Like, the issue with New World is, is that they 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 completely changed what they wanted to do with it. And they've you, once you fall behind like that, you can never catch up. Like, the game just doesn't have content, right? It, it really doesn't. 2k uh, player count uh, per server. I mean, RuneScape is a huge game, yeah. Like, 10,000 players, it's, it's still, you know... It's more than a lot of MMOs, but it's, it's not great. I and mean, how many has Eve got right now? Right now, Eve has 28,328 players logged in. Although, I don't know if that counts alts, because people multi-box a lot in that game. It probably does, so it's probably not that high. But, I mean, yeah, Eve is still going strong. Exciting. Yeah, you honestly hate to see that stuff with New World. It feels pretty bad. Um, Nexus is walking back. Yeah, but that that's the thing. Um... I will actually defend stuff like that, uh, to be perfectly honest with you, um, because the point of an open world PvP game is that PvP translates something like I extremely boring, like walking, into god content. In the original full open world PvP version of New World, all of those quests actually become really exciting because you could be attacked at any time and you know what um here's the thing and, and it's okay if people don't like this a big part of world versus world is boredom okay yeah I'll, I'll i'll actually say that and i'll own that world versus world is boring 
that's inherent to the game mode. There are going to be long periods of time where you are running around not really doing anything. Because you're reliant on other players for content. Like, that is the nature of open world PvP. And yes, that means that in New World, even in the alphas and betas, it wasn't constant action all day, every day. Yeah, you had periods of time where you were just running from A to B, waiting for something to happen. That is a necessary part of open world PvP. And uh, that's not for everyone, I think that's completely fair, but that is the reality um, of the situation. Yeah. Uh, trying to give you, like, other games was a bad move. Why do I play an inferior game like Current New World and WoW 14? I mean, uh, who knows? I mean, it's just, it's just, you know, they made the wrong call in my opinion, but it is what it is. Yeah. People, people say that I look like the main actor from so Shogun, but I don't see it, to be honest. Uh, I don't see it, guys. I don't know. Uh, but I mean, hey, look, you know, I'm on TV. Maybe it is me. Maybe it's me. Yeah. 10% of my time there is spent uh, well. Um, I mean, yeah, like it's it's not for everyone. Um, for sure. It isn't. At 100k? Yes, I'm famous, Lara. How many bugs do you find in Guild Wars 2? I find bugs pretty much every week. Uh, is there a place in game to report bugs, like PTO report vision in WoW? You can report bugs, but, I mean, bu bug fixing is not a really net strong suit. Uh, there, have been, there have been a lot of, like, very severe bugs in the game that I don't think will ever get fixed. It's, like, particularly in, like, instance content. Um, but actually, there are game-breaking open-world bugs, too. I believe the doppelganger is still not fixed. One of the open world metas has a severe game breaking bug that probably will never get fixed in reality, which it feels pretty bad, but it is what it is. Unlucky. Yeah. Ah. Yeah, wait, how many followers do I have? I'm checking it out. Let's see what we got. What's going on? 99,786. Holy shit. That's crazy. That's some wild followers right there, guys. Some crazy stuff. Uh, glitching into towers has been in games since day one, I assume. Oh, yeah, yeah, of course. Uh, although they, they do tend to fix stuff like that, actually. Uh, but not, not other stuff. Yeah. Sunspot was balanced, skill issue. I think the, you know, the dead eye shadow orb, that was balanced as well. Very good. Everyone, I get stuck in the wall with one of the abilities. x 5 will bring all the, bu uh, fix all the bugs and bring back raids. Yeah, it definitely won't. Uh, you know, that's, uh, it's, it's not gonna happen. Raids are gone. They're not coming back, guys, unfortunately. They're, uh... They're dead. Although, the thing is, if raids did come back, it would just be strike missions. That's the thing. Um, so, yeah. Enjoy that. It will be three strike bosses in the same instance. I'm not really sure if it would like that. Uh, the next Fractal CM isn't a strike mission. I mean, I think they'd be quite foolish to, to do that again. Uh, but you never know. You do never know, as they say. Oh, well... This guy should have tried harder, I guess. Yeah. And you see, guys, I'm not going to send him a whisper back because um, I'm not a loser. There we have it, guys. Lesson learned. Yeah. We got him.
send him a whisper. It's part of the culture. No, we will uh, we'll not get involved. And it baited us with Kieran Peak. If anyone thought Kieran Peak was going to be a raid, I, I mean, I'm not going to lie, you're brain dead. Like, I, I don't know what to tell you. That is a moment that you need to, like, make sure you... You go to a heart monitor and make sure that your heart is still beating and, like, you've still got electrical activity in your brain. Make sure to check that. Very important. Why are you calling out Lara? Lara would never make such unhinged cope statements. Impossible. Project what they want to see the most. Yeah, I mean, feel, you know, feel like they, you know, they've got, they've got hope. You know, they have, uh, they have hope. The hopium, they're, they're juicing up on that copium, hopium. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see what the new fractal is. But I don't think it's, I don't think it's going to be, uh, I don't, I don't think it's going to be uh, a strike mission. I don't know what it's going to be like though, because I don't know. I don't know how much I have resort. Yo, look at look who it is, guys. It's Anat CEO Darkbringer. Holy shit! Let's go, ArenaNet CEO Darkbringer. Promoted, Game Overlord. There'll be a crab boss in this X pack. I mean, that would be pretty cool. Yo, Chomp. Thanks for the raid, my friend. Welcome. It's a good name, actually. Welcome. How do you even get a name like that? How is that not, how is that not taken? This must be a, a true, true gamer. A true gaming situation over here. We love to see it. Yeah. Twitch stuff, I like it. Okay, you're locking it in. Getting those names. It's a Twitch star privileges. Get to have Chomp as your name. It's big. Do you have to steal Bill's names? Yeah, I bet you guys do that in Guild Wars 2, no? Trig, you probably like go like, oh yeah, that's mine now. Yoink. Don't mind me. You know, there it is. Job done. Yeah. Easy peasy. I don't get to have Trig? Really? Oh man, that's crazy actually. Wait, I mean, so wait, is the person who has Trig still active? That, that's the question. Because if they're, you know, if they're inactive, like you can just slip in. But if they still play, I guess you're done for. You can't just like take their name. They aren't. Grouch doesn't even have Grouch. They're not active. And you're still not allowed to do it. That's actually crazy. You can't just like get in there and take the name. I guess if they come back to the game, then you'd be in trouble, right? Because if they, they reinstall, then it's over. So I guess that explains it. That's why you can't, uh, you can't get away with that. We want Chompers Anet partner trig. Uh, make it happen. I mean, yeah, look, there's an opening now, right? <laughs> <laughs> so there is that. Mm. Honestly... I feel like the, um, there aren't that many active arena net partners right now. Might need, like, some fresh ones. Like, there's not, there's not a lot of people who, wait, who's active who's a partner right now? It's not many. It's really not. Let, wait, hang on a minute. Let, let's actually look at the arena net partner lists. I, I'm actually really curious, like, who... Who ad who's actually active? Yeah. You could embed yourself in a up partner. <laughs> okay, we... Uh... Let's go. Okay. Oh, look, there we are! Let's go! I'm in! Let's do it! That's crazy! Okay, so who's that? Wait, how is how is Sam still partner? Wait, when was the last time Sam streamed? What? Wait, holy shit! Eight hours ago. What? Wait, since when was this guy? Wait, wh when does he stream? He must stream when I'm asleep. 
I have not seen this guy stream for ages. Dude, he's actually back. Yo. Never mind, actually. Okay, I take it all back, guys. I completely take it back. He's actually playing the game. That's crazy. Dude, I mean, look. It's clearly alive. Insane. But yeah, I mean, like, there's, I there's, a lot of, there's a lot of partners, man. There's a lot of partners, but not a lot of activity, to be honest. Sam at the Gamescom. Yeah, I met, Sa I met Sam at uh, Gamescom as well, actually, like a while back. No, Sam is very cool. He tried, he was trying to get everyone to drink. That's, uh, you know, that, that's what he was trying to do. But he is a very cool dude, yeah. Ah, uh, it would happen to Valen. It's, it's unknown, uh, to be honest. We have no idea. We don't have the critical information. Uh, Nike will come up with a unhinged theory, I'm sure. Incredible. <laughs> he told shoot deadly projectile in reflect but IRL. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I mean, that is a little bit funny, but also, I mean, yeah, you probably shouldn't say that if that's the case. Like, that's, uh, that's not good. So a four goal was a green. It was 231 greens. Yeah. So it was more than just one green. Yeah. <laughs> Well, to be fair, he doesn't, he doesn't view bot, he embeds, which is distinct from view botting. I, I do find it a little bit distasteful, but it is what it is. It is within Twitch TOS. It's like, he just, Im his uh, stream is embedded, right, on Guild Genius. The same stuff that Fextra Life do, right? So, to be fair, is not view botting, because view botting is like your, I, I don't even know how it works, actually, but you're like, just running like, virtual machines and watching streams or whatever, or some bullshit. Um, but... Yeah. Yeah. It's not technically view botting, but it it's you know it's it's a, a little sus. That's for sure. It's a a little sussy. It is indeed. Yeah. <laughs> Incredible. Yeah. Trees are watching Mr. Teapot stream, and of course, like the trees are always there in case I need them again. The trees are always waiting. Lurking around, guys, in the background, hiding in the shadows. Yeah. Incredible. Yeah. The Covenant. Have you seen the character image? I think I saw them on your Twitter. Yeah, Darbring. Yeah, I think I have seen them. Yeah. I have Teapot Stream embedded into a page a hundred times on five different tabs. I mean, well, I mean, I guess you're every single viewer here then, huh? I guess so. He's all of them. Every viewer is Darkbringer. Someone called exactly. The trees are here waiting. Should we need them? Trees type plus in the chat. I mean, stuff like that might not work out, to be honest. Yeah, the whole embedding thing is really interesting, you know, because it's uh, it's it's one of those things that's kind of hard to fix because there are legitimate reasons to uh, embed a stream, for sure. Uh, it's very difficult to kind of write how, how Twitch is going to have a really hard time fixing it, right? I guess what you would have to do is make it so that the autoplay function, there's no autoplay function. But the problem with that is that um, you could probably write code on your website to trigger any kind of autoplay function. Um, uh, pff, so it's really awkward to do that. Like you can always do some kind of sketchy stuff uh, to to make videos play uh, automatically. It, it's kind of hard to get around that from Twitch's end on the embedding. Yeah, I think they want to, but I, they and the, the the way they did it with Fex Life, I think they just manually disabled embedding for Fex Life, which is really funny to be honest. I'm pretty sure that their domain is just on the blacklist. They can't do it. Uh, or I think they said they were going to do that or something like that. I'm not sure if they actually did end up doing that, but I think there's some talks about that. But it's, it's very difficult to fix. Yeah. yeah. Uh, does embedding uh, feel as bad as if you're embedding your own stream on your own site? Well, I mean, I don't... I mean, it, it, like, 
embedding isn't a problem. Like, having a tiny player that you can't see is a problem, right? Like, if you have, let's say you've got, a, you know, a streamer or or anything, like, has a, a, a website, right? And front and center, there's a stream. There's nothing wrong with that. That's absolutely fine. Like, that's the point of the page. The user is aware of it. Lovely job. No, yes, yeah, no issue there. The issue with embedding is when you load a player that's either completely obscured from view uh, or tiny right at the bottom of the screen. So the user isn't even necessarily aware of that. Like, that's kind of the issue. Right, like, that is a problem um, with embedding. If I, that's that's correct. Yeah, Jasper. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Um, yeah. Frostfang versus Jawmag uh, Axe, please. I mean, I like Frostfang, actually. I've, I have I've a bit of a soft spot for a lot of the Gen 1s, to be honest. Uh, you know, they're not, maybe not quite as flashy as the new stuff, but it's pretty good. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Yeah, it's very easy to hide it on a, you know, on a, on a web page. It, it's fairly trivial to do that. Um, and, you know, it, it's, it, it's a poor user experience, right? Like, that's the, the situation. Not ideal. Wow raid today? Oh, we're not raiding today. We're raiding on uh, Sunday. Trying to finish off Farak is uh, going to be the goal. Very good. Do you use an MMO mouse? I don't know. Uh, I consider it, to be honest. But, you know, it's, it's kind of a bit of a, a, a weakness of mine, actually. I, um... I don't actually have very good um, flexibility in my hands. In particular, um, I, I, I don't have very good dexterity on my on my right hand with my thumb, in particular. So I don't think I'd I don't think I'd actually gain that much use out of an MMO mouse, to be honest, um, because it's just not something I'm very good at. Uh, I, I guess I could practice and improve it, I guess, but yeah, my my flexibility is not great on my thumbs in general. Thanks for the uh, 100 bits, uh, Bahor, by the way. It's very kind of you. Logitech 1 is uh, discontinued. Yeah, I just use a Logitech uh, G402 right now. It's got uh, it's got like three extra buttons on it, which is pretty nice. Yeah, 100 bitcoins. That's not, I'd be, I should be so lucky. Yeah, it would be good. Lovely. But yeah... No, I, I don't, uh, you know, even with WoW keybinds, it's pretty okay. I think on, for WoW, I have like 40 keybinds, but that's okay. Like, just use, um, I just use shift modifiers, alt modifiers, easy. No problem. I don't really like control modifiers that much. I use alt a lot, uh, shift a lot. I do use control a little bit. Like, I use control with keys in the middle of the keyboard, right? So I do, like, control F, control C uh, as a bind. But I don't, I don't use, like, control. I hate, like, control number. Like, control one, stuff like that. It's like, what the fuck? That's just not good. But I think that actually is, like, a hand flexibility thing. I could probably improve that uh, if I wanted to, I think. Yeah. Alt is supreme. Yeah, alt alt is pretty good. My favorite game is Alt F4. <laughs> That's a good one. Yeah, it's got some utility on that. It's good. It's good. <laughs> My keyboard angle. Oh, that's interesting, actually. Yeah, that is interesting, actually. Yeah, just in general, um, uh, I hate the Windows key. Yeah, I've actually, because I wanted some extra keybinds, I've actually recently, um, r I'm using the Windows key right now, actually. I basically remapped the Windows key to F12. Um, so, yeah, I'm using that now, actually. It would be kind of interesting, actually, if I remapped it to be a modifier, actually, thinking about it. That would be kind of interesting, actually. If I remapped Windows key to be control, that would be a little bit interesting. Because then I could use, um, I could basically use my thumb to press control and then other fingers to press keys. That's not a bad idea, actually. I might, um, I might experiment with that, uh, to be honest. 
Because yeah, I've got, I have got, a, I have got a Windows key. But I, obviously, its intended functionality is a little bit fucking useless. Um, I mean, I, I don't. There's not a huge amount of utility, honestly, in my opinion, in the actual Windows key function. This guy is dead. Oh, I was too slow. He uh, he continuum shifted there, but he's gonna die. Yeah, there we go. It's not good enough. Wow, needs so many key mines. It actually does, yeah. I do consider the game to be a little bit over bloated, to be honest. Like, not much, just a little bit. I do like that you have a lot of skills, and that means that you can use them very situationally and, and like, very reactively. I think it's a little bit too much. It's, it's a little bit too much for my taste, I think. And, you know, there's some, like, pretty bad examples of it, right? Like, Brewmaster is pretty insane. It's, like, a ridiculous amount of keybinds, to be honest. Um, pretty unhinged. We need to res this guy, I think. Okay, we can rally him, maybe. Oh, look, here's the smaller cap circle, guys. Look at this. Kind of interesting, huh? Nice, we got a big grave digger in there. What do we want to go for here? I kind of want to go for this uh, hollow. Yeah, he's very pressured. If we can land the spinal here. Oh, I didn't crit. That's unfortunate. This is bad, though. He can, he can kill me here. Yeah. Ah, uh, he wasn't feeling confident enough. The NG's still here. Yeah, he's here. I actually hit him. Oh, boy. This might kill him. He dodged. I want to get this field down here. Finish him off. There we go. Ah, this is bad though. There's a necro. So we have the boon pressure now. I was kind of, I kind of had free reign for a bit. But now that there's a boon pressure, that's going to make things a little bit more difficult. Kill this guy though. I mean, we're right next to the spawn, so this is a bit of a doomed operation to be honest. But guys, defending is too hard. It's impossible to hold anything now. Yo, Stroud Up Fox, Prime, big gaming. It's always big gaming. Every day is big gaming. Do you like World vs. World more than PvP? Um, you know, funnily enough, I think I'd actually prefer PvP more than World vs. World in a very specific situation. Um, one of the big frustrations I have right now in Guild Wars 2 is that I think it's impossible to, like, sustain a group of people who, like, want to play all the time. Like, but the way I engage with not just gaming, by the way, but hobbies, right? Um, I am not a multi-sport person. Like, when I'm swimming, I want to swim every single day. I want to be in the gym every single day. I don't want to play tennis or fucking go running or, or do any of that bullshit. I want to do one thing only. And one of the really big frustrations I have it, with Guild Wars 2 is that it's unbelievably hard to sustain that. Like, like a real a, a, my greatest fantasy is like a guild of let's say 15 people that just wants to continuously improve and play world versus world like every day or a couple of times a week, do PvP all the time, do raids all the time, do stuff like Ceres CM all the time, right? Like that's what I want. Um, but the issue is, and by the way, this is not a controversial take. I'm not saying this is unique to me. Everyone who's ever tried to do this knows it is so hard to sustain that in Guild Wars 2. To be fair, it's hard to do it in other games as well. But I think it is almost impossible to actually sustain that in Guild Wars 2. And I find that very frustrating. Um, I, I find it really frustrating to deal with that. Because it means that I can't really play these game modes the way I want. So I typically... To be, I'll admit it, I, I just play lazy. Like, World vs. World is something that, you know, I, I think is kind of fun and requires basically zero effort from me um, to put in. So, like, I, I would probably enjoy PvP a little bit more overall in the right environment. Um, but World vs. World is better because it's low effort, uh, pretty much. 
uh, a full group that went on a week to clear it. I mean, it was a pug. Mahanth. That's not what I want. It, it was a pug. I didn't even know who was playing on the day. And half of the people, myself included to be fair, hadn't played the game for six months. That is shit. Um, that's not what I want. Hopefully that makes sense. So saying what a world versus world guild? Uh, just like any guild that kind of wants to go hard. I think it's really hard to um, sustain that, that kind of thing. Could it be the game releases content too slowly? I, I mean, that's the core issue, yeah. Though. There's not enough content to really sustain that. Um, yeah, I mean, yeah, at the end of the day, that's it, yeah. There's not enough content to sustain it, unfortunately. It was pain in PvP. I mean, yeah, I mean, PvP can be a little bit rocky at the start when you're still learning because you, you know, there's definitely a bit of a curve. Uh, and matchmaking can be a little bit unfortunate sometimes, but yeah, you'll get the, you'll get the hang of it. Very good. Yeah. I actually kind of do want verbal uh, co uh, confirmation, by the way. Maham, do you understand that? Do you understand what I mean there? Yeah. Boom. Got it. Yeah, okay. Let's go. Oh yeah, tier lists. I better do tier lists, guys. I've got Mythic Plus in, I guess, about an hour. Exciting times. And, you know, I don't like expressing stuff like that, by the way, because that sounds like I'm flaming my team. I'm not. Like, b I, big respect to the team, obviously, but it... I'm not, I'm, I'm not gonna bullshit either. That's not really the environment I'm looking for. It was fun, but it wasn't what I wanted. And to be honest, guys, I'm an old man now. I don't want to compromise anymore. Like, you know, um, I'm old as fuck. Uh, you know, 27 years young, guys. You know, like we're closer to 30 at this point than, uh, than 20. Uh, I don't want to piss about and spend my time on shit that I, I'm not really into, right? That I don't actually want to... I, I don't want to be in, in an environment where I can't do that, right? Uh, if I'm going to invest time into a hobby, I want to be able to do it my way. Uh, I don't want to have to compromise and do it someone else's way. There's nothing wrong with people doing things another way, but I want to do what I want. I don't think that's too much to ask. Yeah, we are going to be goddamn boomers for Guild Wars 3. You're right, yeah. By the time we get there, it's going to be over. Completely over. No hope for us all. Uh, from a competitive MMO, which only Wowers uh, even tried to be. I mean, it really did used to be. You know, uh, you know what? I got trolled. If you're open recruitment or, or another guild. I mean, HS is never going to be that. Um, that. That's not what it's even supposed to be. It's, you know, it's not the issue as well. Like, you can find people to do this for um, a month. Like, if I wanted to do a monthly AT team, I could get it almost immediately. But then people would drift away, right? Meanwhile... Me and my Mythic Plus team in WoW, we are thinking about where we want to be in years from now already. We've been playing together for, like, a, I've been playing with some of these people for uh, up two seasons, basically. So, like, eight months, approximately. And we're, we're thinking about 
we want to keep grinding and progressing over the next set of years. Like, me and Angels are thinking about our guild in the context of years, not months. Um, and I know that sounds like hell, by the way, to a lot of people. And you know what? Fair enough. But that's what I want. Um, so that's the contrast, yeah? Like, it, when you're in Guild Wars 2, you're thinking, can I get people to log in next month, right? Um, I, I, d I don't want to have to fucking deal with that, right? Um, to be honest. I, yeah, it's, it, I agree with you it's normal, but it it is really hard to do that in this game. Um, it's really hard to do that here. That's how it is. And Guild Wars 2 used to be like this. Guys, okay, I am going to tell you, it used to be like this. Um, I remember in the middle of Heart of, uh, Heart of Thorns, my right-hand man in World vs. World, Shouting Man, Arcane, Stab 2, British gym lad, okay? And what would he fucking do? He would run home every single reset from work, okay? He'd be drenched in his own grease by the time he got home, okay? All to do a World vs. World reset. Dude, we would play 12 hours every single reset. Like, with 50 people, okay? We had 50-man blobs in my guild, and we would play 12 hours every single week. That is what I want. Yeah? Like, it is a slight... It is... Sl misinformation to say that this wasn't always the case in Guild... Uh, that it was never like this in Guild Wars 2. It absolutely was. This did exist. Yeah. Yo, Zoy in the chat as well. He knows what I'm talking about. Yeah. Yeah. 12 hours a week, I play that every day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're going big. Like, you're getting ready for the war within, bro. You're pushing. Dude, Dranit rejoining Unhinged Ark. Honestly, dude, if you rejoined, our healer roster becomes insane, by the way. Because we have Zillion, who is incredibly toxic. We'd have you, also incredibly toxic. Holy shit, it would be good content. Like, we, we would, uh, it, would, it would be getting hot in there, man. It would be good. Yeah. Dr. Anet, yeah. Dr. Anet is back in business. You know, Nutsack Nelly, Ball Basher, bringing him back in. You know, I heard, guys, they actually nerfed uh, Miss Weaver just because of Ball Basher. That's true, actually. That, it's 100% true. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. <laughs> crab. Also, by the way, guys, every Crabger in the chat... Enables the crab filter in uh, Guild Wars 2. Let's make it happen. Yeah. Boom. <laughs> Did I have cra crab gear is so good. <laughs> How is World vs. World? It's honestly pretty good. I'd say it's fairly active, to be honest. It's not as, um... Because I know what you mean when you say dead. Like, when you say dead, you're not saying people are, there's no people playing. It's not as, like, intense. You know, you know what I'm saying? Ah, it's funny. I'm also doing uh, Mythic Raiding in Keys. That's funny, actually. What are you playing in uh, retail? Yeah, it's, it's not as hot, right? It's, it's a lot more chill. It's definitely still going. Like, you'll, you'll get fights, right? Like, what, the Crabbler? Dude, I, I, think it's, I think it's a really nice thing. It's a spider-themed expansion. I think that's honestly a really nice little touch. I also think it doubles as being quite funny as well. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I think it's cool. I think it's fun. It's nice. Honestly, dude, Retail WoW is looking so good right now. I'm really impressed. Uh, I think their game director, I, I, or exec director, Holly Longdale, she's doing an amazing job. So impressed, actually. Uh, really sick. She's also doing a lot of the stuff on vanilla with classic. Really impressive. Uh, doing a very good job of being the kind of uh, director for the game. Very, very impressive. Very good, very good. 
Looks like another expansion. They're doing a lot of account-wide stuff, um, which is pretty cool. So, like, you can gear alts way easier. Like, so, like, rep and a lot of other account progress is going to be uh, more account-wide. They're in the hero towns. Not a huge fan of hero towns, honestly. It feels like just layering extra complexity on top of an already pretty complex system with, with talents. You know, there's, there's a lot going on there. Not totally into that, but it will be fun, right? At the end of the day. Uh, but, yeah. Oh, yeah, for sure. We're experiencing that right now. Uh, Taiki. We're a new um, Mythic guild, and it's, it's definitely rough. There's a lot of churn, right? Because a lot of people try Mythic and go, yo, this is really intense. It's a little bit too much. I want to chill out. Uh, which obviously is completely fair, but it's like really difficult to kind of set your roster up for the first time and get it stable. It's really difficult to do that because um, it's just so much turnover. Like, for example, at the start of this tier, I think we went through eight healers throughout this entire raid tier. We basically replaced our entire healer roster twice uh, because people were like, dude, fuck this. Uh, it, it's too much, right? And this was a hard tier, to be fair. Um, to, you know, I, I, I will admit that. Like, Farak and Tindril are hard. Much harder than Sarkareth. Um, but, yeah, I mean, it was, it was really intense. It was a tough tier for us, 100%. It was really tough. Yeah. Uh, guy so hated by everyone in the past. I mean, I, I mean, I guess I don't know the context, but he always seems so lovable to me. It's like, how, how can you not like him? Uh, you know, like, <laughs> when he says shit like, you know, that's a skill issue. Come on, that's based. I like it. Set tier day goals and expansion goals all the time. A chunk of my roster was at my wedding. Yo, that's based. We met for a few day party once a year. Desire so to have a constant group to get on and work with all the time. It's something I don't really understand. It's my play Gilles with my downtime. It's years old. My eyes are Yeah, yeah, for sure. I think Gilles is a really good game for that, actually. It's really good. Yeah, 100%. Healer, saying this is a healer. I, I do, I will admit this. I am actually going to be playing healer this tier um, and DPS. I'm playing Fire Mage, probably Resto Druid, I guess, at this point, because Miss Weaver got nerfed pretty hard. So Resto Druid, um, uh, Fire Mage, and VDH. Healer is definitely the role that I think I will probably like the least, just because it, it feels pretty... UI heavy compared to the other roles, um, to be honest. Uh, there's there's going to be a lot of clicking on the frames, which not not sure I'm going to gel with that. I'm going to go into it with an open mind, obviously, but we'll see. Um, I think one of the reasons why I like tank is that tank is the least UI oriented class, in my opinion. Like, because of the nature of tanking, almost everything you do is um, AoE. Right? It's, it's all about, like, hitting skill shot AoEs, like, putting down your AoEs, right? Uh, doing AoE casts, right? All that kind of stuff. And then you, you obviously select your prior target, right? Like, you still need to prior target down whatever, you know, the, the most important bubble, the boss or whatever. But I do like that tank is very light on UI, because I feel like DPS is a little bit heavier on UI than tank, but heal, I think, is probably the heaviest UI. But again, we'll see, right? Master Rugs? Well, that's what I mean. Yeah, yeah. It, it, it's... It's got more UI interaction than the other roles, I think. You get, uh, try healing. You can do a horror macro. Yeah, yeah, you do like the mouse over, so of course, yeah. Exactly. No Warlock? Nah, I'm playing, playing Mage, because I'm going to swap with Vivi. Vivi's going to tank uh, this season and DPS, and I'm going to... I'm going to hopefully, I want to try high keys on all three rolls uh, this season. It's a shame, actually. I was looking forward to playing Miss Weaver. Maybe I still will play Miss Weaver, to be honest. Because Miss Weaver is pretty cool. I like how it plays. I think it's, I like, I like the healers that you do damage and then it heals by that. I think that's actually a really fun concept. I think that's really cool. Um, I like that. It's, that's good. Uh, I think good, good, fun design. Right, like do DPS, uh, heal your allies, and Miss Weaver is one of them. I, like Disc Priest, right, is also similar to that. Yeah. Well, I think we're dead. It's not looking good, boys. It's not looking good. Dude, I'm so slow. Look at this speed. Ah! No! We are, we are fucked, boys. It is not looking good. It is not looking good! 
Oh, shit. Oh, I'm out. Yeah, let's go. Oh, <laughs> dude, this guy. Yo. Yo. <laughs> oh, wait, it's this guy, actually. It's Serial Experiments. I thought, yeah, I, I was not totally sure it was him until I saw the account name, actually. What a gamer. Let's go. We're out. Disengage. Uh, watch our guild explode. Race to world's last. Yeah, we're trying to... Oh, let's go. We're porting. Okay, let's go. Let's roll. Yeah, we're doing... Um, we're, we're trying to get a recliff of some of our new members because, you know, we're at the end of season and people don't really want to play season four that much for raid. So, yeah, we got to re-clear, unfortunately. The boss is kicking our ass. Nice. Any guild that's, I mean, look, we're going to be in the race to world's last, but by accident. I like when healers healed and tanks tanked. Uh, tank design is fascinating and wow. It really is. Like, it's... Tanks are kind of OP, but kind of not at the same time. Um, because you don't do enough damage. I, I, the only tank that probably does a bit too much DPS is, is VDH. Its damage is pretty insane. Especially single target, actually. VDH single target damage is really, really strong. Uh, in Especially in keys, it's really good. Um, the thing is, is that, like, I really think it's good that tank DPS is relevant. Because otherwise, I feel like tanking would just be boring as fuck. Um, and also the whole, like, doing damage heals you is really good. It makes it much more mechanical. Like, you have to do a good rotation to live, uh, basically all the time. I think that's also pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, tanks are OP, but it's kept in check because of DPS checks, right? Like, you know, you can't just run five tanks. You won't have enough damage. Uh, or run like a billion tanks and raids. You won't uh, have enough DPS. But yeah, you are unkillable. It is funny. You know, you do, you know, your tank and you're just, you know, just cranking out your DPS and taking like absolutely no damage. I think that um, tanking is too easy in raids though. Like it should be harder in raid. What's this? Out tanking effect. If you tank raid, chances are you've gone complacent and you don't look to improve the same way a DPS or healer is in raid. And that's why, like, generally raid tanks are, I don't want to say the worst players, but, you know, like, not as good of players in raiding guilds. Oh, yeah, it's 100% true. Um, it, it's, it's because it's not hard. Um, and also tank DPS doesn't matter in raids. Not really anyway. Um, and that's bad. That's not good. Um, I think, I don't know how I would make it matter, but it should matter more. It's, it's a bit scuffed. It's a hundred percent true. Um, you know, I think this is actually like a really big advantage of coming from Guild Wars 2. Because in Guild Wars 2, because the game is not very difficult, it's all about speed running. And so everyone's damage matters. When I was maining Chrono, which is like the, the really big tank spec, like you wanted to crank every bit of DPS you could while tanking, run absolutely zero toughness, and just do as much DPS as possible. Right? So I think that's the advantage. Like for, for me going into WoW, like the way tanks work, it's of course I want to do the most damage possible. Like why would you not, right? It, it's just so... That's just how you play in Guild Wars 2, and I just play WoW like I play Guild Wars 2, right? But no, it's very true. I think Max talked about this as well, how how tanks... Tanking is kind of unpopular in raids because it becomes quite boring because there's no incentive for you to improve. And it is kind of true, to be honest. Like, I feel it a little bit on Farak. Now that I'm playing Farak, I literally just feel like I'm waiting for DPS to not fuck up mechanics so we can kill the boss. That That's all it feels like. Um, to be honest, which is because I'm not going to lie, tanking is easy. Um, uh, realistically, in raids, it's, it's not hard, especially when you have gear. It's, pro it's probably very hard when you don't have gear. So if you're actually going Hall of Fame, top 100, like high rank, then it's way harder because you don't have gear to survive and all the gear is getting funneled to the DPS. So you have to do it under geared. That is where the challenge is going to be. When you have the gear, the raids on farmed, it's already been nerfed. Um, yeah, raid, uh, raid tanking is piss. It really is. 
Um, so, yeah. But that's why you want to do keys, right? Um, like, in keys, it is, like, pure hell. Uh, there are some parts of the dungeon that is just... Absolute... You are in constant fear. I think uh, Rise is a really good example of this. Rise is genuine tank torture, right? Uh, pretty much the entire dungeon is like that on both weeks. Um, and that's good. That makes you a good player. Like, if you play, um, if you play a tank in Mythic Plus, you will become a good player. Because holy shit, if you don't, you will get absolutely destroyed. God damn. Uh, but yeah, like that that key on on Fortified and Tyrannical is brutal. It is absolutely brutal. And honestly, a lot of the a lot of keys, um, when you get high, I think they're really hard for tanks, to be honest. Like really hard for the tanks to survive. Um, I'm not gonna lie. It's 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 rough. I remember, man, I've gotta dig up the VOD, dude. Like do, I need the VOD of our freehold. Let me see. Can I find it? It... Where would it be? Um, man, that was one of my favorite dungeons. When we did 29 Tyrannical uh, Freehold last season with the Gigapull. And bro, the Gigapull is the most intense fucked up shit ever. Like, dude, my only purpose on that key is I have to tank like 50 million mobs and dodge all the swirlies, so my DPS can literally AFK on a little pole and do zero mechanics and just fully crank. Like, that was literally my only purpose uh, in that dungeon. It was, uh, it was rough. Yeah. 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 Raise. Yeah, you have to press raise a lot. Yes. But you know, I have it around. I do have it around somewhere. Yeah. I could uh, I could find it. Yeah. Press Iron Fur and Incarn, bro. Listen. I have never had nightmares about playing Bear. Rated has had actual nightmares about playing uh about playing Mage. He's like, I can't do it. I'm broken. I will break if I have to play Mage next season. That's his reality. He's like, I need to play Shadow Priest. It's my safe space. Yo, Lion Meows with a gifted sub. Yeah. You know what the best part is? This is where the fun's going to start. When it turns out the Org is actually broken OP next season, forcing Rated to play Augmentation of Ochre. Oh my god. What the fuck is this? I'm <laughs> just BMing this random Wilbur there. What the fuck? Everyone's so toxic in this game mode. Org. Augmentation Evoker. By a literal bird. I mean, yeah, I, get, I think... Uh, I don't know anything about that dungeon. Which MMO is better? Final Fantasy XIV or WoW? What do you think? You play WoW? I don't know about Final Fantasy. I don't play the game. But I'm pretty sure if you're going to pick between the two, I think it, it is honestly a toss-up between what world you like best. Do you like the Warcraft universe more? Then you know what? You should probably play WoW. Um, if you like the Final Fantasy universe, maybe you played some of the other games. Like, um, you know, over time you like that universe, you like that style of game. You should probably play Final Fantasy. That's probably the, the best way to decide it, I'd say. Because uh, in terms of content, it's going to be pretty similar, I think, uh, overall. I think 14, maybe a little bit more story focused um, and maybe slower paced in terms of the story. Uh, whereas WoW is more of like a zoom, zoom, zoom um, experience, I would say, uh, overall. That would be something that you could think about as well. Because, man, the story in WoW, it is insanely fast. Like, holy shit. Like, it's... It, really doesn't hang around. Like, you are going to be zipping about all over the place when you play that game. Devastation will be extremely OP and nobody will play it because Org exists. This is the permanent state of Evoker DPS from now on. Yeah, Augmentation Evoker. E I mean, eventually Eddie's going to give up. He's going to start maining it, right? It will happen. 
The story gets good after 150 hours. Well, I mean, I think you just have to... It, it's not going to be for everyone. If you're into it, you're into it, right? Like, it is what it is. Yeah, the dev said that they viewed augmentation of Ochre as a success. I'm not sure I'd agree with that, to be honest. Let's go. More teams can be in the top. Yeah, this is actually one thing that um, is very scuffed about um, WoW Race to Worlds first. Is that the competition in WoW has evolved to the point... Where if you don't have essentially a full-time team of analysts and developers, um, and you essentially have players who play full-time, uh, you will not win. Uh, you will not be able to compete. It's a very strange state of affairs, to be honest. Very difficult to deal with. When a scene essentially becomes... There is a really big difference between a professional and an amateur in terms of competition, right? Like... And when you have that gap starting to exist, it does actually kind of um, inhibit the competition. Like, WoW will always struggle with this because there are some people who play the game professionally and some who do not. Uh, and playing the game professionally is such a, a massive, to be frank, insurmountable advantage um, that... Yeah, realistically, you're you're never going to have guilds that are going to compete with Method, Liquid, and Echo. It's just not going to happen because they nobody else has the resources to do that. It's uh, not going to happen. Yeah. Yeah. It just uh, it just won't happen because of that that fundamental difference. I do not like that. I mean, I don't really like it either, but it's an unfortunate fact of life, isn't it? Peace has died. Yeah, I think a lot of... I think BDG is in a kind of similar situation, right? It's like, it's very hard to sustain at that level, especially when they... When, let's be honest, guys. I, I, people always tell me, and apparently Blizzard has said that they don't design around the waste, race of worlds first. That is a lie. Um, original Tindril and original Farak were absolutely balanced around Echo and Liquid. It is actually kind of silly to assume otherwise. Like, I, I, I don't know about that one, to be honest. Okay? Like, there are three second seeds on Tindril is designed around those guilds. Okay? I'm sorry. They, they did not go, oh, yeah. Uh, three second seeds. That's fine for most guilds, right? <laughs> Absolutely not. I'll be at an unhinged position uh, to take that. There's just no way. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Ah. You're good players post for Liquid Echo? Of course, yeah. Because they, they, they have a really good deal, right? Like, you can go and be a part of the best team. And you can also, you know, essentially turn your hobby potentially into, uh, at the very least, a bit of a side hustle, right? Um, with that. Yes, Aduka Prime. Massive. Love to see it. Uh, they tune the first version around Race World first. I think what the boss is designed for me. Um, a top 200 raider. Um, yeah, sure. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, I don't... I mean, how... What would a fight, I guess, what would a fight look like if they designed it around having, like, multiple full-time analysts? I guess it would just have more mechanics and it would be more complex, I guess. I mean, <laughs> yeah. What kind of trials do we have to go through to get into professional guilds? Uh, I mean, a lot of it is going to be, like, climbing, right? Like, you have to, um, you have to social climb, right? you got to climb the ladder got to work your way up through the guilds and kind of prove yourself as well um you know you just got to put yourself out there you got to communicate you got to you got to network right you got to meet people um you know you've got to get in there you know yeah the goldsmith is massive and that's actually not so much of an issue um uh this time around although i guess like they because they they buy splits right like so that's kind of the issue they they do buy splits they need a lot of gold there um with that stuff
Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, you gotta know people, right? You gotta you gotta make connections. If you want to get into these guilds, you gotta do the social game. It's not just about being a sick ass player. You've also gotta talk to people, right? You gotta uh, you know get your foot in the door, right? That's what you gotta do. Yeah, exactly. You gotta do you gotta do a bit of guild hopping. You gotta stay on the grind. One hundred percent. 70 to 20? Yeah, exactly. It, a big part of it is who you know. I seem to recall Jinji talking about how some of the people in Echo, or at least a couple of them, like, were, were originally play- Oh, I guess it was Method at the time, actually, because uh, it was a long time ago. He was talking about how he kind of, like, met them in M+, right? And, and kind of, like, started interacting socially that way, and then, you know, you go from there, right? Mr. Tealers? No, and I actually better get on it because I think Rated's nearly home. I think Rated's back in about 40 minutes. And that's when we're going to slam 30 Rise. Or 29 of Towers of Warm Up, then 30 Rise after that. Yeah. Test limit. Oh, shit! Oh, <laughs> run! Defile? We do not defile keys. Tier list cancelled. The tier list is dead. Guild Wars 2 is dead. Yeah. There it is, chat. I said it. Guild Wars 2 does not even exist. Enjoy. It's not it's not real, guys, okay? <laughs> it, it, it's it's not real. <laughs> Guild Wars 2 was the psyop the entire time. Believe it, chat. You better believe you better believe it. It's all been a hallucination. It's all a dream. It's a dream within a dream. Hmm. I'm trying to find... I'm trying to find the, um... The 29... 29 freehold. I want to relive. I want to relive our 29 freehold together, chat. I have it somewhere. Brazil was right. And speaking of Brazil, actually, there's something tangential. There's some pretty. Well, I mean, some news might pop up at some point. Who knows? There might be some news. Not about Brazil, but. About someone, I guess, tangential. We'll see. Let's get right into the news. Jester loves drama alert. He also loves Keemstar. What do you guys think about that? He's a big fan of Keemstar, guys. Loves him. I think it's not on my YouTube channel, which is annoying because it means that I have to dig through it on my computer, which... I, I mean, I can do that, but it's it's annoying, and I won't do it now.
Que é isso? Who is Teamster? Keemstar, with a K. Keemstar is, uh... I don't real. I don't actually know how to describe him, to be honest. Attack it. Attack its workshop. What's this image? Drama. Little peepo. What even is this? Like, what, what type of frog is this? Drama. Yo, Zeus to the right. Appreciate that, bro. Zeus, also known as the best Ellie main on EU. Only Elementalist. Probably has like 15k games in PvP by now. What's the situation? Where's Zeus? Son of Zeus. Where's he rated on the ladder right now? Let's check it out. There he is. Rank 40 on the ladder, guys. 1574 rating. Zeus gameplay. Incredible. Top 50. Nice. I can already see him. Hmm. Uh, I think it's time for the tier list, guys. We're going to make this happen. Tier lists. I have Assad, 28 Assad scuffed audio edition. Yo, link that shit. I want to see that. Link, link, the, link the juice, Vivi. Let's go. We can relive it together. Mod me, I'll add buh. Bro, what have we got here? Is this just the Assad? Oh, shit. Dude, let's go. Man, this key was so good. We need to go. We need to go now. Get this Look movement. at that. Fight it. <laughs> this, this, this boss fight is so fucked. Holy shit. This is horrible. <laughs> move, move, move. I'm pulling five, four, three, two, four. Assad. No, no, no. Do normal, normal timings, normal timings. Actually, wait, dude. I, let, let's see if, does Vivi troll Vampiric here? That's the question. That's like the big question. Does he immediately send it? Wait, he actually did. Wait, did he, did he send it on pull? Oh wait, no, no, no hang on. No, he, no, he didn't actually. Timings, that's not, that's timings. a different one. Sorry. That's Vampiric touch. Not, not, yeah, not, not the same thing. Yeah. I said, yeah, 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 I see, I see, I see. It's fine. We need to actually do a better kill than we've ever done before here. Yeah. So, greed, honestly. This is, this is greed time. That is true, by the way. Our previously best ever kill for Assad was like uh, 5 minutes and 46 seconds. This one was actually pretty good. Yeah. Actually, wait, Snizzle, can we live uh, this ad? Yeah, can you kill us fast enough? Chain lightning. Um, Man, I... there, there's something about M+, especially on Tyrannical, that can turn a five-minute boss fight into something that feels like it's actually one hour long. And this is definitely one of them. You can take the gun. Everything boss. Everything boss. Go, go, go. 40 seconds. We have it. We have it. Let's go. We have it. We have it. Do not attack the next... Uh, can you grip me? Um, uh, no. I like how he has the low tier god uh, weak order there for Shadow Word Death. <laughs> We're ignoring ad, chain lightning. Just honestly, personal this if you have so much as just don't die. We did it. Dude, look how close it was actually. Holy shit, it was oh, close, man. Let's go. Oh, man, what a key. Kill. 13 yeah. seconds oh, left. That was big. Huge. Man. Nice. I like that. That was good. Oh wait, we got the null. Yeah, we got twenty nine Nultharis. Nice. That's huge. That was with the full God Comp, by the way, guys. The God Comp. Augmentation Evoker, Fire Mage, Shadow Priest. The God Comp. 
Fear the God Comp. Embrace the God Comp. Dog Comp. Yeah, I'm gonna- look, I am gonna pug keys. I'm gonna prove to Jester that pug M plus is actually fun. There it is. I'm going to giga pug. Uh, hard mage keys, big mage keys, and it's gonna be great. You're pugging on a mage? Wait, I mean, what, what's wrong with mage? Are you telling me I have to play a dog spec as well? So I have to pug on a dog spec. Pug on mage is far worse. Well, I feel like pugging on the ignite build is dog shit. Like, how can that possibly be good? There is no way that pugging on ignite mage is going to be a good experience. It, it is it's so bad in those situations. Yeah. You'll find the rest how bad it feels to be actual healer DPS. <laughs> Best class, mate. I mean, it kind of depends what you're looking for, right? There's a lot of variety. Ignite Mage is tank damage. It, yeah, it, it, it literally is tank damage, yeah. But it's the best build for the higher key, so I'm going to play it. So I learn it. It's going to happen. I will Pyroblast. I will Pryo. I am the Pryo Man. That's me. Pryo Man Teapot. Let's go. Dude, look at that. I Wait, I hit the bottom. Now I'm bouncing back up again. Let's go. Yeah. I just feel like Jester griefs his own keys. He adds like, oh, surely I can invite this uh, 1.9k uh, bear druid, right? Like, surely I can do that. Oh, what about this little 1.7k uh, peepo resto shaman? This seems like a, this is going to be good, you know? That's reality. Jester adds peepos to his keys and then gets mad when they deplete. That's reality. You know, it's actually very funny. Watching, um, watching Jester pug keys, he goes through a cycle. He goes into it, he's excited, he's ready to go. He's talking about like, oh man, you know, I can't wait to get into this. Like, this is really exciting. Um, I'm so excited to, to blast. And then, like, three keys in, he's like, this is the worst system ever made. I hate M+. They need to fix this shit and permaban everyone who leaves. That's, like, the, the Jester M+, cycle. People over 3.2k don't apply to 21s. Well, yeah, I, I definitely feel like the mid keys, so, like, 20 through to 25 is probably a bit cursed. Because the problem there that you run into is, uh, I feel like you're, you, it's a bit like tier three fractals. You know, you're, you're going to run into like people who aren't good enough to do high keys, but you know, they also just don't farm, right? Like just do like the farm. Like, if you just do like farm 18s, I think it's free as fuck. But if you, if you do want to do like a 23, that seems very cursed. gonna be great. All right, let's get this done, shall we? It's time. Actually, before we do that, let's just remind ourselves of something. Let's go on a journey. Let's go on a magical journey, guys. This is what Jess's keys look like. Is that a popper valley on this one as well, maybe? The first fact is quite scuffed, I'm not gonna lie. Let's take a look. Setting up this pool, lovely. Pain inducing. Brackenhide, classic. Classic, no. classic key, guys. Classic, classic key, it no, really no, no. is. I lag in, like, Brackenhide horribly as well. Tang dies instantly. But this is probably fucking... Oh, okay. Nice. The tank insta died, and so did I. See, like, 
yeah. And now all of my stuff is on CD. I just said DPS somewhere fucked. And, and he left. left. <laughs> Great fucking key. See, horribly as well. So this is will be fucking. Oh, okay. nice. The tank instead of and so did I. <laughs> See, like, yeah. And now all of my stuff is on CD. I just said DPS somewhere fucked. And the tank left. I lag him like. Did he pull too much? Well, I mean, for I guess for him, yeah. I mean, I, this is a normal pull, but he just fed. I mean, I don't know. Can, like, he just didn't horrible. press anything and, and died. So this is probably fucking. Oh, yeah. Okay. Nice. And there the it tank is. Tank insta died, and so did I. See, like, yeah. And now all of my stuff is on CD. I just said DPS somewhere fucked. Yeah. And the tank left. Great fucking key. See, like, Angel, you know, this is why M plus fucking sucks major dog dick. <laughs> okay, gamers. If the tank was in the right there, please put Zaste in the chat. Let's see what's going on. If you guys agree with the tank, Zaste. Actually, let's change that. If you guys think the tank didn't do enough, in that he should have either flamed before leaving or left earlier, put Zaste in the chat. So if you, if you guys think he didn't do enough, like it, it was not, he should have gone further. Yeah. <laughs> it wasn't enough. Incredible. Yes. Very good. Seeing noobs stick in the group and leaving before even pulling mobs, but after key start, ah, so you instantly, uh, instantly deplete the key. Right, I'm gonna quickly hydrate, guys. I'm gonna juice up, then we're slamming these tier lists. We've got today, guys. We've got healer tier list and DPS tier list. That's what we've got. That's what's on the menu chat. I am the content lord. Ah, the one in the chat. Also known as Cute Gamer Girl's leader. It's time. Let's do a Guild Wars 2 streamer tier list. Let's do an unhinged guild roster tier list. If we get Hall of Fame in uh, The War Within... I will do a full roster review. I will do a scripe style full roster breakdown, guys. Let's take a look at this. That's what needs to happen. Full review. Never, dude, it's fucking free, okay? It's literally free. War within is joked here. Like, the boss is just gonna be crabs, man. It's like literal, like, crabs. What the fuck? That's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. 
<laughs> Crabs. Brick, yeah, Brick is in the mix, I believe. Uh, anyway. That's from my best operations tier list. I think you're going to struggle to beat the community manager one, Nike. I'm not going to lie. Like, this was a strong showing. I, I, I think we can both agree on that. This was a good troll. Um, it was a pretty powerful troll. Okay. It's time. Gamers, we're back with more tier lists. Here we go. Once again. Just to recontextualize. This is going to be the group content tier lists. This is all about open world stuff. It's going to be raids, strike missions, your fractals. All that kind of uh, wondrous joy. It's going to be PvE big gameplay. Right now we're going to be doing healers. That is defensive supports. That is things that heal, they do the green numbers, they do the barrier numbers, and they apply boons, okay? No pure healers here, okay? We don't do that. We don't do that here. Like, we have to apply boons. Boons are mandatory. They are not optional. But anyway, we have had a couple of new builds popping up. Pretty exciting, actually, with the new weapon changes coming through, the rise of our heal berserker, and... As well, maybe a brand new uh, challenger for one of the top spots in the game, actually, with the rifle on Chronomancer. So, let's go ahead and get right into it. Okay, it's tearless gaming. We love this stuff. Let's rate the best builds in the game. And, like I said, guys, I say this in all the tier lists, bear in mind that everything below S tier is unplayable. If you see someone who is not playing an S tier build, you should flame them and kick them from your group immediately. Oh, wait. Oh, wait, no. No, I don't say that, okay? All the builds, they're pretty damn good, okay? We're here to entertain, and more importantly, we're here to find out what's absolutely broken so you can carry everyone insanely hard. So let's get down to business. Here we go. <laughs> yeah, shout out to Twitch chat here, helping me out here. Be sure to, you know, be sure to leave a like and subscribe and maybe leave a tree emoji as well. But anyway, let's get into it. And you know what? Let's get in there with the newcomer, actually. Um, Heal Chrono has been built up for a while now with changes to the Chaos Trait line. And to be honest, I wasn't that impressed with it with just the Chaos Trait line. However, with a couple more iterations, a couple more updates, and the brand new rifle weapon, oh yeah, we actually have a brand new S tier build. Uh, this build is fantastic. The rifle really helps it out, actually, and rounds out its toolkit, giving it a little bit of range support, a really nice on-demand healing, and even a little bit of barrier and the utility boon resistance, too. The portal is also pretty nifty. Uh, you're not going to get crazy use out of it, but there are certainly a couple of occasions where you'll have a really montage-worthy moment. This build is incredibly good. And what's more, actually, this is one of the builds that actually universally shines as well. We're going to be talking about Druid, which, no surprises, it's still going to be S tier. But Druid is, uh, in some sense, not as uh, globally amazing, right? Like, for example, in Fractals, Druid is not quite as good as it is in all of the other situations. Chrono, not the case, actually. Chronomancer is insane in every type of content. And I think that actually is worth noting here as something that you might be interested in if you're a player looking to pick up a build that will work absolutely everywhere and dominate that content. And even more, it can do quickness or alacrity. So you can adapt to any group. Like, if there was going to be one healer, if someone said to me, I want to play one healer for the entire game and really focus on that build, the answer is absolutely going to be Heal Chronomancer because of its innate flexibility, fantastic healing output, incredible utility. All of its utility skills are free. Bear that in mind, it's Mesmer, right? So all the boons, it's from traits in the Chaos Trait line and also from uh, the uh, Grandmaster trait in um, Chronomancer. All of that is baked in, giving you fantastic flexibility across the board and you can fit into any group you want. So that is why Chrono is absolutely giga 
S tier, to be honest. Just across the board. Fantastic build. I'd highly recommend checking it out. And we'll do the next S tier one here as well. You know, let's let's not muck about. It's still Druid. Um, Druid is the absolute king of throughput. It absolutely is. Still incredible healing. The boons are great. Mace is a wonderful addition to this build, actually. Providing even more healing output. Amazing CC as well with that mace three uh just really cool honestly and the nature's the nature proc uh, force of nature proc you can get use out of it right like it's a little bit finicky to get it to activate exactly when you want but getting that extra healing out but even though it did get nerfed a little bit it's still going to increase your numbers even even higher it is still one of the best builds in the game without a shadow of a doubt particularly if you're doing a solo heal situation that is where druid can really shine like if you're looking to heal for example if you want to heal like an entire open world zerg druid can kind of do that to be honest like if you want to be in a strike mission and you want to solo heal or maybe you you just there's a lot of damage people are you know maybe getting hit by a lot of stuff right people are taking damage uh here and there that's where druid is in there um and this is actually one of the things that chronomancer does like actually is revive power druid has that glyph of stars which is just so unbelievably good the revive speed on that is crazy you slap it down and then boom it's going to instantly res people more or less because of how many healing modifiers you have um and you can just slap it down it's going to keep everyone up absolutely no problem it really is an incredibly good build and again yeah it has one of the things very few weaknesses that heal chronomancer has which is a little bit of lacking revive power which Guess what's coming next? You know what you could combo uh, maybe a Chronomancer with to potentially alleviate the lack of revive power? Yeah, it's, uh, it's Scourge. Up there in S tier, absolutely still an incredibly good build. It really, really is. Don't really care about the new weapon on this, of course, with uh, Scourge. Like, you could use it for a bit of mobility if you wanted to on your heal Scourge, but it's more of a damaging weapon, less of a support weapon in general. And, you know, weapons on Scourge are not super important either way. You can use the pistol for a bit of CC, of course, uh, from Harbinger with uh, the Soto expansion. But yeah, this build is incredible. Uh, it heals a lot. It barriers a huge amount across the board. You can go up to 10 target barrier for brief periods of time by putting down your shades correctly and then bam, hitting the sand cascade or your sandstorm shroud. Boon access is a little patchy, but, and again, this is one of those things, like, Scourge is a really interesting build, heal Scourge. If offensive support builds get nerfed so if herald got nerfed for example that would actually be a big nerf potentially to scourge it really would be uh because it is a little bit reliant on other builds providing boons for it more so than these other heals these two healers here are extremely well rounded like they can solo boon no problem absolutely no problem easy peasy Okay, uh, Scourge a little bit less so, does need a bit of help from that support, but it really makes up for it. It has that unparalleled revival potential, Signet of Undeath, Transfusion into the Blood Well, really good sustain. And actually, it's also incredibly tanky as well, that there's nothing quite like this, but in terms of taking hits, uh, you can just run, run through every AoE and you will be absolutely fine. Scourge, one of the top builds. If you play this build, you will carry people and it will feel good. Okay, uh, so enjoy your heal scourge there it is and i think that actually is probably going to be it for s tier but uh i think it's going to be a really exciting time for a tier actually because i think there's i think wait is there are there a lot of a tier good a tier builds actually i think oh maybe not i might have spoken too soon because i think the next build that we're going to talk about is going to be herald and i think herald actually stands alone in a tier yeah i really do think it does because it isn't quite on the level of s tier and there have been some incredible improvements to this build it now has stability access on the ventari uh tablet you detonate the tablet that's going to give aoe stability you have the new scepter weapon giving barrier uh on your auto attacks and you can spam out the second skill there to give loads of barrier around to people which is pretty nifty as well shield of course has uh, aegis on the shield 4 ability and you have a pulsing heal on the shield 5 ability that's all really really good uh the healing output on this but is fantastic 600 range boons that's really cool definitely a big strength that even surpasses the s tier builds is its boon application potential incredibly tanky like probably the tankiest healer even more so than scourge you have that salvation trait line you've got shield you've got the glint heal your self-sustain is incredibly good because you can basically take the uh, 
trait that gives you barrier uh, well, when you have boons, so you just have ridiculous self-healing in addition to your output to nearby allies. Your CC is fantastic as well. Um, the, like, where this build does struggle a little bit is that it's not it's not as good at doing mechanics as these builds are ultimately. It's um it's it's more of like I heal me put green numbers. So if you're into that sort of thing, then Herald probably is the best thing to go for, to be honest. I still do think that the radius on the tablet's healing is a little bit too low. And I would also say it would be nice if the healing, the big heal from Natural Harmony, if that was actually a pulsing heal rather than a big chunky heal, because that would allow you to heal other subgroups more uh, easily and also avoid overhealing people. Like, I think this build actually has a bit of a problem with overhealing quite a lot of the time because a lot of its core healing is just massive giga heals. Uh, whereas a lot of other builds have smaller heals, which means that you don't overheal as much and you overflow to the other subgroup a little bit better. Hell, this is something that um, is kind of interesting about Scourge. I'm, I, I, I really hope I'm right about this. I think I am. But Transfusion is kind of weird. It actually doesn't have subgroup priority, so Scourge it can actually heal people in other subs quite nicely uh, because it's basically based off proximity is my understanding, actually. And that's actually really powerful, by the way. Being able to heal the other subgroup and help your other healer out is actually a really important part of um of why some of these builds are actually so powerful is the ability to not be limited to just the five people that you're in a group with um in general actually but yeah i uh, really like this uh, to be honest it's uh, like herald is is definitely powerful it's really really good and that's why i think it is going to be a little bit of a cut uh, above i think a lot of the next healers that we're going to talk about uh realistically just because it does have it's pretty much the complete package now it has stability the stability is a bit wonky and it you can't really fit jalous in that is a bit of a weakness like you you are quite inflexible i was gonna i kind of got sidetracked talking about transfusion but it is a little bit of a it is a a bit brittle it struggles to adapt because you're very locked in to the um the legends that you have you can drop ventari and just play with uh, play with glint and then say play jalice for example that works on low pressure fights you have to sacrifice some healing for that obviously but you can mostly rely on your weapon skills like staff and shield are very potent for healing and of course you have regeneration whenever you use a, an ability you get some little aoe healing as well anyway so it, it is workable to do that but you the, these things don't make sacrifices like that to provide that utility um that herald kind of has to have a little bit of a trade-off the permanent projectile block is kind of fun though actually so there absolutely is that. Uh, moving on now to B tier. And I, I don't really want to call this... Uh, do I want to call this B tier? You know, maybe we should just be brutal. I feel like I always come up with kind of copium fancy tier names. But you know what? Seeing as I at the intro I said that if you see people not playing S tier, you should block them and kick them from your group. Okay? Maybe we're just going to... Maybe we're just going to have a... A, a, a brutal list. We're just going to crush everyone's hopes and dreams. So uh, let's do that. <laughs> B is bad. Bad tier. Ooh, let's see. So, I kind of want to th throw some things on the board and, and see how it looks on this. Because it, it does get a bit muddy. So, let's see. What have we, I'm going to move some stuff around here at the bottom. Let's, let's actually see what we've got. So, we've got to do Firebrand. Berserker. I'm not even really going to consider Heal Blade Sword. I'm not going to lie. That, that, no. It's not a thing. Uh, Catalyst, obviously. We have Spectre, Tempest, Untamed. There's a lot of healers, these, isn't it? Uh, Mech, of course, is in here as well. Uh, and Scrapper. And also Renegade, actually. Yeah, this build is... It, 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 I mean, so people are going to cope about that build. Um, oh, oh, and Willbender as well. I think that's all of them, right? Yeah, that's basically all of the healers that we have lined up here, I think, more or less. Uh, there are some lunatics who play Heal Mirage, but I don't think we're even going to talk about that today because, honestly, like, I would feel bad about giving anyone inspiration to play Heal Mirage in pug groups, okay? That's just, that would just be cruel, to be honest. Hmm. Okay. No, Heal Harbinger, we're not talking about Heal Harbinger. That is, that's a meme build, okay? That's like, you know, you do a YouTube video. That's like, you know those crazy Hearthstone deck videos, okay, that people cook up? That's Heal Harbinger. We're not doing that. Um, <laughs> so, where does this go? You know what? You know what's actually crazy? 
These are actually quite close. I definitely think that the stronger ones, it's going to be your heal mech and heal firebrand. Firebrand is a bit scuffed, to be honest. I'm not going to lie. I, ooh, it is a little bit scuffed. Uh... So th those are the better. I, I feel like these three kind of hang out together a little bit. Just a, a little bit. Heal Scrapper, I, d I do not like this build. Even though it has been improved significantly, its boon output is better. The protection is better. Shortbow is a welcome addition to Scrapper as well, actually. I still don't think it's good, uh, to be honest with you. Uh, overall, it's, it's, not, it's not great. So I think I'd probably put those three together there. And, oh, where would I put the other stuff? Like, the Willbender thing is so interesting. Because I, I don't think I can put anything in... Um, I, I'm actually going to change this. I'm going to change it to S plus, S, A, B, and C. Because I don't, I, I don't think I can put any of these builds in C. Except for, like, Heal Blades. Well, let's get this out, out the way. Uh, this build is... Uh, it, no, okay? Like, this is not really a thing. It doesn't really exist. Uh, so that's the only thing that I feel like I can put below a B tier. Because everything else is genuinely pretty damn solid. It's really, really getting there, um, to be honest. Like, ArenaNet has been doing a good job of enabling these builds and making them happen. So let's kind of... Oh, yeah, we've got to put Spectre in here as well. You know, Spectre is really weird. This build, it's a little bit cursed, but it's also not that bad. Uh, to be honest, it's really not that bad. I wouldn't put it in no tier. It might end up around here. But let's kind of talk through uh, Mech, Firebrand, and Tempest and, and see if I'm happy with that placement. So the big thing about these builds is they didn't get power crept. Like, like that's, that's kind of it, right? It's like this stuff got giga power creep. And this stuff really did. You know, it, it just stayed the same, right? Like, Mech has more or less been left unchanged since its release. It had a couple of nerfs here and there because it was pretty busted on release. But it's just not as good as this stuff because this stuff is way better. Like, its stability application is very mediocre compared to um, all of this stuff. Aegis is very mediocre. Healing output is definitely on the weaker side for healers, actually. Um, overall, doesn't really have um, a lot of ranged healing potential. Barrier doesn't even really hold up anymore, even though that was one of the things it could do pretty damn well. Um, two, does have good mobility, can kind of be in two places at once. Boon application is robust, but it's not insane, right? It's really not as good as this stuff. It's a similar story for Firebrand. Firebrand used to be special. You know, it used to be, wow, very exciting. It really did. Um, but these days... Giving stability in Aegis, yeah, everyone can do that now. That's not good enough. And um, it does have some really good burst healing, but again, so does this, right? It's not like other classes don't have insane burst healing um, as well. Its boon application is finicky as well, um, with the quickness being a cone. Cone, um, which is a little bit awkward. It, they did give Firebrand super speed, and that's kind of cool, actually. That is fun. Um, on Feel My Wrath, and I do like that. Oh, I, I forgot to mention that in the offensive support tier, actually. Whoops. Um, but that's actually really nice uh, to have, for sure. You love to see it. You really do. Um, but is that really enough? Uh, no. No, it's not. Uh, you have been out power crept, Firebrand. You lose. And it's a very similar story with Tempest. It really is. Um, Tempest, it just hasn't had the changes it needs. It's a very weird support because you're kind of locked into a rotation a little bit and that makes healing reactively awkward. You get very hard punish for camping water a lot of the time. You have to continuously rotate, which can be annoying. Uh, its utility, to be frank, is mediocre compared to a lot of things, a lot of the shouts. If they had two charges in PvE, some of them do in PvP, for example, that could change things. If the boon application radius was bigger um, on the, uh, the well, not the alacrity, but mostly like the might and protection on your overloads if that was bigger i uh, if um maybe you could take aura heal and you could also take the alacrity trait simultaneously that could improve things as well um but to be frank it's just it used to heal really well especially when it was 10 targets but 
it's a bit design limited here. There was a time where pressing a button to apply an aura to your subgroup and heal them for 2,000, that was actually a really good skill. Right, seriously. Like, that, um... That was a good ability. That's not a good ability anymore. And bear in mind, you don't even do the healing anymore. You just apply the boons, right? Like, because you don't have the aura heal trait. So, not only has Tempest not been powered up to the level of um, the other stuff that exists, it's actually arguably got worse, right? Because it's, oh, I apply an aura and I do a heal. Yeah, that doesn't even happen anymore, right? Um, for, for a skill. And, and that's kind of not good enough, um, to be honest, in the current state of the game. Um, and obviously it didn't really benefit from the new weapon because it's pistol, right? And you don't really care about that. And you don't really care about the other weapons uh, either. Like, you know, you're still enjoying yourself on your dagger warhorn, just going crazy. But yeah, this is a build that definitely needs some work. I, I, I almost feel, saying it, it's, I, I feel like now that I'm saying, I'm being quite critical of it, saying that it's an A tier. Because at the end of the day, it definitely gets the job done. And it's a build that I personally enjoy. Actually, I do play it occasionally. It, it is a fun to play build, actually. And it's it's playable. You can definitely heal really well on this, uh, for sure. But yeah, it really is one of the builds that I think does genuinely need some work, to be honest. It really, really does. It really, really does uh, need some work. Uh, I th Would I put anything else in contention with these? I, I kind of wouldn't, to be honest. I, I do not like Heal Scrapper. I really don't like Catalyst um, either, to be honest. I, I feel like Spectre might actually be on the same level as this stuff. Um, oh. Ah, uh, no, it's not. No, it's not. I'm coping because I quite like Spectre. Spectre is the thief spec that I like the most, to be honest. And I am a little bit coped out on heal Spectre, but I think I'm going to resist the urge. Like the single target stuff, it works really well in PvP actually, but in PvE, honestly, not really. Your output is actually surprisingly good, and it does have incredibly good CC as well but i think it's boon application it doesn't have the it doesn't have the diversity that the others have um you do have stability of course when you're in shroud you can share your stability which is actually really nice and it's, it's a good chunk it's like three stacks as well so that is solid but it's very unwieldy compared to literally every other support when it comes to that boon application um and again it is a bit of a gimmicky build overall so i i don't think i can in good conscience put it in in a tier uh with with the rest of that stuff it's a build i like though actually i i would like to See it be improved. I would. I 100% I would. It's a build that I think is cool. I like it. So hopefully, you know, ain't it gives it a little bit of love, in my opinion. Uh, Seal Scrapper. I view this as basically a f worse version of Mech, to be honest. Um, it gives quickness. And that's something I haven't mentioned this time. Um, I will mention this again briefly. In general, builds that can heal a builds that give alacrity are advantaged in the meta because of how good quickness herald is so that's something that you've always got to consider builds like tempest herald scrapper uh and berserker they inherently suffer because of the meta being very favored towards offensive supports applying quickness there are some exceptions there are some exceptions by the way um where the inverse of that is true um but in general it is really good to be an Alak healer because of how powerful Herald is in this situation for the, the power quickness Herald in particular. Um, oh, did I say Tempest instead of Firebrand? I, I'm noob, okay? Look, I honestly, I can't tell the difference, right? Guardians and Ellie's, it's all the same to me. Uh, I mean, look, you know, at Tempest, it, water is blue, Guardian is blue. Same shit. Uh, but anyway, and, and that's something that to always consider here. And that's why... Scrapper is just worse mech, honestly. Uh, worse application. The res stuff is cool. I do like it. Um, I like the strides they're taking with the gyro to make the function gyro uh, a really powerful dynamic tool. It's a bit overloaded in my opinion. You like load it up with a million different effects. Like it's resing, it's supplying a barrier, it's supplying stability, right? It's doing a whole bunch of stuff. Um, but it's, it's fun. I like it. Uh, but it's just, it's just a worse version of mech, to be honest, right now. I'm, I'm not... I'm not impressed by it whatsoever. 
in speaking of builds that I'm not impressed by, Heal Catalyst. Uh, this build is, uh, this is not good. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, it's not good. You have putrid energy management. You don't really give good boons either. You just, you don't really have anything special. Your utility skills are basically worthless. Your healing doesn't even exist outside of water either. Like, this is just... No, th this is almost no tier, to be honest. Like, this build is just, it doesn't exist. Like, it's its not good. Uh, it, it, it is, it is not, it is not good. Like, it, 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 honestly, it might deserve to be here. It's, <laughs> it is not good. Uh, I, <laughs> I think I'm going to put it there just so Anet fix it. Because as we all know, um, the balance team have no idea what they're talking about. Okay, like, CMC, Trig... Roy, who's not even on the balance team, he died to the goddamn Guardian NPC. Guys, seriously. The Guild Wars 2 team dies to the Guardian NPC 1v1. The only hope they have a balance in the game is obviously by watching my tier lists and balancing the game accordingly. So, you're welcome. Okay, you're welcome, chat. Uh, that is a joke, by the way, for anyone who um, doesn't understand humor. But yeah, that is a joke. Uh, yeah, Catalyst going in no tip. Get the hell out of here. It's gone. Uh, next... Ooh, we're getting, we're kind of getting to the end now. And you know what? Let's get this done, actually. Heal Berserker. I think it actually deserves a very respectable spot in B tier. I really do. Um, Warrior Staff has actually done it. Um, I think people have wanted a heal style warrior for a long time now, actually, in PvE. Uh, it's kind of been a thing in PvP and World vs. World for a while. It, you know, the shout healing has been enough, like, along with the, uh, the the boon removal utility and just mobility and skirmishing power of Spellbreaker. has been very powerful and competitive. But in in PvE, it, it it's here. It actually exists. Is it fully whole yet? No. I think banners still need work, um, to be honest. I think there's some pretty brutal trait competition. It's very difficult to take... Um, you know, like, uh, stability and shout heal at the same time is awkward as hell on this build. Banners are very awkward to use at the same time. Um, so I'd say it's a lower end of B tier, to be honest, um, overall. But the healing is genuinely not actually that bad. Um, it does apply boons. It applies quickness. It applies fury. You can do might. It's kind of getting there it's a couple of updates you know before it exists it can do aegis right you know it's kind of a cool build to be honest i like it heal berserker let's go maybe i'm coped out here i'm not though I'm not coped out this is actually full-fledged existing build you love to see it i'm excited about it it feels good it feels good chat there it is heal berserker has arrived. You could play this and you're not trolling. Okay. I actually think that Untamed is... I think that Untamed is actually in a similar position to that. It has been improved. It has surprisingly good boon access now, actually. To be honest. Um, heal Untamed. And you can do the thing. You can provide value to your team. This is one of the more tenuous builds, I would say. And yeah, now that, yeah, Spectre Scrapper, Berserker, Untamed, yep, that, that looks about right, to be honest. It's, you know, it's, uh, it's something. I'd say it's still a fairly tenuous build, but it's really getting up there. Uh, you know, it's been continuously improved, like, now it has that might access, and you can do pretty much everything. I think the, I think the only thing it can't really do, um, is stability, right? Like, that's where, where it really lacks. That's pretty bad, by the way. Like, stability is, at this point in the meta, kind of mandatory um, for a healer to be able to do. Like, you kind of have to do that if you want to be a healer. So, bit of a gaping hole in the, uh, you know, in, in the, the repertoire of this particular build. But, you know, it's it's very solidly locked in there as something that you could absolutely play. One of the more uncommon builds, I think. So, people are going to be surprised when you kind of... um 
you know, slap it out there as well, but it's there. And you even have, like, some, you have some other weapons too, right? You can get mace in now as well, because previously you only had staff. That was, like, the only way you could really heal, the only way you could really apply boons. Um, but now you can probably get the mace in there with a warhorn as well and not just be completely locked out, right? Um, when, you know, when you're, uh, when you weapon swap, like, so you had to go, like, staff, staff. All that kind of stuff. Uh, and I think there was some quality of life improvements as well. Like now, um, you always get a trigger on the quickness. Like the um, when you do the weapon swap too, right? So like you always uh, get activations on your ambush skills uh, using the Grandmaster trait, which is actually pretty nice. That's very cool stuff, I think, actually, uh, with that. So yeah, I, I think I'm... I I'm struggling to see this. This build would need a lot of work, in my opinion, to fully upgrade. Um, but... I mean, who knows? Dare to dream. Dare to dream, chat. I mean, Untamed is a little bit scuffed. I still think it would probably need a pretty major trait to exist in the Untamed line that would enhance the uh, Unleashed abilities somehow. Maybe make them more supportive, give them some boon access. That would be some potential. Or maybe make the Untamed utility skills do something. Because again, a lot of these, a, a lot of builds struggle with this, with having like pretty lame utility skills in general with healers. Uh, Elementalist is a big culprit of this uh, overall. Like utility skills not performing particularly well. Um, but yeah. Not ideal. Oh, yeah. I wanted to mention this on Scrapper, right? They made the barrier application. Bulwark Gyro is now AoE barrier. Pretty cool, actually. But, yeah, that's just, like, something I just randomly remembered. Let's go. But, yeah, Untamed. That's where it sits. Uh, Renegade and Willbender. You know, I'm... Ooh. Hmm. That's interesting. That's very interesting. Angry Nomad Prime. Reminder to everyone to subscribe. Just like Angry Nomad. <sighs> B tier. Yup, that's where they belong. Um, Wilbender, oh man, Wilbender is the one I'm the most undecided about because it, this is one of those builds that people always hype up, and then I see gameplay and I go, "This isn't good." I, I, I just look at it and I go, "In what universe is this? Is this a strong build?" <laughs> I'm just so, I'm so unimpressed. By him, by heal well, Bender. To be honest, I thought the boot application is scuffed. The healing is like, well, I mean, whatever. I guess it, it's it's okay. I guess like you know, wh when you think like, hmm, what is better than heal will Bender? Like, why is heal will Bender good? And you go like, oh, is it just guardian utility skills? And you go, oh yeah, I mean, I, I guess it kind of is. And like core, core abilities, core traits. You go like, oh yeah, okay, I guess that's what it is. Like, I guess you can do a lacquery at six hundred radius. That's nice. Okay, that you know, that's very comfy. Uh, you know, we like that. Um, but yeah, you've got force movement. Your boons kind of suck, to be honest. It, it's kind of it's it's on the lower end of B tier in my opinion. It, it's not it's not high tier. Um, daily reminder that the tiers are not necessarily ordered unless I explicitly say. I do that to confuse people and annoy people on purpose. We should just randomize them. I, it, every, so when people skip through the chapters of the video, like, the tiers should randomly reorder. We can't fix that in post, but it, if I could, I would. Uh, but anyway, there you go. Is it a build you can play? Yes. Does it really offer anything particularly special or impressive? Absolutely not. That is the situation with Heal World Bender. And now... Renegade. Um, I mean, it's kind of a similar situation, I feel like, with Mech and Scrapper. It's just Scuffed Herald, realistically. Um, it, it, it really is. It's, it's Scuffed Herald. The boon application is not as good. Um, the healing is way more awkward um, than, than Herald is. I think the rework was actually kind of nifty. Uh, for this, I think it works out in the favor of Renegade in general, I think. You get some barrier application, which is kind of nice, actually, on the uh, heal skill, which is pretty cool. Um, when you combo it, which is which is nice, for sure. But 
I don't think this is really a build. I don't think they were even really targeting Heal Renegade being a thing. I don't think it's really on their radar. Like, is it a build that exists? Yes. Is it a build that I think is something that is on ArenaNet's radar? Absolutely not. So, there you have it. Okay, there you go. Enjoy! I think that's going to be it, actually. Um... For the healer tealers, yep. And look how many healers we got. We got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Well, okay. Let's say 13, because these ones kind of, uh, you know, not really a thing. But you get the idea. That's the healer tier list. Enjoy. Observe. Take a look at it, my friends. Drink deep. Breathe it in. Soak it in. And go forth and spread the word. And be sure to tell everyone <laughs> to tell everyone how amazing, amazing your build is and how much their build sucks. <laughs> that is my purpose here. But anyway, that is going to be it. Okay, fine. Like, heal Mirage? Fine. No. Right, there you go. Are you happy now? You good? We, yeah, we're on board? Yeah. All right, there it is. We're happy. Okay. And yeah, Harbinger. There you go. Enjoy. That's going to be it for this particular setup. I guess technically heal dead eye as well. Um, <laughs> all right, I got that. That's enough. That is going to be it, gamers. Hope you enjoyed this tier list. Be sure to watch the other tier list for damage and offensive supports so you truly understand the metagame of Guild Wars 2. That's what we're all here for. That's the knowledge we want. Be sure to watch the other stuff. Be sure to subscribe. Watch them live on Twitch. Watch them live on YouTube. Hand over all your money, of course. Join the channel. Okay, go on the Patreon. You know, all that kind of good stuff. That's what that's what you're here for. Okay? <laughs> that, yeah, that, yeah. <laughs> but anyway, that's going to do it. I'll see you next time. I'm out of here, gamers. Job done. Like the video. All right, there we go. I'm going to see if uh, the Mythic Plus boys are ready. We might have a bit more time. I can do the DPS tier list if we got time. Uh, otherwise, we might have to go do Mythic Plus. Either is fine by me. You don't together with the Prime. 26 squillion infinities. Very nice. I'm just going to check if the boys are here. I'm asking Vivi if we got to log in or not. I'm not sure if Rate is back, though. Is Rated enabled? Oh, wait. Is, oh, wait. Rated is enabled, actually. So it's just a bindo. That's fine, though, guys. We can finish off the... Uh, we can do the final thing tomorrow. Okay, we can do the final tier list tomorrow. Heal dead eye? Look, I put it in no tier. Like, there you go. Are you happy now? Also, shout out to YouTube, by the way, guys. Very nice. I'm juiced up for keys. Let's go. All right, I'm in. Keys. Keys, 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 keys. A Taldazar warm-up, then we are timing 30 rise, and it feels very good. Feels damn good that we're about to time 30 rise. Prepare yourselves. Boom. You know, I feel like everyone just agrees with the tier list this time. Normally people argue, but I think people, I think people are coped out. They're broken. Mentally broken. Imagine timing keys. I mean, I can't imagine that. I'll never be able to imagine it either. Ever. Will there be a DPS test? There will, yeah. But to be honest, I it's my least favorite tier list to do because I view it as like inherently scuffed. You know what I'm saying? It's like... I don't know. I don't like it. Ah, T-Cranker. Level 70 mage. Let's go. Dude, look at that tra look at that outfit, guys. That's big. 
T Cranker, level 70 mage. I hear it. Do you guys hear it or what? I don't know, if I was going to do like a DPS tier list, what does it even look like right now? It's obviously Vert, Soul Beast. Scourge. Yeah, that stuff. I'm not trying to put Reaper in S tier. Condi Willbender? I mean, it's alright. I'm, I'm not sure I'd put it... Yeah, like, Reaper is A tier for sure. Like, Harb is probably there as well. Like, th this was really good, I think. Um... Yeah, Condi Tempest is really good, actually. Isn't Hollow really good? I mean, I... I I mean, I think Hollow is really good. Like, Hollow is probably S tier as well. Maybe, like, Tempest is S tier as well. Um. Condi will, but this build is pretty sick. So maybe it goes in S tier as well. It's really, really good. The, the problem is, after you do this, I feel like it's so hard to. I feel like it's so difficult to define where everything else goes. I feel like Vindy's probably A tier now. It's it, it it's not as good as I think uh, Power Creep has demoted Vindy a bit. It's still really good though. It's I think very comparable to Reaper in what it does. Spellbreaker probably similar actually in that regard. Um, maybe Spellbreaker isn't that high actually. I feel like Spellbreaker fell behind no, in terms of its damage. It's not. It, it I feel like it has fallen a bit. Renegade is probably up here as well. Connie Renegade. Um, Weaver is probably around here too. It's really good. Uh, as well. Berserker as well, I think is really insanely good. Ah, oh, no, though. I find this one really hard to do. Deadeye. Yeah, Deadeye, Deadeye probably does actually kind of deserve to be... I mean, I don't know. I feel like Deadeye is too situational, I, um, to be honest. It is really good in some situations, though. That is for sure, um, to be honest. It's, yeah. How much DPS does Scrapper do these days? Is that 40k? Scrapper is probably an A-tier build. Again, it's kind of like Reaper. Like I feel like these three are very similar. Like Vindy, um, Reaper, and Scrapper. I, I view them as extremely similar. It's like the same build almost. I think Scrap is very good. Reap is very good. I think Vindy's very good as well. Um, how much does Catalyst do? Is Catalyst big damage? I think it's like it's over it's over 40k. It's like 42k or something. I don't I don't think it's as good as the other early builds though. Yeah. I would no I I uh, no. I think it's Dead Eye. It does so much DPS. It's like four. It's like. 46k or something unhinged. I feel like it has to be A tier. Has to be there. It's got to exist, guys. It, it, it can't not be there. Then you've got kind of like the weird shit. I feel like the weird shit is is all pretty easy. Like I feel like all this stuff kind of goes in here. Um, kind of across the board. Weird stuff is going in there. Dead Eye is going there. Druid is probably in there as well. Um, what tier list is this? This is like the DPS's, but it's my least favorite one to do. I, I, I don't really like this one. Um, get a bin note of wake the fuck up, Vivi. It's time for some big ass keys. Some big fucking keys. We've got 29 of towel warm up and 30 rise to get done. Wake his ass up. I, maybe I've got time to do the uh, tier list after all, huh? Yeah, I think Abindo's got COVID. That's the um, the issue. Which is not ideal. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like DH. Uh, I, I, again, I feel like this makes more sense. I, I don't like calling this stuff B tier. 
Or maybe I do. Maybe I do like calling the stuff B tier. Calling Condi Druid B tier feels kind of bad, to be honest. I, I don't... I don't really like that. Condi Druid being B tier seems a little bit unfair. Maybe it... Mm, mm. Quick Divas. I actually already did that one. That will be on YouTube soon. That's gonna be them. Uh, like, Spectre is good. Untamed. Yeah, it's probably... Well... Yeah, no, I, I think this... Yeah, this stuff is better than Untamed, I feel like. Catalyst. Catalyst is probably around here as well, I feel like. Same with, like, Daredevil. And probably Bladesworn. And then probably Dragon Hunter as well. And then Mirage is, like... I don't even know what the fuck. Like, what even is this shit? And Cro Chrono is probably here as well. Yeah. Um, yeah. Chrono not S tier? No, I mean, in terms of DPS, I feel like Chrono... I'm not sure I'd call Chrono S tier as a DPS role. I'm not sure I'd do that. Like, it's, it's not bad, but is it really insane? I don't know. Daredevil... How much does Daredevil do DPS-wise these days? Uh, yeah, but Bladesworn's like such a weird build. Like, like where where are you playing fucking Bladesworn, right? Like, it, it does a lot of damage, but like, where do you even play this shit? I don't know. Like, dude, Firebrand? Firebrand is not bad. I will stand by this. Like, Firebrand is not bad at all. Um, no fucking way, dude. It's, it's actually surprisingly good. It does over 40k DPS. Well, its utility's pretty lame, actually. It's not as good as, nah, it's not as relevant as it once was. I think that's overvaluing it. We might need another tier here, to be honest. Um, this is, this is not good enough. Yeah. What's the deal with Mirage? Mirage is just kind of like a weird build right now. It's, it's in a weird spot. Um, it, it's in a very strange spot, in my opinion. With what it can bring to the table. Ah, weird build. A bit needs to log on, man. Daredevil is forty-one k. Oh, that's not very good, is it? Mm. That isn't very good. Yeah, it's what I'm talking about. I I really don't like the DPS tier list. It's it's. It's my least favorite one to do, because I think it's just, it's too situational, it's, um, it's too weird, it, it's, I think it's almost impossible to give a particularly meaningful rating, like, outside of, like, the busted builds, I think you can give, you can make meaningful statements about this stuff, right, Scourge, Soul Beast, Hollow, Vert, and actually some of this stuff here as well, like, Scrapper, Vindy, Reaper. Like, that is, um, that is, uh, you can make meaningful sense about that. But just the DPS number on their own, it, it's just, I don't know. Like, it, it's, I, I don't find it particularly meaningful, realistically. Like, I mean, who gives a fuck about, like, DPS mech, bro? I mean, like, what, what the fuck? You know, what, like, what, what even is this? Um, whatever. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. Maybe I'll finish this tomorrow. I'll probably finish this Taylor's up tomorrow, guys. I want to think about it a little bit as well. I'll, I'll think about it and see if I can come up with any good ideas uh, for how to do it. But this is pretty much, uh, that would be like a bit of a, yeah, maybe a little bit of a, Okay, I can promote, um, promote, I can, I can maybe promote Untamed up a little bit. Yeah, I think that's probably fair. I think it's better than this stuff. It's, it's much more, com I think it's much more comparable to something like, to some of these specs for sure. Like, it's a bit more comparable to these, I think. Spellbreaker over Blaze was questionable. Yeah, I, th this build is not, it's not that good anymore, is it? Um... I feel like it got a bit power corrupt. It's, it, it 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 used to be insane, but now it's now it's less insane. You know, 
I do like that it has the defense trait line though. Like that, I, I, that I, I value a lot. I, I value this build a lot because it's just so tanky. And you have all the stability, right? Like you have perma stability on this build and you have all the healing and full counter. I think that alone still puts it into S tier. Like it could get downgraded because, um, it could get downgraded because it is a build that's weird and doesn't work properly on some bosses, which is a big problem. So I do like Spellbreaker actually quite a lot. Bladesworn. The thing about Bladesworn is, um, the way I always see it is this build is, I feel like it's a little too reliant on your group not being a total clown fiesta. Like it's kind of how I viewed like, you know, like the dagger dead eye build, like the power dead eye build, um, especially before the changes to the critical strikes trait line. It's like, it's like a little too reliant on things going well for you. Um, yeah, like in a good group, yeah, Bladesworn is going to be insanely good. And if you can pull it off, then it's going to perform really well. But I don't know. I don't know if that's going to happen. Okay, I don't know about that. Yeah, uh, you know, like, I, just play Soul Beast, right? Like, Soul Beast is Bladesworn, but it's green. And it works if your group sucks, uh, which I think is pretty good. Feels good. Incredible. Even in a good group, it will deal less deep. I mean, Soul Beast is pretty good. You know, it, it's a pretty sick build. I'm not going to lie. Is Hollow Build an S plus power of Condi? It's going to be both. Like, uh, both power, uh, Hollow and Condi are really good right now. Can't roleplay as an anime character on Soul Beast, though. If that's true. You can't teleport behind people. I, th I think this is pretty good. Um, yeah. I, 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 you could argue that some stuff should be demurred to, like, B tier. Wait, isn't Power Herald actually quite bad? Because um, I think it is actually quite bad. Let me just look up the number. How much DPS does Power Herald do? Is it above 40k? Because I, I think this might have to be demoted. I think it's actually a bit shit. Because it kind of paid the... This is one of those builds that paid the price, right? Like, it got... It got, uh... Got noodled a little bit. Mainly for the quickness. Yeah, yeah, but I mean... We're talking about DPS Herald. Not Quickness Herald. Yeah. So I think this has to be it has to be cleansed. So it is it's pretty shit uh, overall. Power mech. Well, I mean power. Thing is, power mech is bad, but I think Condi mech props it up a little bit anyway, or at least, or at least a little bit. Although to be honest, I think it it probably is B tier actually. I think it's worse than everything here. To be honest, because Condi mech doesn't do that much DPS. Power mech is bad. Um, I think everything in A tier is significantly better. 37k power. Yeah, that is trash. Holy shit. 37k DPS is garbage. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I, feel, I, I think this is starting to make a little bit of sense to me. I feel like it's starting to really get there. Not bad. Vindian Reaper should be higher. <sighs> should they though? Should they though? Does Vindicator compete with like the raw godlike power of some of these builds? I mean, it's, what's really nice about Vindy is that um, you can do Jalus pretty easily. Like, that's very good, to be honest. And it does have a good damage profile, but I don't know. I'm not sure if it's good enough. Um, I, I, don't think it's, I don't think it's good enough to really compete with how insane some of the stuff is. Yeah, yeah you can do Venturi. That is really nice. And that's why it's S tier, right? Because it has that flexibility to be really useful to your group. It's a really good build. 
Um, it's, it's kind of, that's, again, I kind of view these three as very similar. Like, Scrapper, Vindicator, and Reaper are just good old faithful power builds, right? Kind of Spellbreaker as well. I, I put Spellbreaker kind of in this group of four. They're the good old faithful. Not super, super broken um, in terms of what they bring to the table, but definitely like, really robust, I think. Uh, power mech was 38k. Yeah, 38k is, that is not good, uh, unfortunately. And the issue with, um, power mech as well, is it'll be 38k DPS, but the damage profile isn't gonna be great either, right? I imagine it's not very bursty, because mech is not very bursty. So, yeah. Uh, and bear in mind, guys, if you want to be, like, a, a big blaster build right now, you need to be doing, like, 44k DPS, unironically. I, like, you want to be at least 42, 43, 44k. If you don't have that, it's, uh, it's not good. Yeah, not ideal. Hmm. Thirty-eight k is not very good. Meanwhile, every raid for Adelzine might play with strongest reach twenty k DPS. Well, the thing is, is that it's we're talking about like the potential of the build in terms of like what it outputs rotationally. We're not talking about like how it works out in actual fights. On actual fights, you're going to get lower than that because you know you're not hitting the boss with a hundred percent uptime. Not always, anyway. So that's what you got to bear in mind. We're entirely talking about um, uh, we're talk we're entirely talking about. Um, uh, we're, we're entirely talking about um, what the potential is. Very hard to play. I don't. I'm not including difficulty into this because realistically, the um, like rotations in this game are fucking easy. Um, and even if they weren't, it's skill issue. I'm not. Um, I don't care about uh, skill when it comes to rating this stuff because that doesn't. You know. It's literally a get good issue. There you go! Um, purely because of uh, high numbers? Well, they're not there purely because of high numbers. They're there because of the way they do things. Like, Tamas is very, very tanky. Like, um, Willbender's damage application is just really good. It's, like, very, very good. It's very reliable. It's a very reliable build. It's pumping. And Deadeye, I mean, you could definitely argue that Deadeye should be rated lower, but it just does such ridiculous DPS. And it's quite tanky as well. Like, they, they made Iron Sights better, right? It's, like, 20% DR or something. Maybe 15%. So 15% damage reduction. Big damage. Big DPS. Um, arbitrary tier list. Well, it's it's not. I mean, it depends what you mean by arbitrary. It's not arbitrary. Like, you know, um, if, if we did tier, if we did like a survey of like what specs are the best, you're going to see Virtuoso pop up a lot. Let's be honest. It's not arbitrary. Um, but it is very difficult. I think the DPS tier list is is the least meaningful of all the tier lists. Fair to play? I mean, I like uh, Reaper. Reaper is big gaming. Indeed. We love to see it. Mirage trait needs rework. The entire trait line is mad with barely any t alternatives. I mean, it's just like one of those specs is a little bit difficult to handle, I feel like, for a reading that. It's a bit tricky. A little bit tricky. 
Where's Abindo? Log on. Where is he? It's over. It's over, chat. It's over. Uh, best open world or best PvE? Uh, in general, um, best PvE is the same thing as best open world. Uh, like, that's the reality of the situation. Um, people draw a distinction that doesn't really exist. The truth is, is that the best builds for open world are pretty much the best builds for raids. Right? Like, if you want to do, like, open world farming and stuff, just play a raid build. Uh, in particular, play an offensive support raid build. Like, that's the actual good shit. If you want to play the good shit, you play, like, Power Herald. Power Quickness Herald. Yo! That's what I'm talking about. That is what you want to play, and it feels good. I'll go play it now. We're going to go play it now, guys, on uh, Dragon's End. Let's do it. Where's my Herald? XX Role Player XX? Let's do it. It's time. Wait, is that even? Does that character even have build set up? I don't know. Let's play this guy. Yo, Larry in the chat. Ah, uh, yeah, Boon Chrono also pretty good. Oh, Wabindo's here. Nice. He has actually awoken. Incredible. I guess I can't do Dragon's End then. Don't inspect me. Did you enjoy the, uh, the inspect and discourse with Kill Wars 2? Oh, man, that's funny. Yeah, it, yeah, it's uh, it's it's something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, I'm gonna have to put a team together, guys. I'm a little bit sick of everyone complaining about this stuff. Okay, look at this, guys. Unless there is a responsive blob nearby, there is no way, let alone reason, to defend stuff now. It's quickly turning into a Karma Train only mode that resembles Silverwaste farming from back in the day. Oh, you know, there is this really weird thing. Like, this is MMO journalism territory, okay? Like, I think this is very common. Because when I read the subreddit of Classic WoW and Guild Wars 2, the experience you get in the game is totally disconnected from what people say the experience is like. It's so weird. Um, you know, like, this is an unhinged statement. Like, it's not true. Um... It's not like that. I played it today. It's not like that. I've been playing it for months. It's not like that. I I, <laughs> I don't get it. It doesn't make any sense. Um, why is this post even here? Most of my playtime in World Bustle was scouting and defending objectives. I ran from one contested thing to another, tried to delay attackers, and organized the defense. Now this playstyle is nerfed into the ground. The first major hit was the removal of invulnerable fortifications to activate it and siege disablers. Now you cannot even fix a wall in a reasonable time to prevent enemies from getting reinforcements easily. I know that players like me in the remote are still sad at the end of hundreds of hours being removed. It was dumb that you could repair a wall instantly. By getting it to 10% again. It was Pepega. It was really annoying to deal with. It was not fun. I'm sorry. You should not be able to hold a Zerg of 50 people with one guy um, holding you hostage. Or like hold an entire Zerg of like 50 people with five players. If you want to defend something, you need to call in reinforcements to combat the enemy players. Like you don't need 50 Okay, you could do it with 30 because you have the defender's advantage, right? And you have siege. But you should not be able to hold a tower 1v50 or even 5v50, right? That doesn't make any sense. Yeah. Clouding is more difficult. That's because boon supports are overtuned, though. This is a balance issue. And by the way, all world versus world players, I think, would broadly agree with this. Um... Right? Like, this is not controversial. Um, 
yeah, like supports got buffed a lot in World vs. World, and it's still a little bit too sustainy in coordinated group play. Everyone agrees with that. And additionally, um, Scourge got nerfed. This is this. Y y they're talking about this being the um, nerf to like um, small skill and roaming. It's actually Scourge. Scourge getting nerfed fucked the cloud because there's not really a particularly good replacement for ranged. Um, like, boon pressure. Not really. Um, not in that context. Because Scourge could self-buff itself with Feed from Corruption really, really well. Just, like, fire out Corrupts and fire out Wells and, and do a lot of damage and, and sustain itself well. It's quite tanky as well. And it could self-boon. Like, that build never got replaced, um, realistically. And that was what really kind of... Um, prevented clouds from being nearly as effective against well-coordinated boon groups like two things happened like scourge got nerfed and um supports in general got crapped a lot yeah. if five people are insane roaming coordinated players they can still be a big zerg uh they absolutely can't um unless the zerg is terrible um i, I mean like 5v50 i mean that's it's not gonna happen you know it, it really isn't Nervous has made fighting Zergs uh, much less fun. I definitely agree they have to find the balance here. Um, I think it's less nerfing strips, though. I think it is more the fact that supports are very good. Like, with the advent of Druid being incredibly good, Chrono is, like, the really notable one, right? Like, that's the one that's really overcranked uh, and is, is, like, really, really insane. Um, and Vindy as well. Like, Vindy being as strong as it is is also problematic. Uh, with how much output it has. They've real they nerfed that one really aggressively. Scourge, funnily enough, like support Scourge is also a huge issue um in the meta. It's I don't know how it is right now, actually. I haven't seen it nearly as much. Maybe in coordinated play it's still strong. I haven't really seen it though. But yeah, that build was a massive problem actually with how incredibly strong it was. Um but I mean yeah. Yeah. That's how it is. But yeah, I, I think supports are a bit problematic uh, still. Like, they're, they're going to fix that. Uh, but no, like, the defender stuff is just, like, incredibly unfun. Like, guys, garrison fighting was giga unfun. Let's not pretend that it wasn't, right? It was incredibly frustrating uh, as the attacker. It was really not good. Nice. Right, anyway, enough of that, guys. Um, we're getting down to business. we got keys to do. Let's go. Hope you guys enjoyed the tier list. I'm cut you know, honestly, Linker, you know what we got to do, mate? Okay, and I, I'm, honestly, I'm, I'm getting annoyed because people keep complaining about this shit. They're complaining in the YouTube comments. They're complaining on the subreddit. I'm sorry. Uh, okay, cheers, Larry. I appreciate that. Um, we have got to get a squad together and show these noobs how to defend. I'm not even joking, dude. Seriously. It is ridiculous. Like, because I think defending, I'm not going to lie, I don't think it's even that hard. I think you absolutely can still delay Zergs. You absolutely can delay until your reinforcements arrive to actually hold off the attack with a small group of, let's say, like 10 players, like 10 gamers who aren't playing Zerg builds, just kind of playing, you know, just b basic builds that like roaming builds or like uh, cloud builds. I think you can actually still do a lot if you actually try and you actually use the tools available to you. Like, it's... It's so annoying to me that people say this because I just think it's just wrong. They're they're just bad, okay? They're trash, uh, and I, you know, even though I barely, you know, I haven't played World vs. World properly for ages, we can still dunk on some noobs, man. Ten was like a large roaming group. Well, like five to ten, right? It's pretty standard for a little roaming party going around. The temple belongs to my master. Uh, you know, how many do you want? I mean, let's go. And even with five people, you can make it happen. The Troll Empire will rise again, guys. Do you know that? I know that. Wait, no! Bro, I clicked the portal! What is this? And Tol Barad now. It's over. I got trolled. Yeah. Now I have to come back. Wait, no, what's this? Jester the Breaker. Wait, no, what is that? Wait, Jester. Wait, what? Wait, you died to Gamu Ra. 
Gamura the Breaker. Wait, what level are you? Wait, aren't you above level 25? Gamura the Breaker. Weird, wait, you're 32 and level 50 warrior and you wipe to Gamura. That's insane. That's actually crazy. I'm going to be leveling my warrior, by the way, Jester. His name is The Breaker. The Breaker will be main tanking. I will get Thunder Fury and SOD. SOD hype. SOD hype. SOD hype. I can't wait to buy gold in Phase 4 of Season of Discovery. I sure love buying gold. SOD hype. Let's do this. I'm not touching the portal this time. Get on voice, boys. It's rock and roll. It's time to deplete. Oh my god, I didn't buy consumes. I've got enough for this run, though. It's fine. I just need to remember after this run. Dude, I've got 13k gold. It's over. I, I have nothing. I'm poor. Are you serious? It's fine. Wait, hang on. I have 300k on Teapot Knight, 200k on Feedman, 200k on Teapot Monk, 200k on T Cranker, 158k on my original Paladin. Let's go. Where's Snizzle? Get him in here. Wow, inflation. Listen, I know you guys love that stuff. I know you guys are big into, like, inflation stuff, but I'm not. I don't like that. I'm not into it, chat. Here we go. Surely we, we aren't going to deplete this warm-up key, guys. That would be truly embarrassing. Man, today is a big day, though. We want to get 30 fall. Uh, 30 rise, rather. Uh, it's a difficult key. Uh, we're 20 seconds off timing it. We are so fucking close. Uh, we just got to get it clean. We've got to get it crisp. And see if we can make it happen. Poor? Yeah, I am actually poor. Keys. Keys. It's a big day, Vivi. It's time for 30 rise, dude. Are you ready? Yeah. Good. You better be. 31 Black Crook. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I hope so. Like, we can definitely do that, King. We also got Everbloom on the menu today. We have two Everblooms, actually, which is nice. Everbloom is coming. Prepare yourself. It's my key. Ready check. Consume up. I'm going to have to buy gold soon. I've got nothing. Fortunately, I love buying gold. Keys. Keys. Everyone's sounding fresh today. I like that, actually. This is good. We need to be fresh. We need to be sharp. Sharp, humble, and wise. Cone. I the key with, with uh, Hopeful on the PTR. Oh, yeah? How did it go? Yeah. The tank did a massively safe pull on the first pull of El Gafar. It went kind of well, I guess. Got some deaths. And then he randomly left hmm. after the first boss. Yeah, and then deplete, I guess. Yep. Nice. I like that. That's how it should be. Everyone's ready. Wait, actually, is everyone voice though? We have to wait for Snizzle. I'm not going until everyone's here. We must delay. We must stall. Actually, I'm just going to send the key and then force them to join voice. Full 10. Here we go. Do I have the right build on? Yes, I do. Five, four, three, two, one. Snizzle's non-verbal. It's over. Maybe this key is too low. Oh, we go Razan first and last. Snizzle is still on invoice, by the way. Yeah. I thought you were memeing. No, I'm no, I'm sending, bro. Key's literally started. Yep. We're going.
Here they come. Get ready to hide. Four. As a three, raptor. Two. One. If you get the thing, uh, take. If you get pursuit, take it over to where the uh, you know the thingies are, right? Or whatever. Never mind. It's thingies. It's uh, it's on the the other side. We want to go to the uh, you know. Oh, you the, mean, okay. the dinosaurs. Yeah, yeah. want to go to the dinosaurs. The dinosaurs. Four, three, two, one. Any dinosaur fans? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Doing it. Yeah, do it, do it. Yeah, so if you're, yeah, if you're gonna leave it up, just go all the way over. Yeah, nice, nice, nice. We might raptor a bit, but that's fine. Actually, you know, you're not really raptoring. That's fine. I should be. We should be able to make it, no problem. Yeah, we're good. Four, three. Two, one. And then on the next pursuit... Oh wait, how do I get... How do I fuck out your feared? That's crazy. On the next one that we don't uh, meld... I think Sizzle might meld this. Let's see if he does. He's not melding. Okay. I'm getting the dinosaurs then. I'm silencing them. I'll pull the boss back here. Uh, too ethical on these. I've got a lot of health. It is fort week after all. Got a silence on him. Boss is nearly dead. Lead down the trash as well. Dies and kill these guys at three mil. Razan was a powerful lure. Perhaps you will make a worthy sacrifice Let's go. for Zoom. Yep. No mount, spiteful. Enjoy. Enjoy that. I think maybe we should pull that screamer and those. I think we should do those two actually in that first pull. That might be a bit spooky actually. Maybe not. Protect the priestess. Let no one make it through. I grip and then my silence next. Sounds good. Focus the confessor. Next stop is me. Stop his snizzle. He's not on voice though. He doesn't know. He knows. He's on the stream. He's got, he's got the delay. It's big. I wonder how close we can get to plus plus on this. Whoa, that actually killed me. Nice, I died there. That's interesting. Yeah, all the fervent strikes. I lost the uh, volcanic here, you know. Yeah. It's it's stopping it, my calls. It's basically only going to go on you. Ah, right? ah yeah. keys. <laughs> so it's verbal mid key. Yeah. Yeah. He's verbal. verbal. He's finally verbal. Okay, my silence next. There we go. Kill the Colossus. Well, the Confessor, actually. Kill the Confessor. And I'll get silence next. Silencing now. Got it. Good. 
good. Next up is Vivi on uh, Confessors. Good. Kill the Colossus, and then we can do all of the next stuff together, I think. We're successfully baiting this time. Feels pretty good. Yeah, it turns out if you stand on the Juggernaut, they don't charge you. We've learned. That's crazy, bro. We have learned. We are insane. We are officially insane gamers. Who's we? Uh, that we are Vivi and uh, your uh, mirror images. Oh, the wait, do the mirror images bait? That's actually interesting. Yeah. Yeah, they do, they do. Oh, that's yeah, content, yeah. actually. Friendly entity, does. And, uh, and a certain Palin, of course, always. Yeah. Oh, uh, well, we're no longer oh. doing it. Oh boy. I have a science, yeah. it should get him. Yeah, I got him. Griffin. Okay, that's not ideal. Spoke too soon. Yeah, we did. Now, you guys better get back here quick, or I'm. Yeah, this is not gonna be good. I got the kick. Yeah, yeah. Next is gonna be Snizzle Stop. And rated next to. Uh, blast wave next. Very good. Yep. And then I'll grip and silence. Yeah. Confessor should die now and Augur, so we're mostly in the clear. Surely. We're good. Help. Help. Oh. Yes. He needs help. He's being soul burned. It melted. Hit him on. Yeah, sure. Meld on dwarf. Imagine they they make a new. Imagine if the earthen, they want everyone to play it right. <laughs> it so they, they give it meld and the dwarf racial. <laughs> like we really want you guys to play earthen. Really get some value out of your expansion purchase. Not both the. Did OP you see racials. the uh, racial? What is the racial actually? What does it do? Uh, it's basically flavor pocket. You don't oh. need to. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, it's infinite flavor pocket. I mean that's kind of nice. So basically, I mean, isn't that's kind of interesting though, no? Because that's basically saying you get potentially three eye level extra on your ring as a racial, which is interesting. Yep, I guess so. Yeah. Oh, well, that you know, that's not necessarily bad. Could be good. Hey, gripping. Focus the auger here. I silence him. Auger dies. Silencing him again. Nice. It's under control. We will never deplete. Watch the shades. Oh, uh, auger is off. Uh, yep. yeah, just just we can just kick it, yeah, and we can just kill it. It's fine. Yep. I'm focusing it. I'll silence him now. He sounds. Okay, good. Go okay, boss next. Just pull boss. Pulling boss. Of Killing first. Here. Boss pulled by me. I did it. It was me. I'm caught. Attack Gripping in. I stun first. Let's uh, hodge it next.
Kill it. Look at the blood. There we go. Paralysis next. Look at her blood. Yeah, I'm looking at this one. This one's mine. We did it. We're insane. Misery next. And the boss dies. You do not belong we did here. it. Insane. Let's go. Must declare my thanks for killing the priestess. Watch out for the fire, you boys. Have only succeeded in strengthening my hold I'm on slow. The temple. Let's go. I'm going to silence it on move. Moving on now. Oh, yeah, that's a good last actually. Tripping. Silencing again. Blast him. Oh, and we have 11 minutes. We actually might be able to plus plus. That's nice. We probably kill the swords here, then we want to chain the big guy into the other stuff. I think he thing is I think he might pull the dino squad. Might be a bit awkward. Then I can Yeah, it's, it's good. The dino squad. I'm dropping darkness in the middle. Oh the back! Ooh, holy shit. I got it. This one. Not even close. Kill the swords. Uh very growth. All right, just kill the swords and we're chaining. Let's go. I'm moving, guys, so make sure you get those kicks. And silencing these, getting the stalkers. Here they are. Gripping. I need stuns there. Okay, good. Next up is Vivi. Here we go. And my silence here. Uh, rated is next after silence. Rated goes. Uh, Dragon's Breath next. And then I have a grip. I don't have a. I have a. No, I have no. I know. Easy. Easy. Science now. Okay, next can be my grip, I think. Uh, Vivi is hodging the um, thingies, right? When they do the shield, hodge it. We have Shockwave too, actually. Nice. Yeah, good to you. Nice. We shockwave. Uh, we need a single target on this if we can. Possibly. Yep. It's immune. Nice. <laughs> Let's go. Clean it up. Get ready to move up. 
the shield I have Nova. And there we go. Got him! Yo! Got some fucking speed going on right now. We love to see it. Bro! Oh, you pulled. Wait, I didn't cage! Uh, oh, hang on, hang on. Stalled. No! You didn't cage. Or die. Then die, we can rest, I, I melded, I melded. I'm not in combat. Yeah, yeah, I yeah, melded. It's fine, it's fine. Yeah. Oh, there's like slight lapse in concentration there. Hang on. Bruh! Hang on. Oh wait, I pulled it again. Pulled nice. The Dude, I'm literally very in trouble. Just right die now. and we rest. Yeah, yeah, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. It's fine. I don't know what I was oh, thinking though. I was like, bro, I want to go do the boss. I didn't cage. Well, now we can't plus plus. You have cage? Yeah, I do. I do. Yeah. It's caged. Okay, let me pull now. It's like the right. lapse in concentration. We're ready? Yeah, we're, we're ready. mentally ready? Yeah, I did. I'm fresh. I'm fresh as fuck right now. The cognitive right. is there, oh, right? Oh, yeah, dude. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You I'm fresh as fuck. Right. You Good. Fine. Yeah. I was just excited. I'm just, I was feeling hype for that, to be honest. I was ready for, I'm just thinking about 30 rise right now. Okay. I will help purple. I've come to help. Kick. Let's start thinking about killing pretty soon. I think we can kill now. Let's go. We got him. It was a little bit closer, too, wasn't it? Huh? Maybe if we do the sickest Yasma ever, we can actually still plus plus. I don't think Yasma's four minutes on this uh, key, actually. I believe. Don't think Abindo has to re-log either, actually. He's already on Fury. I think he plays Fury the whole time. He just goes to a more defensive role. Ah, uh, okay. Because that's what uh, Red Cake is doing. This is going to say. Um, I'm not sure if he should swap this time, though, actually. Because I think it will cause too much downtime. I want a plus 31. It's time. I'm gonna move a little bit away from the middle. Here we go. Master. I have to wait for Aura. Let's go. Yeah, I think we have four minutes. Yeah, 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 it's doable. We have less than two minutes. So we probably have one set of CDs first. But when you die, there will be no coming back. Volkal is in pieces again. Do you guys know that? Fuck. It's over. Impressive. You made yeah, three minutes for this boss, I think. Should be okay. But I will still be drinking your blood. Unleash bloodlust. All right, I'm pulling ASAP. Need to wait for Snizzle a little bit. Okay, I'm going now. Let's pull. Soul Rend. I have caged. 
or not caged. I've grabbed them. Let's run away from the spiders. Need help on the sword run. Yeah. Uh, I can keep doing you. Let's go ahead. Yeah. Be shattered. On the ads. Uh, spider. Spiders. Moving the boss now. Move. Let your soul Go ahead. be shattered. And move. We need to go ahead a little bit. There's a spider. We've lost in ten. Get ready. We unleash everything. Okay. I'm waiting a little for Vivi. Yeah, yeah okay. That's okay. Makes sense. Makes sense. Makes sense. We need to move um, quite a go. bit. We need to move quite a bit after this. Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah, nice. Makes sense. Uh, watch out, there's a spider head. Careful, careful. Let's go. Pump the boss. Have to do one more Sauron, probably. Watch the spider ahead. Watch the spider ahead. Careful. Okay, now I just kill boss. Go, 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 go. Not even close. <laughs> what did we get? Oh, fall! Holy shit! Let's go! Let's go, That's actually! Fine. Let's go. Also, I rated um, huge. My cities recharge faster with haste, so it's not too bad if you haste like 15 that seconds. That is big. Before. Yeah, I know, yeah. but it was an excuse for my own cities. That is a huge okay. key. Big. Okay, so what are we feeling like right now? Do we want to do the 31 fall immediately, or do we want to go 30 rise? Honestly, both are pretty good. Kind of want to do the 30 rise, because we can just get that done, you know? Uh, I think 31 fall yeah. is still really scary, so I think we just go rise now. Just do the 30 rise? Yeah, oh, dude, 30 rise is just. free! It's pisky, no? Like, didn't we already... It's pisky. Didn't you yesterday say it was a pisky? I did. Because <laughs> we also were 20 seconds off or something. Well, I mean, we just need to piss 20 seconds less. I mean, that key needs to be flawed. Uh, I'm not sure about that one, Hatta, to be honest. I mean... I, I, we had a we, lo we had a lot of time we could save, no? Like our tail was scuffed. I think our first trash was a bit scuffed. Like Morchi was a bit. I don't scuffed. think that's true, to be honest. Only Snizzle died on the <laughs> trash. I, I guess and, the trash was okay. Well, I don't know. I, I it just yeah. felt slow to me for some reason. I'm not sure. I don't know. Maybe it wasn't. Maybe I'm delusional. It didn't feel good. It didn't feel like our best anyway. I tail was slow though, right? Tail was really was not good. Didn't feel that bad either, to be honest. But well, we were thirty seconds behind our, like nearly forty seconds behind our best, so it wasn't. Mm. It was dog shit. 
No, I actually have no gold. I need to go and mail myself gold. That's sure. that is just that's depressing. It's over. I have 3k gold on the scary thing. Yeah, I also have Z gold. I have one gold. I will buy gold. Oh, the raid rotation. What's the raid rotation? Oh, oh, two, oh, it's two weeks each. Ah, oh, that's kind of good, actually. That means we can probably make some decent progress on Mythic, on Voltman, in that case. Oh, shit, week seven plus, all raids are active at that point. Ooh. That is a bit cool, isn't it? Yeah. Nice. All right, Team and Hunter's getting 100k gold. Logging in. All right, let's get this rise done, then we go straight into the fall immediately. We time that shit, get the first 31 locked in. Actually, if we, if we finish a third, if we time a 31, isn't that good for uh, season four? Wait, how, how much is our t key gonna downgrade? It's gonna downgrade, but like- No, they, they said that uh, it's gonna reset to plus two anyways. Oh, okay. So there's no escape. We will become plus two. Yeah. I need to get well, I guess that's fair enough. Our flight has much to offer. Tepid versatility. Uh, howling room. See, look what I'm doing right now, guys. I'm buying consumables like a responsible gamer come see me again yeah that's what i'm doing right now look yeah. at that i i was like oh i don't have any consumables i'm gonna go and purchase some and i did it feels good okay let's get this done i mean let's just focus up and do this let's go we can do this gamers We've uh, done some pretty sick runs so far on this, and, and now we're going to lock it in. My inventory right now, so yeah. Wait, why do you have so? Why do you have so many? <laughs> I'm <laughs> gonna need it for an entire season. Yeah. <laughs> it's just the fish. Yeah. I mean, I'm a trend. What we're gonna say? I'm a trendsetter. I made all of you guys use the fish. Feels good. Fish. Also, I'm exposing Spin. He broke. Farak broke him. He actually broke yesterday. Mentally destroyed. I mean, I would break as well if I didn't kill Farak. Mm. Yeah. Dude, it's actually been a, a month since we've killed Farak. Yeah. Like tomorrow. Because our entire fucking guild quit the game, bro. Like, nobody plays. Killed Farak and then everyone uninstalled. Right, have I got all of the things? Yes, I do. Have I got the right build? Check builds, by the way, guys. Just make sure. Spell steal. Oh, uh, wait, wait. Oh, I think Vivi, you have the 30, right? You have the 30, yeah? Uh, yeah. Okay, we'll use yours. And if we somehow no, I deplete... I have room. No, it's not mine. Wait, wait. Who has the... Did we have two of these? Did we re-roll one of them? Oh, yeah, uh, I have one. Yeah, but you, you have a 31, right? I thought we had a 30. Well, we attempted it yesterday. No, you, with the oh, rated it as one. Rate, right, no, rated as a 30. It just wasn't showing up on my key add-on for some reason. Yeah, he has 30. Mm. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I was like, what the fuck? What's going on? All right, give me one sec. I'm coming back with slamming this.
All right, let's go. <sighs> Ready, check. Here we go. Let's do this. We go rated key. Let's do this. Pull 10. Send the key. Five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. Let's focus and blast. When are we? No. no. Yeah, this is Rice. Yeah, it's Rice. Yeah, we are. Right. You have to play Rice, yeah. Change the true timeline. <sighs> no, no, no. We're doing. We'll do the fall next. This can't be happening. If Murazon exists, that means. We said. We said Rice. No. There's one casting. Grab him. Yep. Oba. That's it. Keep kicking him. Make him come in. I can grip him now. Oba. They're getting all tired. It's nice. Oh, get. What? Body went down. I'm still orbing them. Well, it's not the best start. I should get that one. Yeah, nice. They should just die to the orb here, I think. More or less. There we are. Right, I'm gonna... Because we were a little slow, let's do this. Pulling the snake. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wait, your orb though? Or what, what the orb in, inside of the uh, snake circle. Oh. Yeah, that's not ideal. This is slightly gone awry. Oh. Well. Need to kill the maiden here, guys. Wait, right? Oh. Hmm. The snake is gonna. Yeah. I got the kick. Someone get snake again. I can get next. Snake. It's here. Oh. Right, I need to go pull. We're gonna have to do some pretty unhinged shit here. Hmm. Oh, fuck. Snakes. Go get the others. He's dead. Okay. Oh boy, this is gonna be rough. I'm gonna have to basically start the boss with most of this on me. I'm not sure if that's realistic. 
the shackles of the titans. Bam! Now my mind is Run open. from the bliss, man. Stop face tanking. I have eight bleeds. Yeah, range them. I can help Titan for you. Ends here. Kick. Uh, open the next, I guess. Bleed should expire now. Yeah, it's good. Alright, I'm silencing it and we have to go. You cannot stop what is infinite. Feel the horrors yet to pass. Sparks. So, dropping uh, darkness. It's going to be bait. And then tank frontal is next. My strike is true. Baiting, then going middle. Behold, huh. uh, okay. I mean, that's, that's workable. I'll try and get the ones that go in there. Behold, the wreck of the infinites. That orb. Sparks. Spitefuls. Tank Frontal. Soak next. Dividing. Oh. You fall. It's bait, then middle, make sure it's a good one. Annihilation good. is inevitable. Moving middle. Behold the wrath good. of the infinites. Ah, uh, okay, this is. <laughs> let's, <laughs> let's, let's go again. Yeah. Yeah, we just missed the ones in there. Yeah. I, I, I saw you there, so I, I didn't really go for them. My strike is true. Yeah. yeah. Let's just, uh, let's just deplete the, deplete the 30 watt and we'll just send that again. Yeah, I mean, that was just, that was just cursed. That, that, that was just cursed overall, to be honest. That's, uh... That key was a uh, <laughs> wasn't not wasn't the best. Not ideal. All right, reset. Uh, just deplete the thirty-one. Who has? I think it's Snizzle who has it. I think. Yeah. Uh, we can. I mean, we can just go in and start it and then reset. We. Uh, yeah. I couldn't see the volley. There were too many nameplates. <laughs> it was just fucking for a fiesta. I need to get closer. Should I just stop this? I just, uh... Flight has already oh. infiltrated the timeways. I guess we, we probably should have just let him come on his own. Yeah, we do rise. Yeah, we're doing rise. Yeah. Doing rise, then the fall. The fall is afterwards. Yeah, you have to join the instance, uh, so he can deplete the key. We should have probably, he should have just left the group, I guess, but it is what it is. Get in. I think if I kick a bindo, it works too. I'm yep. doing it. I've uninvited him. Send the key. Thanks, Lee, you reset it. Waiting for four man. Four man in the four 31. Four man 31, Zace. dude. That's yeah. fucking Zace. We're snapping Morchin onto yeah. a first boss. We're doing some real fucking gaming here. This, this can't be right. The infinites changed the true timeline. Deplete. Imagine if you had a 31 and you were bugging your 31 and they just left like that. I'm adding a window back. Right, it's we're time. fucking warm. Let's go. We're warmed up now. Get the fuck in. No bad baits this time. No fucking troll shit. Let's play the game. Here we go. I can't use that item yet. 
Get in here. This is it. This is it for real this time. Checking builds. I will do a ready check when everyone's in the instance. And we will check the builds. And this is Rise confirming. This is a 30 Rise. Alright. Pull 10. Actually, well, yep, we're good. Pull 10. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. All right. No volleys this time. Clean. Where? When are There's only one snake here this time. Nice. Enjoy that. No. I'm dead to one this snake. This can't be right. The infinite's changed the true timeline. <sighs> Kick the far caster. Yep. Can't be happening. If Murazon exists, that means Kick the far caster again. No. no. Orb, watch the orb guys watching the orb, watching the orb. We have to get back to the timeways. They're going to get orbed. No. Orb again. Yep. They're going to get orbed. Silencing. Uh, next up, Vivi, if we can. Wow, okay. What? Uh, hold on, guys. Press a uh, big personal. Sizzle fell. Yep. How are you aiming those cliffs? Careful, Orb. Sizzle. Holy. This is really where we want to be, is it? Orb coming back. Yeah, it should just kill them now. Yeah, they die. Bro, Wait, where are you aiming those cleaves, man? Well, I mean, they're, they should be just ahead. We're, we're standing on the side. Yeah. Finish them. I'm gonna pull the snake. We can't stand behind when it does the fucking AOE. Oh, fuck. Wait, me. what? I... Wait. Oh, we pulled more. Jesus Christ. Yeah, he dashed that way. This is going to be very difficult to survive. Oh Kick my god, the patrol. We need one kicked over there. Yep. There's a volley. I'm not, I'm, this is really bad. I'm not sure how long I can survive this. You can stay in the keeper shield, maybe. What are you going no, up? Oh yep. fuck! Yeah. We have we had no kicks on this one. <sighs> Don't have any kicks anymore. Yeah. That. Well, okay. Let's go full. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> yep. yep. Oh. Not ideal. Yep. Yeah. There's too many too many casters there. Well, it's fine. We can work our way up to that uh, key again. <laughs> The week is young, the week is young, plenty of time. It's fine, we're just gonna re-roll this into a, uh, a rise anyway. It's not ready yet. The infinite dragon <laughs> flight has already infiltrated yeah, the timeways. We must follow. Oh, that was cursed. <laughs> yeah. Didn't go our way. Alright, but that's okay. Because here comes the 31. Oh yeah. Here we go. This will be juicy. Maybe um, our proc chance works like uh, this talent right there. For every deplete. It, yeah, we every deplete. Every deplete we increase the chance of not depleting. Go. 
Okay. It's Mikey. Check builds. This is full, guys. 34. Oh, wait, 31 full. All right. Yeah, for this going to be a spiteful infestation. Yeah. First ball. Pull 10. They hit plus 1,270%. Five, four, oh, boy. Three, two, one. Here we go. Infinite Dragonflight has already infiltrated the timeways. We don't hit the sub of the star. I need to go pretty quick so I don't die. You oh, don't you worry. We'll find a way to stop them. We will keep the reinforcements at bay while you take care of their commander. Right. We've got your okay, let's go. Chrono melts. Yeah, uh, sack me actually. Uh, yeah. You might suffer. Spiteful. Don't have Bob. Yeah. Going with the cooldown. Nice placement, bro. You enjoying that over there? I cheated. Who? His wife. I'm excited for uh, for Bloom, you know. You will not get past me. Whoa! Nice jump. Real from the shards of 
That was uh, not the best hunt. I was hoping it wouldn't move me into the hitbox. It did. You will not get past me. Real from the shards of time. Kill boss. Here we go. Think, yeah, time is good. Five minutes for that. It's actually quicker than our thirty tyrannical, so it looks decent. I'm gonna start. Are we gonna? Off, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's. I got it. I think we go pretty slow and steady here, to be honest. I'm pretty sure we just need to not die. So I'm not gonna do any like fucking crazy, massive like leech pulls. Champions, you must destroy any anomalies that appear. Let's just we play pretty slow here. The twisting the time. Silencing. I do not know. They have often Stopping. tried to corrupt the true timeline, but to invade the bronze temple to do so. A moment, silence. No yeah. bolts right now. Volley. Uh, one leech pulled, that's fine. This is the last chrono burst to live this. That's actually mega on lucky I'm dead. Me and Abinno got chrono burst every time. Yeah. It's fine, just well, get back in. One. Yeah, I guess. Try and kill it before it goes off again. I don't really... I need to wait a couple of seconds for the first bloom here. Indeed. Okay. And they will stop at nothing to ensure the rise of my darkest self. Nurizand. Yeah, it should be fine now. Yeah. One here. Was that, uh, did you get, uh, I kind of need something here actually, I, I'll darkness myself, should be okay. Yeah. Watch the frontal. I gotta live one more bloom, I'm a bit dry here to be honest. Yeah, that nice. It's fine, the mob is dead. Okay, yeah, 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 just okay, 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 okay. Yeah, I, th I think. Yeah, it's fine, it's fine. I waited a couple of deaths there, so it, it lived quite a long time. Uh, go left here. Did you go left? I think. Yeah. Um. When the dog comes here, we're gonna chain into it. I think, anyway. I'm gonna delay a little bit though, actually, because I need to uh, need some buttons. A little bit lacking on the button department right now. I'm dead. Pulling now. Silencing. Focusing the dog. I kind of need a bit of help on this. I need help with Help me. Okay, it should be fine. Okay, killing the dog. We got one pack left. Oh, 
Oh my god. Kite. Dude, that was that was dumb. I'm out of range. That was literally 0.1 seconds. I might die again though actually. It's difficult for me to re enter if we can kill it quick. Uh, this is gonna kill me, I think. Oh, I, it's fine. My cheek came back. Let's go. Yeah, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. We are good. We might have to do some... I don't think we can do leeches on boss. We're just gonna have to do some chaining here. I think that's okay, though. Oh, careful with those. Hang on. Volley. Okay, I'm gonna go pick up the remaining leeches. I think we're still lusting this boss. We definitely are, actually. Try to kill it before Chronoburst goes off again. Okay, live this. We have a lot of leeches. I'm just gonna go grab them. There's a interval. Where is it? Is it dead? Is it dead? Oh, you got it. I think. If we go Silent Sigil with Lust, we might be able to do these with the boss. Not yet, though. Let's let's wait a little bit. We'll pull them on when they're starting to get a little bit low. I'm going to save my Silent Sigil. And we just blast them with Lust. And let me wait for it's a... It's going to be drums. Oh, fuck. That's, okay, let's not then. Well, drums isn't that much worse, but... Right, hang on, let's let's go for it in a moment. I'm juicing up. I'm silencing and let's go. The time waves shall be uh, drums. Drums. Yep, done it. It's a and coming. You have to get the things though. I silence them. I silence them. I silence. There are gonna be some spitefuls here. Sands of orbs, time. orbs, orbs, orbs. I watch orbs. They watch the uh, leeches, right? They can hide them a bit. It's a bit nice, isn't it? Sands of time, I call upon you. It's rated a bindo. Sands of time, I call upon you. Seconds pass. It's rated snizzle. Orbs. Sands of time, I call upon you. Vivi Snizzle. Sands of time, I call upon you.
The seconds pass. Rated Vivi. Sands of time, I call upon you. Rated snizzle. Sands of I see. Very good. Let's go. Change your builds if you need to. I think time is actually okay. Uh, I don't. Yeah, I think it's fine. Because the bosses are going to be much quicker. I think it's fine. We do one dragon at a time here. That's a little slow, but the pathway should be fine. is opened. I'm scared. I'm scared, Snizzle. A dragon's gonna oh, yeah? punch me with its little wing and kill me instantly. Yeah. And die by a single dragon. Yeah. Three, two, one, go. Yeah, I'm fe I'm feeling pretty good about this, honestly. I, I don't hate this. It's a little slow there, but I mean that trash is always gonna be a bit of a fucking nightmare, isn't it? Let's be honest. I don't think I've seen anyone do that cleanly. I don't hate it. We've still got 17 minutes to go. As long as we don't die to the dragons too much, I think we're okay. And honestly, that's kind of on me, really. Track the infinites to a place, a moment where I... We're there in just a moment, guys. Get ready to get back in. You're not coming with us? We're in. I'll be with you in a sense, but not I'm slightly late. late. That's fine, that's fine. We'll, we'll actually wait because it's a bit fucked up. Uh, how long, uh, rated? Uh, I'm in the lone screen right now. Okay, let's just, let's just wait, because this is not, this is, we, we don't want this to... He must have just okay, let's go. He was the biggest proto -dragon I'm not going to pull all the chunks, because um, I don't want the dragon to fully enrage. Well, I, I haven't forgotten them, though. Just, yeah. Be aware, I know. I have the information Maybe actually just sack me now as well, just in case. Really don't want to die yet. It's like ended. Yeah, so yeah, it's, it's, fine. It's, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. I have cheat for the next one, so it should be a little bit more chill. Let's move. One at a time here. Be careful. We've gone back before the aspects were even the aspects. We have to find the uh proto aspects. They'll know what you to can do. Or probably you can, now, yeah, it uh, might be worth putting. Be yeah, than yeah, five. yeah. You might as well just send it now on this trash. Yeah, for sure. I like that. I, I might run here, just to be sure. This is going to be very scary. Ow. Holy. The enragers run out. I should be okay. Yeah, this that second one's a bit scary because I used everything on the first one, right? Didn't really have much up for that. Triple two, Snizzle. It's time. <laughs> yeah. Check my HPS, bro. Yes, you had to get fucking nerfed, mate. What's up with that? Yeah. Getting nerfed by 13%, I think. Yeah. Pretty harsh. That's a lot of percent. Yeah, that's a rested rate percent. Hmm. Well, I mean, look. 
Watson has all been playing Torin, Worgen. I mean, I feel like Druid is... Mm. It's yeah. gonna be big. He can be a tree. He's gonna enjoy it. boss immediately after this. How bad is the slime on this boss? It shouldn't be too bad. Well, I mean, it's going to be like a 29 tyrannical, basically. Yeah, I mean like the, the spit, you know? It's not going to be good. You won't enjoy it. Might need something. If it's on me. Actually, I'm sure I need something. Uh oh, that Going? slime is full of necromantic power. Looks like we'll need to mop this up. We have lost in one minute. We do we? I guess we probably send it. Yeah, we do because we can get an extra loss on end boss. I guess. Yep. If the next bit is on me, I still need something. Don't send Lost on City uh, rated. It's in one minute. Yeah, I know. Bounce. We have to do one more, I think. Yep. Oh, fucking hate to press Ice Cold there, but. Can you live, Vivi? You good? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Do I lost this guy? I think so, right? Um, just well, not now. Yeah, yeah, we... Oh, I'll get it off you, Vivi. I got it. Don't touch me again. Watch out, watch out, watch out. Don't touch me. Yeah, yeah, we, we just send it on CD. Yeah. You can go. Oh. Yeah, nice. Let's go. Yeah, because we, ha we have one... Another last, like, a minute and 30 before the end of the key, which is... Yeah, exactly. It's fine. Grabbing it off you. I'll just run past you. Phase coming up. And then we Try and meld this first one. Here we go. RNG. Easy, 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 easy. It's happening. Ah, uh, huge. That's yep. really big, actually. Remember, do not pot, guys. The, the first necro. Yep. Remember to not pot. Do not pot. Potting. Potting now. Well, I guess you can. You're fucking invis, right? Watch the f uh, front. It's all me, I need help. Yeah, you get it's a necro frost. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Got, it, I got it, I got it, I got it. Watch front, all careful. Watch in front, all. Pump the boss. Into your skin. You can hold uh, it. Yeah, yeah, you can probably give it to me when you want to, and then I think I can just hold it until the boss yeah, is like, dead. No. Uh, I think well, I can. I can bounce as well. Yeah, I, I think it dies, though. It dies. It's 10 seconds, right? It dies. Hey, wait, you, yeah, I mean, yes. You know, it, it dies, it dies, it dies, it dies. Just go, just go. Oh, fucking hell. 
not even close. Do not pot. We're invising, guys. We have nine minutes. That is enough. We're okay on time. We're good to go. We face enemies. All we got to do is not die to the last boss. Uh, this is not a joke, guys. It's still very hard. Yes, this is still very hard. Yeah. Uh, a lot of damage. The it's gonna be a, gonna be a shit ton of circle. damage here. Uh, yeah, it might not. Just, I don't know how to deal with that. Just don't fucking die. You might have to shuffle a bit, I guess. My friends, Let's go. With me. If Eridicron came here with the infinites, but yeah, remember, it's still very hard. It's a lot of damage, so play it like it's tyrannical. Bad. Really bad. Can you scout ahead? I'll be with you in a moment. Uh, don't die on these rippers here. Yeah, we also have less stops and kicks. Come. It shouldn't be a problem. So. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. I science, I science. For the He's siphoning Galakron's essence into a vessel? It looks kind of like the dragon soul. I grip. I have it. I have Chronomult. And I'll silence next set of abilities. Silencing now. I got the grip on this. Dude, I wait, I actually cheated there. What the fuck? I'm telling you, Dom. They're doing a lot of damage. Yeah, they, they do. I have this. Yeah, they, they pump. They're spiteful. Can probably go when the creation dies. Uh, no, we 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 this the we can't do spin with circle. We need to be careful. And also, like they're gonna hit me. Careful. very They are hitting me very careful. hard. I don't. Yeah, I don't really want to go with these. Yeah, yeah we we have time. have time. We have time. Yeah, like. Shit! It was almost Keith, by the way. If he's he spin to right. next time. May uh, kill that spiteful. Let me. Play. Oh yeah yeah yeah. Okay okay okay. Quick, 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 quick. This is like a six minute, it's like a five minute fight. Alright, so. go. Okay, okay. Go. three, go. two, one, here we go. Come, of the so remember, first is going to be my darkness. I feel a surge of energy. Okay, we can invis that, that's perfect. And this is my darkness. Good. Remember, stay near Snizzle, guys. Don't drift. Shield. Got it. Ads coming up next. Feel Earth's might. Silencing them and then moving. Oh, follow me. Silence them again. That's like on him. Yeah, I can, I can cook this one. Well. Yeah, cook This is Rally. This is yeah. Rally. Short us, you Let's take a bit. The 
funded by Earth. On the next set of um, ads, uh, just make sure I don't die, Snizzle. <laughs> they actually hit really hard. Um, yeah, I mean, I need to heal Crowbar as well. I'll have Rage Heart. I, I, mean, I should have decent CDs for it, but it was actually really fucking scary. I was. It was moments away from disaster. Let's put it like that. Yeah, and we are. Break the shield, guys. Break the shield. Break the shield. We got it. It does. It's long. Feel Earth's might. It's answer. I should move in. He might move in a boss is low, so I don't. Boss is 93%. Boss you probably got one more CDs, one more set. I have science for this. Yeah, there's, there's nothing here for this one. We have nothing here. So this is just live. I'm saving darkness. No, we have bow, yeah. Oh, well, I mean, we always have bow here. Yeah, but yeah, with that, nothing, nothing looks yeah, special. Yeah. We have lost in 20. Do you want to use it on this shield, Snizzle? To break this quickness? Yes, okay, yes, okay. use it on the shield. Okay, so we're just losting on CD. We're, we're losting, in, yeah, uh, not losting on CD. Yeah, not right now, obviously. In time. Yep. Uh, save everything big, though, for the uh, last phase, the burn phase. Okay, sending. Good. Should lose one metal instead. Yeah, we got it. And it's going to be pushing right now, guys. So get ready to. Yeah, unload. we get ads and then we face. Feel Earth's might. Oh, chop, chop. Double roll. Uh, it does. It's going. It's going. Here, My darkness. I need something. Darkness is uh, down. Yes. Fine. All right, we're fine. Yep. Pump. No. Yep. Let's go! Easy. Ooh, oh, 31! Go. Yes! That's what I'm talking about. Push week. <laughs> there we go. 13 rating! Oh, 16. <laughs> Let's go! 32 Waycrest. Do we want to re-roll uh, anything else? I think we do. We don't care about the risers, do we? So we should just re-roll those. Yeah, I'm uh, Everblue, maybe? Um, no, we, wa we want those. No, we want to oh, go. Oh, ooh, throne. Oh, I mean, yeah. That's nice, actually. That's a good one. Yeah, okay. Uh, go. Yeah, that's very good. What did uh, uh Maybe get? we roll the rice then, because like, we don't have rice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll re roll my rice. Dark art. Dark art. Oh. Yeah, we roll it well. well. I mean, it can be a good practice key, I guess. Because we want to do it on 30. But let's go. We are 22 rating from 3.8k. And honestly, there's a lot of shit on the table here because we, we still can do the 29 black root, a uh, 31 black root, guys. It'd be another 13 uh, rating. Uh, probably only 12, actually, because our time's yeah. quite good. But it would be, um, yeah. be another 12 rating. So that would put us at 90. So yeah, yeah. 3.8k is doable, actually. It's very doable. Oof. Yeah, that is a... That's a scary key, man. Not even close. Came down to 22 seconds. Nice. Good job. Uh, I, is it time for the Everbloom now? Or do we want to try the Throne, actually? Because we haven't done um, Throne 29. 
So maybe we could try the throne. Uh, yeah, I guess do throne. Yeah, throne. Cool. Alright, let's go throne then. Cone! I love underworld thing. Dungeons. Yeah. Bad chest. Cataclysm. How do you feel about uh, Game Battle? Default. I mean, dude, Cata Dungeons are good, man. Just saying. That's a pretty good one, isn't it? Yeah, you like... You liked Vortex Pinnacle? Yeah, I did like Vortex Pinnacle. That was a sick dungeon. Uh -huh. I, I think the problem with Grim Battle has some RP in it, I think. If, unless I'm thinking of the wrong some one. Some RP. Yeah. I, I, I can't, I, I, my memory is a little bit hazy, but I think there's an RP segment, I think. Which yeah. is not You ideal. just free red dragons and then you ride on them and destroy half the trash in the dungeon. Yeah. Yes. All right. Okay, I need to not die on this key. I feel like the Murlocs or the uh, Goblins are gonna win. I mean, it shouldn't be too bad now, right? Well, you know, literally every other pack in this dungeon. I mean, this, this is scary, but if we can get past the first boss and you know, it's not horrible, then we're alright, I think. I think the um, the squids are pretty bad. Ooh, Give yeah, a, they pump. We have to do stops to on those. Boss. Yeah, yeah, they are. Yeah, We have to do big stops on those, otherwise we're going to get farmed. Although, bear in mind, this is a 29, so it's not 31. You know, it, like, 31 is pretty scaled up. But there you go. Wow. I mean, Look at that, guys. 31. You love to see it, don't you? You absolutely love to see that. It makes our Everbloom more cringe, though, because now it's three key levels below our best key. Yeah, Everbloom is or bad. Yeah. The fact we didn't get rid of uh, 28 uh, Rhinical Everbloom. It feels bad. bad. It does feel very bad, yeah. But we're about to cleanse ourselves of this one. Yes, we got it, Tom. We I, it, honestly look, we deserved it. We we deserved it after miserably depleting like two thirty rises immediately. <laughs> like I said, you're building up the <laughs> yeah. Talk, you know, we're, we're SKB. We're we're actually SKB. That's uh, our playstyle. Okay, pull ten. Actually, wait, I'm gonna wait for pot. I'm gonna wait for pot. Got fifteen seconds. You know what that means, right? What? We just timed on, so. So but we're back to nothing now. Where it's depleted. Yeah. That's why I picked the throne, not the most important key in the world. Pull 10. It is Rated's key. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Like how Snizzle immediately wants to know. <laughs> Drama. <laughs> Here we go. All right, wait for me to set this up, then go crazy. I'll kick the first thing. Bro. Bam! Gripping. I have eight bleeds on me, by the way. Okay, next stop is going to be Vivi. And then my silence. After that, it's going to be Blast Wave. Blast Wave is next. And then, if anything goes off, it's just Ring of Peace now. I have a grip. And I think we're good. Uh, just kick these. Just kicks, 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 kicks. Okay. Let's go. These dogs are... I like are, how we did the exact same DPS. These dogs are relevant here. They are relevant. These need to die. They can't be allowed to stay alive. Scrappy sure is relevant, bro. Yeah. Well, I mean, they're all relevant. Oh, yeah. I can... Uh, I can I can grip it soon. I'm dead. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, you're gripping dead. now. Gripping. Gripping. That's slowed now.
Do you ever use a cone of cold rated on mage? No. Every single yeah. on cooldown. Because yeah, yeah I, cool. I was I was thinking like that's an eighty percent slow, but it feels really annoying to use. Not a particularly. I've never ability. seen anyone use it, to be honest. Yeah, because I guess you can. Do you use Ice Nova, the talent? Uh, yeah, I do. Yeah, a okay. lot. Yeah. Yeah, because you can kind of. used it like four times already. Yeah, you, you can kind of use it, use that instead almost. Like a similar ability. Yeah. God oh, damn it. Maybe stamp up Frost Mage. Because you use Call of Call for DPS. And that's um, what Nerf's Mage plays, right? I think. Nah, no, it just plays Frost, like sometimes. You play Frost in the, in the, the like, the 33. Um, yeah, weapon. but like. It's based. It Nerf. He's rank one. He's not. It's still rare, isn't it? Yeah, or res team. I think. Yeah. I don't have a target. Here we go. All right, this is uh, hell. Okay, get ready for hell. Okay. Oh, yeah, get a spiteful. Ah. Instead of pressing a defense. I made it up, guys. Uh, can you bot me, Vivi? Yeah. For the uh, meme. I'm gonna wait for people actually, because otherwise the Murlocs just they make it. They just run all the way over here. <laughs> it's very funny. All right, let's go. You know, they just just do it almost immediately. The bot. Yeah, yeah. When the Murlocs are in range. Right here. Holy. Dropping darkness. Danger. Danger. Oh yeah, it's danger. Silencing. Next stop is we go leg sweep first. Guess I'm dead. I'm silencing. Well, you could press one defensive. I don't have any. Where's the all the time, man? Yeah, Next okay. is blinding yes, light. Next is blinding light. Go. And Dragon's Breath next. And then Nova. Okay, good. Alright, and then just kick yeah, her. Just kick rolls. the witch, kick the witch, know. kick the witch. God damn. Alright. I fucking hate this pull so much. This might be my most despised pull in the entire uh, dungeon pool right now. It's so cancer. Why? Because... Why this one? <sighs> because I have to, like, not attack for quite a long time. Kill the dragons, by the way. I'm stunning. I'm gripping them. All right, next stop is going to be um, Leg Sweep. And then next is Rated. Rated. Can do one more. Yeah, go now, go now. And our silence, my silence now. Gripping now. And just kick. We go Ravager, then when we have CDs, we pull dogs. I'm running away uh, when I get too many stacks. That is the plan. Here we go. I'm gonna wait uh, like 40 seconds, then Abindo has uh, CDs, and we'll pull the dogs. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna pull them on their next rotation then. And they come back. It's a bit annoying. Should be okay. We're good. Alright, nuke these hard. Nuke them very hard, guys. Get rid of them. Bam! 
Darkness ring for myself. Oh, I have nine stacks already. That is not fun. Oh, you need a ring? Um, yeah, do it, do it, do it. I need to reset for sure. Yeah. Yep. Star 40. Okay, it resets. I should mostly be all right now. I'm gripping them. I should get them off you. Yep, there we go. Got them. Spiteful aggro on me. Yeah. I'm gonna fucking run. Yeah, 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 just just get the fuck. Just just live. We're like we're, that went pretty well, honestly. Only one casualty. We wait for Vivi, then we're doing the double caster pack. Right, let's try and do fucking stop rotation. Oh boy, here we go. Okay, I'm gonna wait for Vivi. Okay. I think I can I can do this setup now, I think. Yeah, I can. Here they come. My grip first. My Nova next. Leg sweep next. Vivi next. My fear next. My fear again next. My grip next. It's a Bindo Shockwave next. Whoa, whoa. whoa, yeah, that was, you know, Shockwave. And then Silence. Okay, it's rated next two. Yep. Into a Bindo's Fear. I have one. Okay, just, way. yeah, okay, then a, a Bindo Fear. And then my Grip. All right, fucking YOLO. YOLO kicks, YOLO kicks. Just, yeah, everything, like single target, stuns. Everything, everything, everything. That's my bad, actually. I, my grip was like one second away. It was too slow. Didn't have it on CD yet. Okay, lovely. Right, uh, give me one second. Need a sigil. One second. Uh, wait a little bit at the start here. I need to get some threats. Okay, it should be okay now. Yeah, we're fine. Good. We have lust in a minute. I think, we're, are we still lusting this boss? We are, right? Yeah. I'm, I think I, so, yeah. I think yeah, we, we are, yeah, yeah. I think we are. Just to have it for third. I have a sound, seven sounds. Shell breaker. He broke my shell. Alright, kill the big guy. Good. Alright, boss. I think so far this feels really good actually. Good job, guys. Uh, be all on pull. I think so, yeah, we can. Yeah. Uh, yeah, for sure. Okay, three. Oh, I'll wait a bit. Three, two, one. Here we go. And we're blood awesome pull. Form the square. Where? Diamond. Square. Good. Okay. Square. It should phase midway actually. Kick the caster or one of them. I silenced one. I got it. I've I got on the thing, but should be fine. Yeah, I got it back. I got it back. They actually all have the same health, so you don't actually need to prior the uh, the big man. Because you always think like big enemy has more HP, right? But it's actually not the case. Yeah. You know, sometimes it feels like this shit uh, fucking scales with fortified, not tyrannical. It does. I'm pretty sure it does. Because they hit very hard. It really, it actually felt like that on Iridicron a lot. Like the stone men, the ads were fucking yeah. me. It was horrible. Yeah. I was about to say it yeah. when you uh, yeah. brought it up. Yeah. 
Yeah, it actually felt worse to tank that on um, Fortified than on Tyrannical. Yeah, I think it's actually just intended. Why, what is that intended? Tyrannical says it's like bosses and their yeah, it minions. Says bosses and their yeah. minions. I mean, yeah, it's been like that for I don't know how long. Our guy, our guy. Uh, hang on. I can get it. I, I got it. Yeah, I got it. I got it. I got it. I'm moving in now. Okay, blast them. I have a grip. Good. Do you know what's going to happen here? We time this. 30 rise. Surely. Fuck. Get our fucking revenge. Oh, baby. Finish the boss. Surely I wouldn't die to this guy on Fortified, right? The crab man. Hmm. Does reflect work in that? It doesn't, oh. right? Oh, I just swallowed. Nice. It's fine, it's fine. It's I fine. don't see army. Yeah, yeah just, 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 yeah, just, just rest. It's fine. Oh, you're fine. good, you're good. It's fine. Okay. You can release. Let's go. Boom. Here he Do comes. Do you think the uh, Uza skill with uh, Sword of Sight? Let's go. I think, uh, yeah, timer is really good, actually. Yeah, it's very good. It's looking good. Let's move. Good. Have you guys seen that like half the dungeons in the uh, expansion only have three bosses? Yeah, yeah, it's I like that actually. Yeah, it makes Tyrannical less fucked, right? Like, that's pretty, pretty much yeah. That as well. I just like um, shorter length dungeons pretty much. Yeah, I have to say I'm not super excited for, uh, you know, 40 minute Nakud offensive, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Not super hyped about that. You should have seen, uh, like, the Halls of Valor. It was like 41 minutes or some shit. Was actually the time? It was 41 minute timer? Something like that. Jesus. <laughs> Oh, you have to move a little bit more. Nice grief, bro. The crushing claw. Oh, volcanic, nice. Huh? We killed the boss. I'm ready for the gauntlet. Let's go. I'm gonna make it through without dying. Let's go. Here we go.
Uh oh. There's no way. Caught. He's actually caught. He cheated to that, by the way. He actually cheated to that. Yeah, that's bad. That's yeah. fucking bad. He has no cheat now. He's completely fucking owned. So when he gets mind flayed, he's gonna die instantly. Dude, the maze cheat is, is fun as well, because it makes you go really fast. You're fast as fuck when yep. you cheat. Just run away. Yeah, then you bleed out and die. <laughs> yeah, it leaves you on, what, 7% health or something, I guess. This stuff's coming down. Here it comes. This is... this hurts, by the way. Yeah, the tentacles do... or the pulse does damage, right? It's silence for mind flay. Send off, like, just the odd random stop on the cyanic pulses. Like, hold kicks for the seers, but just, you know, like, single target stuns can just go on them randomly, pretty much. It's a sick combo. Triple Sears. I will actually wait for something before I do that. Yeah. <laughs> it's pain. Silence on those. Oh, Gripping. There's no way. Yeah, I couldn't kick because. That's bad. Okay, I'm gonna. It's fine. I just wait. We just wait. We chill. We chill. I think time is pretty damn good. We just need to not throw. Kind of lost everything there. But... He combusted. Let's kill one seer. I'll pull the uh, I'll pull the seers next. Let's do this first. Them now. My sounds. This is the plan. We will pull these, and then when the seers are dead, we'll move on. I have a science on them. They shouldn't cast anything until they die now. I'm going to start moving uh, towards the tentacle things. Uh, send random stops on these, just like press, press stuff, single target stuns. I'll drop a darkness now as well. Done. Yeah. They're nearly nice down. Effort. They're nearly down. Again. Nearly down. I have a grip. Yeah. I grip them. Yeah, honestly, again, I think Kuka's fightful. Relatively fine. Not the end of the world. We have 11 minutes, that's enough. 
I died twice. That's full combust. He's less than tying DPS. It's fucking Z DPS. Okay, we are going. Three, two, one. And this is with Lust Guys. Totem coming up. Spell lane. Spell lane. Spell lane. Spell lane. Redline? Totem. Redline? No dispel. Uh, I'm dispelling. No dispel. Redline? No spell. I can uh, thank this. Uh, all right, nice. All right, spell there. No spell. Totem. Spelling. Boss phases in 3%. Boss phasing. Four, three, two, Coral. One. I thank you, my friends. Forgive me. I, I have grown too weak to be of any assistance. Four, three, two, one. Let's go. Outside the state's achievement. I am weary. You must carry on without me. Okay, it's I shall it's not free, but I think we're okay. End boss is probably what three minutes with lust. Yeah, that feels that feels yeah. good. It might be better to focus the uh, spare throwers there, by the way. Yeah. Like, that's safer. Yeah. Going through. Like, if you guys focus the spare throwers, I'll just focus sentry. Okay. Waiting for sizzle. And melding. Pulling sentry. Alright, so Giga Blast these uh, goblins. Silencing them. I'm dropping darkness here. Gripping the goblin in. And then just send some stops on it. Stunning. There we go. Alright. Uh, just send single target stops on next swell. Well, looks like they're mostly dead, actually. Just uh, single target stuns on these. Uh, yes. Single target stuns. Can we uh, chain into the second uh, sentry and just start attacking uh, it? It's kind of dangerous with the corruption. Okay, let's, let's not then. Let's not Very go. Yeah. yeah, but I need it. Yeah, we need it for the last ball, I guess. It's fine, we just won't. It's fine. I mean, if you, we need time, we can do it. I don't think we do. I'm pretty sure we're okay. It's going to be a little tight, but I think uh, as long as everything yeah. is relatively smooth, it shouldn't be. I want to start. I do want to get going now, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm pulling all of this, and then we're going with the goblins. Silenced. Uh, 
next up is oh, we need we need something that's uncapped. Uh, snizzle next, if possible. Yep. And then I can do two fears. Fearing again. And they're dead. I told. We will kill the small things before pulling into the sentry, into the next stuff. Yeah, we're we're fine on time actually. We're fine. Yeah, we are good. There's one. Uh, yeah, I see it. I see it. I'm on it. Uh, oh, we're pulling. Oh, that's fine. We're, we're killing the. We're killing these anyway, so it's whatever. Kill all of this. Uh, let's shuffle a little bit. Don't pull, but let's just not pull anymore. Okay. Killing the corruptions. Do we dwarf this? Sorry. Uh, you yeah, yeah, you yeah, 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 do it, do it, do it. No, it should run. It runs out. Yeah, okay, 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 okay. I'm going, 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 going. Oh, what the? But, dude. No. Yeah, okay. Uh, see, see, arm, see, arm, see, arm. Okay. I do it, I do it, I do it. It's fine. Hang on. Don't take it yet, obviously. Yeah, yeah. Yep, there you go. You can we take can it out. All right. Uh, let's see. We we should have darkness for the next one. I'll draw darkness. Focus. Um, I can't see it, but darkness is down. And they aren't marked. No, they're not. Yeah. Focus the. What do we do? We have anything for next? We kind of don't. So, don't die. Something. That's the last one. We're done. We're done. They don't know. Easy. Yeah, easy. Huh. Because we killed them at the same time. They didn't spawn any um, yeah, options. Yeah. I was like, where are they? We have lost in two. Four minutes. It's not free, but we should be okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I'll do spell effects. Yeah. Okay, we're going. No. You can go. Yeah, now I've really fast if you want. Oh, actually, it might not. It might not work. Don't, don't do it. Yeah, do it uh, after that. That one is really weird, honestly. You don't can, forget you can to, go uh, whenever now. You can go whenever now. I've been clean doing. that one. Yeah, clean the one that's far, guys. There's one far. Yeah, I'll, sure I'll, I'll get it. I'll get it. Getting ads. They're silenced. Uh, don't go. I use my taunt on one of the ads. Don't go. You can, uh, well, I'll probably maybe wait for the barrage, but you can go, um, ah, oh, no, there's the frontal. Wait for the frontal, then go. Wait for the frontal. It's a bit fucking scared. Okay, you can go. My waters are cleansed, drinking oh. their power. Ah, oh, their filthiness stains me. Yeah. Sounds. Make sure we get these clears. They're a little bit in the boss, guys. Be aware of that. Where they're they going. Uh, you can uh, you can spell reflect after you've done place your pool. Got it. Make sure we get this clear, guys. My waters are cleansed. Drink in their There's one clear far, guys. One far here. Make sure we get this one. There's a far one. Yeah, we got it, I think. Yeah, we're good. Fun. Yeah. Shuffle though. Ads dying. You can probably go after the barrage. Place your puddles. Yep. And then spell reflect. There we are. Make sure you get the clear. My waters are cleansed, drinking their power. Okay, you can go after the barrage again. We've lost in 20. I mean, actually, the boss is kind of dead. 
Yeah, I should have passed it for myself here. I'm going to. Fuck you. Whoa, what the fuck? Okay, we drum in 10 then? Actually, the boss is basically dead in 10 now. We don't have trouble. Okay, let's go. I popped the rage heart. There's like giga damage. Oh, here. it's over. You're dead as fuck. Let's deplete. I have 10 million health. I jumped. Insane. Insane. Oh, mega okay, fucking drop. Another key oh, timed. Oh my god. We're on Couldn't fire. See the volcanic. We're on fire today. Let's go. Oh, we got Everblue. Oh, I got an Everblue. No, that's good actually. Porcelain crab. Nice. It's an omen of what is to come. There we oh, go. Gosh. That's huge. Easy key. There, 29s both weeks on throne. Very good. That is what we like to see. Okay. It's time for Everbloom then, I think, isn't it? Yep. It's time. How hard can it possibly be? Very hard. <laughs> I mean, how bad can it be? It's free. It's actually free. <sighs> right, let's have a bloom. Let's do it. I guess we'll do one of the 30s first. And then uh, see how that goes, and then go 29 after. Probably going to be the way to go. How much? To, wait, what's the time actually? Okay, it's. Yeah, I mean, it's not that late actually. We have more time. Finally, an actual push day. So we're 19. If we don't get 3.8k, we're dog shit at this point. Surely, right? 19 IO in. Let's see. We have Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday, right? To do. Um, yeah. To do it? Is Black Hook enough? 31. Black Rook would be 13, no, 12. It would be Black 12. Rook and Everbloom. Black Rook, oh, yeah. Okay. We'd want. Black Rook, Everbloom. The, I mean, the, the open oh, keys. No, that's enough. No. These two are enough. I mean, Atal is open, 31, right? Um, Black Rook is open, I mean, it's less 31. Open than, than 31. It's less open than Black Rook. I mean, also 30 Rise. 30 Rise is completely open as well. Yeah. Right? I it, forgot we did the fall already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We were, the, getting the fall was huge, actually. That's really big, getting that 31. Um, yeah, and then... Honestly, Dark Art 30, I think, is open, too. I think. I think it's open? No? Like, do, do you not Maybe. think so? It's, it's open. Look, okay. Maybe. Well, Our yeah. best was 27 minutes and 25 seconds already. And that was probably on a dot. It was probably fucking Sanguine or some shit when we did this. Yep. It's free. We have one, right? Or was it a... Uh, it's a 29, I think, unfortunately. Not a 30. Oh, we reordered. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's no good. Okay. Give oh, me a yeah, okay. Here we go. The Everbloom. It's time. This is going to be rough, boys. I'm not going to pretend otherwise. This is going to be rough. Yeah, this is an XDD tree moment. TGP is possible. Listen, I'm gonna we're gonna go as hard as possible to try and qualify. It's it, I think it's very difficult, but it, you know, we 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 will try. <laughs> but I mean, you have, you have to be top twelve world to qualify for TGP, so you know, no big deal, not hard or anything. Just time the keys, yeah, I mean, just time the keys. It's not hard. We're just gonna have to live on the tournament server. Never leave. I have many, many wares. Okay.
Yeah, we'll do the... Hmm. Yeah, we'll do the juiced up setup. I think it should be a little bit easier to do. Ready check. We go rated's key. Wait, I just saw they um, removed the double lost talent from H. Oh. Yeah, no, the war with has gone. That feels bad, actually. You don't get uh, the 60% extra haste. Pull 10. Look, they actually agree with rated. Mage is actually too hard. It's actually too hard. Okay, rated Also, they're here. Um, Four, three, getting rid of the two, maintenance boss. One. Like, few of the burn. Or few of the burn, I mean. Hmm. And some others. Sounds good, to be honest. Yeah. Here we go. Kick this guy. We go I like how no one kicked. Yeah, it's not next. I have a silence on the guy nice. over there. I got him, I got him, I got him. Freedom me? I died instantly. Gripping. Silence. Clear. Yes, it's all good. Oh, wait, I have the, the, wait, you have the abomination. Yeah. Right? Hang on, I got a move. Fire damage. Yeah, it's hard for me to hit all of them properly. <laughs> hmm. Yeah. That's a. Uh... That's a pull. What was this? What we're supposed to do? Maybe we don't do this setup though. Uh, we can go back to the old setup that doesn't involve the berserkers. Because I guess with this, you kind of want to do the the stop thing, right? On the leaps. I'm dead again. Walk. Yeah, let's skip the abominations. I think that's that's okay. This was a good experiment. But let's play it out though. Let's uh, just you know get a feel for it. Get a good feel for it. But yeah, we'll do the other setup. <laughs> Triple berserker. Yeah, dude. Look, this is uh, this is this is the route. This is what you're supposed to do. Yeah, do they I, also have a boomkin dealing four million DPS? Uh, the, I mean, why would you suggest that? They did, yes. <laughs> and that helps makes you wonder. Yeah, it helps a little bit. And by boomkin, I mean. Their healer, you know. Okay, we will. Oh, uh, not... We're this. We're gonna go massively over count, but we're just doing the old route now because we'll do that in the. When we're going serious, so we'll just. We'll just fucking die. Actually, I guess. Clear. Bam. Watch null route. Clear again. Bam. Got stomped. Jesus Christ, I might die. Yeah, oh, fuck. Yeah. Yeah. That's a no that's that's a rough one, to be honest. That's a rough pull. I'm choking. Hmm. This is almost looking like a just go next anyway angle, to be honest. This, this yeah, is... it's a go next angle. Yeah, I don't. Know. Let's just get something twenty nine then. This is fucked. Yep. We have multiple of these, so we can we can play it fast and loose. Yo, bag nasty. Yeah, the Emerald music is hype actually. Yeah, I'm looking forward to the full one then. It's gonna be sick, I think. Flute time. Yeah, okay, we'll just do the old route. That should be a lot easier um, overall. It's a little bit scary for me, I think, but should be a little easier for you, for you guys. Right. Let me 
quickly. Anti-cancer is being abandoned. Okay, it's over. Are we going back? I think we're doing Route 17. Yeah, Route 17. <laughs> Let's do MDI. <laughs> the, 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 honestly, I'm just saying our MDI cook was actually kind of cool. Doing the three mages yeah. on Witherbark was... Uh, <laughs> It was incredibly bad, but it was kind of fun. Okay, right. Route 17 is activated. Let's go. What even is Route 17? I mean, it's... The old one. It's Route 17. Okay. I mean, you know what it is. You know what Route 17 is. I want the Omega route. Yep. <laughs> what is... Wait, wait. Do I have one called that? <laughs> I'm sure you do. <laughs> Ruddy check, let's go. Alright, we'll do rate his key again. But this one. Wait, it's wait. an actual route by the way. <laughs> oh, th yeah, there. That one, yeah. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, pull eight looks interesting. That's, uh, you know, that's. Mm, okay. Alright, let's go. Pull four. Pull ten. I will cage Fine. this guy at the start. Five, four, three, two, one. Yeah, that was 14. Actually, I'm not caging him. Okay. I'm not caging Someone him. Someone send our key? Interesting. Uh, yeah, it's, it's 29. Yeah, that it was a 30. This is a 29. Yeah. I'm, not, okay. um, I'm not caging this guy. This is because I have the shocking disclosure. Should keep the e next. Uh, threat a little bit more so. Open the next. Uh, Reach next. Oh, never mind. It's in. It's I got the far one. Go. Bam! Okay, my silence. Clear me. They're doing it. Spitefuls are going to kick in. Spitefuls. I'll grip them, so I'm down. Yeah. Watch the abomination. I I should focus the fucking berserkers next time. I was focusing the thing, it just died. I'm going to chain into the other pack there in just a second. So I'm gonna get some buttons to press, as you do. Bear with me, gamers. Going now. Clear me. Dug it. Silence. We are going to get that guy as well, but we can do him a bit later. I'm going to kick him. He's going to run in. Looking vines. I have a stop. Watching Nalrut, guys. Nalrut's coming. Watching Nalrut. Focus the naturalists. I kick him. Do not pull. Do not pull. Let's start moving already. We migrate across. Threat should be pretty okay. Maybe Raiden needs to be careful because of prior. Bam! Clear. Doing it. Silence. Oh, 
I have a stop. I got it. I got it. Bam. Clear. Is it all? Spitefuls. Next pull's gonna be pretty big. This might be spicy. Uh, move quickly here. The shit's on its way. Bam! Clear. Perfect. Probably sack little... me as well. This is this is gonna be rough. Yeah. Sounds you know. Bam. I have meta now. Should be fine. Clear if possible. Don't get. And just blast. This is gonna be giga spiteful. It's a million plants. Spitefuls. Null roots right in front of us, I think. Yeah, be careful. Yep. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Insanely cursed. Yeah. No, he will awaken. Holy. My stop first into my silence. It's going to be Leg Sweep next, then Vivi. Leg Sweep, then Vivi, then Rated 2. Rated now. And then a Bindo next. And then my Grip into my Fear. There we go. Uh, send Kicks, maybe Ring as well. Uh, I don't want to use anything else, so just fucking YOLO. Okay. Spiteful does no damage. Spiteful's piss, is that what you're uh, saying? Yeah. I have like mega armor and infinite verse. Stripping. My Nova first. Nova. Rated next two. Then after that, it's Snizzle. These might go off. It's fine if they do. Silencing. And then my Grip. Oh, no. I, I use it now. Nice. Can okay. move them a bit? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, hang on. I, I can... I, mm, oh, yeah. We have the ring. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm just trying Try and kick them a little bit. I don't have a grip for a while, so I can't can't do that. It's uh, rated next stops when he has them. Just if a, if a few bolts go off, it's fine. I have next uh, stop with Nova. Yeah, and then it's Vivi next. Here we go. All right, I'm gonna go set up the flowers. I'm gonna do the tree. Uh, sack me on the first breath, just to be sure. Yep. I'm just going to try and boot my out. Hit him. Okay, pulling boss in three, two, one. Okay. Clear me and sack me now. Careful, baby. You are in front of the. Well, oh, you're divine shield again. Yeah. Okay. Because right. so I'm sacking you anyway. Yeah, I was so going to say, like, Jesus Christ. Time. Yeah. I was like, what is going on here? I'm the tank now. Yeah. Thinks he's the fucking main character. Killed Farak once. Clear me again. That's the all. Oh, good. There's going to be a lot of spike falls here. Be careful. Bam! 
rifles. Okay, good. I'm blasting the tree. Yeah, I'm just saying. Fucking Route 17 is popping off. Yeah, I'm minuscule. Enjoy the flowers. Kill the tree. Someone needs to make an XDD tree called Vasta, but it just says, I cannot be stopped with an XDD tree in between each word. <laughs> Why has nobody not done that yet? The, tr the Covenant's slipping, man. Covenant is weak. Because you removed literally all the three emotes. Yeah, I guess I am to blame for that. Alright, nice. Yeah, time's good, I think. Zero deaths! I've lost in like uh, four minutes, so. Yeah, that's perfect. We don't know where you want it. But uh, do we want a last boss or still the, the boss, trash? I think. Um, I think. I still like the boss, to be honest. Yeah, it's probably still better, yeah. isn't it? The boss is a bit fucked. Uh, we cage this guy. I need to get closer. Help me uh, kick this man. Yep, I'm doing the berserker. Still next on the star guy. I'm moving back in. Bam! It's a bit of a juicer pull, to be honest. Gripping. Silence. Clear. Doing it. I think aggro should be okay now. Bam! Clear. Yep. Eager spike for incoming. I should live. You know, I kind of cooked. This is a slightly homebrew VDH build I'm playing right now. 
Oak. Yeah. And by Hobra, I mean I change like two talents, but you know, mm. it is what it is. I'm taking full credit. The forest closes in around you. Sneak past. Let's go boss with lust. We'll do the trash afterwards. We do need the we do need the abomination though, so be, we're we're gonna kill all of it. Okay, I'm waiting for the boys to make it over. Any jumpers? Uh, he made it. Okay. Okay. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Okay. Yeah. And we're Me. lusting this. I'll just use it. Stairs all. I got this. Yep, I got it. Open door. Break it. This goes off. Two, one. Exxon does as well. X is me. Then Snazzle. Then this one goes out and Teapot. Yep. And a window. Then Wrench Three, Kick. Two, one. Got it. Nice, he's... That boss is already dead, actually. Nice. It's big. That is big. Three, two, one. Life Should get it. Got it. Nice. Hit me. Snazzle. This one goes off, then teapot. Kicks. Then a window. And then rate it. Three, yep. two, this one goes off. One. Then boss dies. Yep. I'll just move the boss over to the next one already. There we go. We're good. Uh, Giga focus the um, the the blue guy, and we can pull some of the trash with the boss. Save a couple seconds. Me, Snizzle. Three, two, one. Okay. This one goes off. Uh, rated. I have kick as well. I get next. Oh. I'll get yeah. next. Yeah. Keep up. This one goes off. Then me. Yeah, then I'll be down. me anyway. Three, two, one. Uh, Snizzle. I'll eat it. I'll eat it no. again. Okay. He enjoys it. Rate it next. And, uh, should be me, Pog. Uh, Teapot when you can. Yeah, I got it, I got After it. After the One. meme. Yeah, I got it. Yep, yeah, open the door. Mm, what's they're about? They're gonna die at the same time. Snizzle. Thing. That's fine. Me. Then, Teapot. Three, two. I have a One. charge. One I can on. get it. Yeah, yeah, it's I get it now. Rated. Then a window. And then snizzle. Then me. And the f next you go off. Three, two, one. People on the CD when you have yeah. the charge. I get it. Okay. Then a window. And it dies. I'll just grab a little bit of trash. Uh, right, if you want to pull the plants, you can do that. Like, uh, just behind it. Just behind them, if, you, uh, if you're not doing anything. One. Which plants? The, the, like, the ones over there. Because I'm, okay. you know, I, I can't hit, reach them super well. Yeah. Here you go. Yeah, that's good. It, it shouldn't pull the abomination either. Oh, oh it, did. it did. Okay, that's a bit spicy. Oh, because I moved. Oh, I cheated instantly. This is a bit scary. Um, hang on. Yeah. Uh, uh, so I'm uh, yeah, I'm resting. That's okay. I take it Taking after the eruption. Yep. Yeah. Clear. Yeah, doing it in one. No. Can I get a ring for this? Oh. Oh, uh, this is bad because we actually need that stuff as well. I guess we'll wait for the um, flowers to die, then get those. Uh, focus the... I'm out of range. Oh, I have a stop for the Berserker. Focus the high HP stuff. I think we're okay. Yeah, kill the Raider one cast, because there's no battles. I'm gonna go ch Really scary. Pull anything massive. I think time is actually really good, so... 
Let's uh, start shuffling with the Berserker. It's too far away. And time, time feels good though. Right, watch the ice caller here, yeah, because we're the we're not killing the ice caller. Nice. I'm not gonna pull massive. Is there, uh, is everyone in position? Yeah. I'm pulling the arcane answer. Uh, can we get a range pyro. kick on it? Range kick on it. It's going okay. Good. Yep. Sounds like next pyro and Obindo next arcane. Okay. Cinderbolt, 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 Cinderbolt. I can get Arcane. Let's uh, see how that's. Uh, I'll get Pyro, I get Pyro, I get Pyro. Uh, next is, okay, Arcane is Snizzle. And then we want, uh, I, I can't really see how you right now. Uh, no, it's fine. Oh no, you yeah. got it, okay, okay, okay. okay. Oh, Watch Spite Falls. We have to Open live the Cinderbolt. Oh, I got it, I got it. Good. Watching Spite Falls. Uh, pyro, kill it before it goes off. Okay, good. Yeah. All right. Uh, I kicked. Are we are we Index stable? Are we, are we stable? Can we go? Yeah, we're good. Okay, let's go. We don't have kicks, right? So. Uh, we don't oh, we need do. one though, really. Just need it for the arcane guy. Yeah. Open the next knock okay, yeah, All right. Here's the big test. I've got. I will use darkness on the Cinderbolt volley, so we can get stable at the start. Okay. A little bit of chaos there. Yeah, I can't uh, invest this. Not doing that again. Yeah. So I might need a bit of help because I can't uh, sit in darkness either. I have nothing. Yeah, I can probably second. We, we have rally. We have rally. We can rally. We can do rally in darkness first. I and think that's enough. Yeah, yeah. Get stable. Fine. Yeah, I can't stand in darkness for the thing. Yeah, rally should be fine. Okay. I'll get the frost color. Yeah. Is there a pyro and a bindo arcane? Uh, darkness down. Got the pyro. I'll get ice. ice. Yeah, I get ice. Yeah. And then maybe arcane. arcane, and then it'll be rated. Oh, uh, ooh, this pyro is going off. I think. Yeah, it is. Okay. Yeah, that's yeah, fine. We have Cinderbolt up. I can get. Uh, I have pyro. I have pyro. Rated ice. Then yep. Vivi Pyro, then a bin okay, fine. Vivi Arcane, a Bindo Pyro. Uh, a Pyro's going off. Good luck. Oh, that sounds good. Oh, fuck. Uh, just kill the Pyro, kill the Pyro. Thanks. I'll kick Ice, kill Pyro, and this is fine. We, we're okay. Just fucking kill that shit. Kick him, right? Uh, yep, okay, we're oh, good. Bindo's to fine. Okay, a uh, rated Ice, and then a Bindo Arcane. Do we want to see our Vivi here, actually? Maybe not. No, probably not. Yeah, okay, don't think yeah, so. yeah. It's, it's not long. It's not long. Yeah. Okay. I have arcane, and then oh, we don't have an. Oh food. wait. Okay. You just call it earlier. We don't. It's fine. It's fine. This one goes off. Yeah. Og. Yes, verse. I don't have chi. I don't want to pull stuff with boss. Honestly, it's very risky, and I I don't think we need to. So I'm not going to. No. I don't yeah, like, yeah, I'm uh, gonna pull just that guy. Yeah, just that guy. Single guy. Yeah. Okay, it's Res Vivi after the spiteful. I don't have a target. And we go, boss. Uh, we have mass barrier for first. Okay, pulling now. Tell you what I can do. I can pull it late. I'll pull them um, two minutes into the fight when I have cheat. I want to move away from here. Personal say. I yeah. This is. Let me move this direction. Yeah, this way. There's gonna be one spiteful. I'm trying to move away. I've got the uh, slow on me right now. There we are. Okay. And this is Get no damage. 
for next, it's not going to be my darkness, because uh, I don't have it. Unlucky. It's unfortunate. I'm cocooning, uh, wait. Okay. Okay, this is uh, arcane fire, right? Fire will burn away the contagion. Good. Uh, next is Rally. Let's rally this next one. Surely the cold this is Rally. Will make them wither? And then next is no damage. No damage. Get away. Get away. Next will be my darkness. I'll bat here as well. Darkness. Yes, fire. Fire will burn away the contagion. I'm gonna go ahead and start grabbing the trash, I think. You don't have to. Wait, in a hurry? Don't do uh, it if you're not in a hurry. I mean, it, it's it, it's free for me now, I think. I, I have I need Are you sure? Are yeah, you yeah, yeah, sure? Yeah, yeah, I'm very sure. And and last boss, I, I don't want to actually... I, I'm going for it. Fuck this. This is no damage. Get away. Get no damage. Away. It's all on the melee, be careful. What's this dies, and then we're gonna get the rest. My body. Let's get the rest. It's the only way to stop them. All right. Time looks good. No skip, Sag. Yep. Six minutes for this boss should be fine, I think, on the fortified. Is this it? Are we cleansing our last 28? Yes. I'm in line. Alright, let's go. Okay. Still on, bot on Tyrannical. Yeah. It's over. Yeah, we didn't get it on Tyrannical. Unfortunate. Alright, here we go. I'm going in. The portal is lost. Right, we, I am um, yeah. lost on portal. Yeah, that's fine. It's better. Yeah, that's fine too. Just make sure these ads die, guys. Make sure these ads die. I only purpose to save these for the ad. And that's fair, honestly. Nothing wrong with that. Add. For this, we have barrier. We are lost. It's pushing us back. Roll that tree. It's reviving the little ones. Good. Get the flowers. And here comes the 30 rise. I'll drop darkness for this. The vines are overtaking everything. Darkness. I'm turning the boss. There you go. Snizzle will appreciate my insane gameplay. It's reviving of the moving world. slightly to the side. Kill the thing. It's yeah, kill the, the tree, guys. Kill the tree, kill the tree, kill the tree. And then flowers now. Yes. Not close. I can't do. There's a couple. I'm grabbing them. Uh, I got the one at the back too. Yeah, we get to be good. Silencing. We are 
Hey, this is Rally for this one. Last one is actually quite high, guys. Let's nuke it. Let's go. Yeah. Big damage. It's reviving the little ones. Tree, then flowers. Don't have to see these on next uh, add. It's decent. Okay. I think we'll have uh, combust though. He will combust. We gotta do. I think uh, one more tree, maybe two. Fucking murder the tree, please. Don't let it live. Yeah. We are not environmentalists here. We have big damage on this. We have barrier for this. We are lost. It's pushing us back. Destroy the tree. That shit. Alright, and then flowers. Uh, we have one more tree after this. Ooh, that's a lot. Uh, BK, I believe you have yeah. them on you. Let them come to the middle. It's, it's fine, it's fine. They're silenced now. Uh, might need some stops afterwards because I don't actually um, have another silence sigil. I grip. I have double fear now. Silencing them now. All right, send everything on this tree, guys. Kill this shit. Destroy the tree. And use every personal as well. This is the last tree, so use everything. Live. Potions, whatever. Live. That doesn't look good. Kill this tree, and then boss dies. Okay, flowers. We have time. We can chill. Make sure we get this. Is there no rush? one, that's fine. Pump the boss. If another tree spawns, we ignore it, but it shouldn't. Easy. Let's go, boys. Nice, dude. Oh, we, nice. we actually got right, it. Guys. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Wait, if we time it, we get 3.8k, by the way. Let's go fucking right now. I'm ready. We're on fire. We're fresh. I'm feeling fresh right now. Uh, Snizzle has not a towel as well. That's an easy level up. Boom. Um, uh, give me a second again. Yeah, that's, yeah, we've been blasting, so we can take a quick break if we want to. That's a huge key, actually. Nice. That's it. Guys. We're clean. We've done every key on 29 now. Except Tyrannical Everbloom, but look, it still shows 29 on my Mythic Dungeon. Let's go. But yeah, if we get if we get this rise, guys, that is 3.8. So let's make it happen. Let's go. Uh, full focus. We're not going to fucking grief this time. It is, it is doable. We're sharp. We're fresh. We're ready to pump. Yeah, could this be three IO keys in a row? Is this it? <sighs> That's quite a hard key, to be honest. Not easy. Oof. <sighs> Only three deaths. All three deaths were Vivaloof. There you have it. Right. I can't use that item yet. Ah, uh, this is a big one, boys. This is a big one. If we can time this, we can get this rise, which is a key we can do. That's going to be 3.8k IO. Very fucking nice. Now we're actually getting somewhere. Now we're actually getting some proper rating here. Not fucking bad. I'm pretty happy with this so far. And we're not even done. The week is still young. We've got a lot of time left this week.
Let's go. Oh. Very nice. Ah, thank you, Kabooms. Also, Green Death in the chat. Yeah, we are pumpers. We're actually pumping closer. right now. Nice and smooth. Ready to pump. I kind of pumped that boss, actually. 270k DPS. Huge. Yeah, it is huge. It's, uh... We're feeling... I'm feeling good today, honestly. We did cock up 230 rises today already. Like, on the first pull, but... I mean, I don't know. That, that was the warm-up, right? We were just getting warm. Okay, I'm gonna get over there. I don't use the port here because I actually need it for this key. I use it to change build halfway through. Uh, it's Friday, how's the week, Yug? Well, because... Uh, WoW week starts on Wednesday, right? It, like, reset is on uh, Tuesday... Or, like, Wednesday morning, right? So, from our perspective... From the WoW perspective... Um, we've only... We've only done Wednesday, Thursday, and we're on Friday. Nearly 100 points above normal for one. Uh, that's big. Yeah, yeah. I, I think that um, we're finishing the season strong here, which is good. It's definitely good stuff. Pretty happy about that. Yeah, 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 yeah. We are nearly 100 points. Yeah, it looks like cutoff is 3708 right now. It is a, it's a massive push week, so that's not a huge surprise. This is a huge week for uh, blasting. Um, give it to me straight. No lies, no holding back. How much content does WoW have and how little does Guild Wars 2 have? Latter one, I kind of know. Um, so... I mean, it, it's hard to compare one to one, right? But... So, in terms of story, I would say a WoW story update, to beat all of the content, it's gonna take you... I don't- I actually don't know, I'd have to play through it. It's a decent chunk, it's probably at least four hours to do the story. Um, and WoW is gonna- the schedule for the war within the next expansion is a raid tier every five months. So that's nine bosses, uh, every five months. Additionally, I guess they're going to be adding delves into that, like the story updates, um, which will feature a new map. They typically do at least one new map per expansion, uh, I think. I don't know exactly how that works, but it will be at least one ma new map over the course of the expansion. They did two in Dragonflight, right? Zaralek Cavern uh, and the Emerald Dream. So two new zones over the course of an expansion. And there'll also be a mega dungeon as well, right? Like, um, they'll do a mega dungeon, which will be like an eight boss. It's like a five player raid is the way you can think about it. So it's, I mean, this, we're doing the mega dungeon right now, actually, in Mythic Plus. But this is the mega dungeon. It's eight bosses. Um, that's, a, it's a bit more like mechanically intensive than a regular dungeon. It's more like a mini raid, you could think of it. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, in terms of raw content... I would say, if I had to kind of eyeball it, I would say that G WoW has five times more content than Guild Wars 2. M maybe, it depends. In terms of story content, it's probably about five times. In terms of instance content, it's probably ten times or more. Um, in terms of that type of stuff. And the thing is, every season, they're also going to do new Mythic Plus dungeons, right? So, um... So, it's not new content, it's like reused content. Like, for example, Throne of the Tides is from Cataclysm. The Everbloom is from Warlords of Draenor. Uh, Dark Art Thicket is from Legion. And Blackrock Hold is from Legion as well. And A Ataldas are in Waycrest Manor are from Battle for Azeroth. But, they, you know, they kind of give them a bit of a lick of paint, right? To make sure that they make sense and, like, rebalance them and stuff for that stuff. One season is five months. Yeah, five months. When is the next one? Um, next Tuesday. But this se the next season is like uh, waiting for the next expansion season. So there's not really any new content. They, they are doing some like other stuff like the Mists of Pandaria remix. And there'll be some Season of Discovery content and Cataclysm classic as well if you're into that. Uh, and maybe some... There is some WoW story stuff apparently coming. There is some story coming to the game. So it's not like nothing in retail that's new. Uh, but this is a bit of downtime before the next expansion. Uh, but they are bringing back all three of the raids, though, which is kind of cool, actually. Um, so you get to do all three raids, like Vault of the Incarnates, Abarus, uh, and Emerald Dream, uh, and Amidrasa, which is pretty cool. Uh, and it's all of the Dragonflight dungeons in Mythic Plus, but they've, like, they've updated them, like, retuned them. They're basically the same, but, you know, just a little bit of a retuning. 
I mean, I'm not gonna lie. This game has a shit ton of content. And it's not just raids either. For example, I'm doing a full playthrough of Dragonflight right now. Just the core story. So just the story that drops um, on the release of the expansion. Not the patches afterwards. I think it's taken me about 12 hours so far. And I'm halfway um, through the uh, expansion. I'm doing like all of the side quests, right? So I'm doing the main story and all of the side quests on my mage just to kind of have that experience. Uh, it's a little comparable to a seasonal Guild Wars 2 update. Um, yeah, it's, more, it's definitely more of like a festival, not like a full content patch. And it looks like that is going to be the plan, actually. It's going to be like three big patches per expansion and then one like downtime season before the next expansion. So th the way I've read it anyway, it's going to be X pack drops. Five months later, there's a new raid. Five months after that, there's another new raid. Um, and then five months after that, there's a downtime season. Then there's the next expansion. So it's like a 20 month cycle. Are you skipping the cutscenes? No, I'm watching I'm watching the cutscenes. I'm fucking role-playing. Yeah. Right, let me change my build. We're not gonna fucking troll this. We're gonna time this fucking key, boys. It is time! Alright. Yep, that's correct. Everything's looking good. Yep. Okay. Doing all the tunes in Gilsu's story. It's more like um, doing all the events, I would say. That it, it, It's that type of thing. So it's like, you know, in Soto, there's like the mastery point for doing all the events. It's a little bit like that. Uh, uh, uh. Cause uh, there's actually a lot of um like collector stuff in the game. You know, you can do all the little world quests, you can do like pet battles, you can go and learn to climb up mountains, you can do like the rep grind, you can do all the dragon riding races. There's actually in Dragonflight there is so much like um peepo casual content, it is unfucking real. Um there is so much, like, casual stuff, like, collecting stuff you can do, like, grinding rep and getting skins and stuff. It's a really good expansion. This is a pretty sick expansion, to be honest. I think people are going to look back on Dragonflight very fondly. Um, it's very good. Very well-rounded expansion, right, uh, in, in terms of what it can do. Oh, yeah, and they've also added, like, scuffed events. Like, there's scuffed events in the game now. Scuffed metas. Wow, so they're kind of good. Yeah, you know, look... I'm gonna be honest, I barely understand the story in this game, uh, but the cinematics look and sound really cool, so who cares? Doesn't matter. That's it. Man, we have 32 Waycrest. I, oh man, 31 Waycrest fortified. That is fucked, honestly. That's, I think that's really hard. I think we'd have to change something to time that. I think we'd be too slow. That one is a bit. I think we'd have to do some trash on boss. I think. We don't do enough trash on boss. To time this one, I think. But yeah, honestly, WoW, WoW does a lot of uh, good... They, they do a lot of content, and I like it. 
Actually, go to season to join. So we're... Yeah, yeah, for sure. Actually, yeah, I agree. I completely agree. Hey, 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 thanks for the uh, compliment on the IO, by the way, uh, Ari. I appreciate that. We're pushing to 3.8k right now. If we can get this 30 rise, then we're actually in business. We can actually, um, that should give us enough IO. Even if it's only 9, that should do it. And it should be 10, I think. It should be a 10 if we can pull this off. Own more of the strength of Guild Wars 2, what's Own World WoW like? To be honest, it's pretty fucking dog shit. Uh, I, I feel like it could be. I really think there's some potential if they worked on it a little bit. They're kind of trying to do meta events. Like, each map has its little meta event. Like, for example, like you have to go and, like, siege a keep in this map here. Uh, here, you have to go hunting with the centaur. Here, you, I mean, there's, like, community feasts. You have to go help a chef make a soup. Uh, and then here... I, some random shit happens? I don't know. Like, I guess the time rift pops up. And then, like, down below, you have to, like, help some researchers. Um, like, in Zara, like, you got to help the researchers do some stuff. It's, it's not great, though. And there are world bosses and stuff, but they're not very good, um, to be honest. They're, they're pretty bad. They could be. The WoW encountered it. I, I think they're a little bit scared of making something a little bit too hard for people in the open world and people being mad, um, if I'm being honest. Uh, so, yeah. Add map point. Well, they kind, they kind of do. They, they're, they're not great, but they do exist. I, I hope we see some iteration on them, because there's some potential there, I think. The Guild Wars 2 open world stuff is really sick, right? So it would be really nice if we kind of saw some of that stuff in, in World of Warcraft as well, I think. There, there's some potential for it. Um, for stuff like that. I think what they can do is make it, like, good for gold farming. Because they probably wouldn't want to make it give, like, fully bisque gear. They can make it give, like, good gear. So maybe, you know, like, starter gear, beginner gear, at, like, level 70s to, you know, to get going. Um, but they can make it, like, good gold. Because that's kind of what they try and do with the open world. They try to make, like, stuff like the, the dragon races. Like, if you do, like, daily dragon races, the gold per hour is really good. Oh, well, not the gold per hour, right? But, you know, you can get, like, daily gold from doing these things. It's pretty decent. Um, and I, I think that could be interesting. Like, if, if like, doing the open world was, like, decent for gold farming or whatever. Wow, dragon riding, more similar to the dragon uh, uh, or griffin flying from the other suit. More similar to the griffin, but it's kind of like a hybrid, I would say, between the two of them. Uh, but definitely more like the griffin. It's about speed and swooping around all over the place, right? That kind of stuff. Uh, so they're adding delves. Well, I mean... Dude, I don't know what's going on right now with Blizzard, but Blizzard is, like, roided out. Like, they are doing so much. I feel like they might be able to do all of it. I don't know what's going on there. But bear in mind, guys, they're doing retail WoW expansion. They're adding a new game mode with Delves. They're also um, doing Mists of Pandaria Remix, Season of Discovery, Cataclysm Classic, right? And they're doing weird shit and crazy experiments like Plunderstorm at the same time. Like, Blizzard is kind of popping off right now. I know it's fashionable to hate Blizzard, and you know, there's some justifiable reasons there for sure. But look, Bobby's gone, guys. Bobby's gone, man. He's out, bro. He's fucking done. You know what I'm saying? Blizzard is back. Blizzard is back. And it feels good. It feels very good. Enough is doing 34 tall. Holy shit, that's timeable. That feels at time. He just me, pulled actually. all of the storage, like the entirety of the storage in and on. Ah, yeah. Wait, are they doing it on Razan? Oh, no. Yeah, no, I've seen corner. Nerf do this. This is good, actually. Um, He runs back to the start, right? And does it, doesn't he, right? I think. And then yeah, yeah. comes. Yeah, yeah. I've seen him do this. This is good. I, I, I think this is actually really good. Um, and there's a spot for the yeah. DPS to send it. Yeah, yeah. I've seen him do this. I like this. Um, if we got, like, a really high key, I'd almost say we should attempt it. I guess it's really spooky, though, because if you fuck that up, you die instantly, which is maybe... Yep. I don't think we need to do this for the 31, right? Probably not. Yeah, probably not. The, uh, is, is this timeable? Has it been done? Has Raz team done this? No, not 34. Oh, interesting. Could this be... Wait, could this be world's first? Nerf? I mean, TGP? Yeah. Non-verbal? Champion? But I mean, the Black Rook would have been if they timed it. Were they? What? Did they die to the boss, or did they run out? They died to the boss, right? I think they died. Yeah. yeah. 
The comp is hype though, actually. Look at this shit. Look at that boomy just blasting. Yep. Yeah. Oh, interesting. Okay. Well, let's see if they can do this then. This could be a cool world's first if they're able to pull this off. How does time look? I, guess, I don't really know, to be honest. I like how that one mob just took, you know, three quarters of his health in one hit. Okay. Honestly, it feels timeable. If I look, if I look at count, right, they're already at sixty percent, right? Sixty percent count. Yep. Ten minutes. Yep. And I guess, I guess, what's really interesting, actually, with um, with this spot, with this uh, boss, is that it doesn't take longer, even on like an infinitely high key level, right? Because she all, um, she always does damage to herself. So this boss is almost like a fixed time. They should be done with. I think they should be done with this boss by thirteen minutes, maybe. Maybe 14 minutes. Ooh, it is going to be a bit tight, isn't it? It's not free. This is spicy. I think nerf's like... Yeah, look. Nerf doesn't have any double times. G fucking G, bro. Unlucky. Yeah. He's only cur he curving rage as well. Yeah. Right, that's good. Right. Chance. Well, yeah, yeah. He's raging. Nice. It's insane how they're living without healer. I mean, yeah, I guess a lot of the damage is completely avoidable here, right? At the end of the day. And they also have uh, Nature's Vigil and the Vampiric, which is kind of wild, right? Um... But yeah, they're not—they're actually not even healing that much. If, yeah, if you look at the healing, right? Um, yeah, the the druid and the cherub is not even healing much because they're just not taking any damage, right? Like from the charges, they're just dodging everything. I and mean, if you get hit by a charge, that's a one shot. Like, there's no way you're surviving that. Yep. Um, on this key level. Yeah. He, he, he almost, I, what's actually interesting, he's running, yeah, honestly, on this dungeon, you can get away with it. He's running, like, the cheap build. You can 100% do that on this one, because the bosses don't do that much damage. I guess Razan is a bit scary, but everything else is fine. And you get pretty good DPS, like, because you just spirit bomb and go crazy. Like, your single target with this build is dog shit, but your AoE is still pretty good. This is what I'm running for this rise coming up. Rise. Oh yeah, plus 34 wildfire. You're not going to survive that. Ooh. The, oh, the, that's, an, that's an intentional death though, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Yeah, I got baited by that when I watched them do the 33. That's actually an intentional death by the druid to go to resto, I think. Uh, because I think they do need a healer for this boss. And what they're going to do is they're going to pull the trash at the bottom of the steps here, I believe, while they wait for the resto. Yeah, no, yeah you can see a nurse going for it. And then they're going to pull these guys. And then I think they do this with the boss, actually. Yeah, yeah, they are going to do this with the boss and the priestess. Yeah, and then here comes the resto in a moment. Yeah, this, this is this is fucking snails, man. Because you've got um, yeah, you've got double auger here. If even a single cast goes off, you instantly die. Like, yeah, it is snails as fuck. But yeah, they are playing god com, which obviously helps. Yeah, that's correct. Yeah, he's uh, he plays on ultra wide, so you can't see his um, you can't see everything he's seeing. That's why you can't see the mini map and some of the UI elements on his uh, stream. Dude, the boss is absolutely pumping, even on <laughs> what the fuck. <laughs> yeah, but that's like a forty-two chronicle. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Is Nerf playing a Cheat Death Trinket as well? I can't see. Sometimes he plays um, DPS Trinket with uh, the Cheat build. So he doesn't play a second Cheat Death. 
I'm not sure if that'll be worth it on this key, to be honest, though. He parried both of the fervent strikes. That's actually pure skill right there. Yep. What's next season's god comp? Uh, so far, people's best guess is Shadow Priest, uh, Mage, Warlock, Vengeance Demon Hunter, and Resto Druid. So very similar to this, but actually dropping the Org in favor of the Warlock. Because Warlock is doing insane DPS uh, right now on PTR. Like, absolutely ridiculous DPS. I like how the trash actually lived longer than the boss. That's that prio damage yep. kicking in. Two bosses and 20%. I mean, I think... I think timer-wise, this is absolutely fine. I think they are totally good here on timer. I think... I, I, it's insane to say, but I think it really comes down to living last boss. To be perfectly honest, I think they just have Holy, to live the last boss. He just face the fucking beam. Yeah, he did. The he, fire beam. He nearly died. But yeah, I think it's just they have to live last boss, right? Okay, they pulled the... Do they want that? I guess so. Oh, it's mind control. It's mind controlled. Whoa, what is this technology? Actually, I guess it's to get it in position without having to kick it. I guess. I wonder if the fear fears the enemies would be pretty big. That would be big, actually. I think they're just gonna let it go here, though. Yeah, this feels really good on um, time. I think actually they have 14 minutes, right? So that's free. Yeah. And that's count when they kill Yeah, 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 that's count. Yeah, they, they have count now. This is a sick. This is actually a sick route, to be honest. Absolutely sick route. Really good theory craft by these boys. Man, this could be what they could do this. They could actually get worlds first here. 34. And yeah. So, yeah, Yasma is going to be long for sure. I mean, it's going to be tight on timer, but it feels good to me, right? They've got to do just... They've got 13 minutes to do two bosses, basically. Well, it's going to be more like 12 minutes to do two bosses. Oh, no! Oh, no! Nerf cheated nice. and Priest died as well. And those are shield bearers. They... It's fucked up, to be honest. They do insane damage. Nerf CDs do not look good, actually. He does not have, um... He doesn't have Fell Devastation for a while. Um, and he doesn't... He's just gonna have spikes for a bit. He actually could die Big if darkness. he gets unlucky here. Yeah, I, the darkness is a really good decision, I think. I mean, he has Fell Dev now. Yeah, he, he has it now. He's, he's Yeah, he's fine now. He's fine now. Yeah. It was a bit spooky. A darkness was definitely high value there. Yep. Okay. Yeah, they gotta get rid of that screamer. And now it's twelve minutes to go. A couple of deaths here and there. I guess it's very hard to live though when you're just getting one shot by everything. Yeah, I think Nerf's a bit scared. He's he's kiting a bit. For the Yep. Yep. Oh boy, they have to kite that out. Yeah. I think Nerf was worried about the um the shield bash and he was well, he was correct to be worried about it. As you can see there. He didn't parry, so, I mean, that's a skill issue, no? Yep. Yeah, they didn't lose that much time. Nah, it's, it's not, that's not a big deal. Okay, so two bosses in... Man, actually, this is gonna be tight. I think, but Birchie's very correct here, actually. This is gonna be really tight. They have, um, 11 minutes. How long is Yasma on this key level? Seven minutes, probably? Around? No, that? probably like... Six? Six. Yeah. So yeah, it's like six minutes for Yasma. Yeah. I think this boss is longer than Yasma, even. Wait, you think so? Nah, I no think way. with the totems, maybe. Like, I and mean, this is, this is going to be, what, four minutes? Maybe a little bit more than four minutes for them to kill us? Yeah, maybe. 
Because, I mean, the boss does kill himself, right? Over time. Like, a little bit. He, he loses, like, 1% yeah. health every couple of seconds. So there's a bit of a cap on how long it can be. Nurse pr plate is pretty good, actually. I like his plate profile. I really don't like um, vanilla uh, unit frames, though, actually. I, I really don't like them. Like yeah. the a HP bar and stuff, right? And the target frame, I don't, I don't like it. I much prefer, like, the flat uh, LVI stuff for that. But you know what? He's role-playing. I respect it. You know, I, you know I, I get it. Also, Rated's back. Are we ready to fucking rumble? I guess we watch the end of this key, then we send the rise. Uh, Obendo isn't here. Ah, okay, okay, that's fine then. We watch the end of the key then. Boom. Huge. Here we go. Wait, dude, look at this guy in the look at this guy in the chat. Actual the dude, this is a first Garth moment. His first message in the chat was, "This is Giga Deplete." Sorry, first message. Yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> Giga Deplete. <laughs> He said sorry, though. Yeah. <laughs> you are bad. <laughs> Man, I really hope they get this. This, this is this is pretty sick from them. I'm not gonna lie, this is really sick. If Nerf, honestly, if Nerf doesn't play in TGP, that's cringe. By the way, he should play TGP. This team is really good. They're really, really good. But they don't play yep. for whatever reason. And if they time this, that they they get a uh, 4k as well. Oh shit, They're, that's big actually. Do they get rank one IO or not rank one IO? No, it's not rank one. Uh, rank okay. one is 4k and nine. Uh, okay, okay. So they'd need a bit more. Well, I mean, they've still got time in the week, yeah, they haven't they? Yeah, one more key. Yeah. Get rank one. Yeah. Yeah. See, look, Volkal that never takes that long, right? Because he's just rotting, right now. It's it's going to be like four minutes. He's rotting from within. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, he literally is. He just Wait, decays. actually, if this key is 11 IO, they get rank one. Which Ooh. I think it is, because they've not done. I oh know they've done for three. Yeah. So yeah. Go. Okay. Volcal in pieces again. I can't. Hello, like uh, yeah. our nurse UI is almost the same as mine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. His UI is, is his UI is clean. Actually, his UI is clean. You know the the one thing I don't get, and I, it's personal preference, obviously, right? Like I view it as unhinged to have the stops like that. Like not in um instead of in a in a row, yeah. he has them like is the little icons. That to me is unhinged. I'm not gonna lie. Like that would I could not deal is with it? that. I think it's pretty unhinged. It's pretty clear though. I mean, but you don't see the order. You don't see like the the list. I like a list of all the stops. Yeah, but he sees all CDs instead of just two icons, right? Well, I mean that's. Oh no 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 no! I mean like that's that's not the priority week aura. That's the um the list of all the stops he has. It's not prio, is it? Yeah, that's Omni CD. Yeah, that's his Omni CD. Yeah. He's not using I the. Don't get he, what he's, you're saying, then. he's not using the rotation week aura. They don't need it because he always stops first, unless Elsmere's casting fucking Tiger Palm. Okay, so they have, they have seven minutes. Ooh, it's gonna be tight, isn't it? Fucking hell. Oh, ah, yeah. He must be he must be changing to Soul Crush here. Yeah. yeah, he's gonna change Soul Crush. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because yeah. you edge Skewer does do a lot of damage, and he probably wants single target as well to kill this quicker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, dude, wait. He's playing like the fucking full DPS build. Holy shit, that's based. Yeah, he's also playing no cheat. Yeah, yeah. He'll play no cheat here with DPS trinket. Yeah. No, that makes sense to me. Uh, and honestly, you might as well, right? Because this guy's yeah, mage is going yeah. arcane as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, you have to, right, for the for the reduction yeah, yeah. on this key level for sure. Yeah, you have to do that. Yeah, I like that. that that's very smart. Is 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 it over? You think it's going to take them six? Yeah. Ooh, I don't think so. But mage. Ooh, I mean, six okay. minutes. It's fucking scary, honestly. It, it's going to be really close, isn't it? How much health does the boss have? They're going 216 mil in six minutes? That, surely that's doable. If they live. If it's clean, surely that's that's workable. 
Because bear in mind, like, nerf is double DPS trinket. He's literally going to be, like, 160k DPS minimum. In addition to, like, all the rest of what the boys are doing. Oh, and they're playing... Isn't Arcane, like, slightly better than Fire on single target? I don't know, maybe. Oh, they're... Look how greedy they are as well with the maybe ads. Not. Holy shit, they're so greedy. And I, guess, I mean, you obviously have to be, right? But... Yeah, it's Giga Greed. Holy shit. I thought like this boss is way less pain if everyone's ranged versus having melees. Very monkey s when you got infinite melees here. Man, they play this uh, aggressive, don't they? Look at that. Yeah, this, they also is, have, uh, this is a potential they also have like full range theory. DPS, so the boss position doesn't really matter. It doesn't matter, yeah, not nearly as much. Yeah. I guess maybe for resto DPS. Yeah, yeah. I guess he's he's well, I mean, he's cranking seventy k actually. To be fair, so man, why don't we have org? By the way, like org feels so good on tank. It feels so good when you have it. Not having it is brutal. Org. Yeah, I guess because they have full range, they can play the ads behind the boss, right? And then just move. That makes it... Look how clean their spiders are compared to ours. Because we can't do that because we're melee. Um, well, I guess we could, but then... Mm, could we? I don't think so, actually. Not really. It wouldn't work. 3 minutes 42? Boss is 50%... Is 60% health. It's actually going to come down to... It's going to come down to seconds, isn't it? It's going to be within 10 seconds, I feel like. Oh, that's close. Fucking hell. I feel like 10 deaths is too many for a 34. Yeah, maybe. They I mean, it's, it's a total, so, you know, it's... Uh... They, did have a they, yeah, did have, still... they did have a couple of fairly costly deaths, like some DPS dying at the start of pulls. And obviously nerf died as well to the things. That wasn't that bad, though, I feel like, to be honest. I think I think they have this, no? Th th do they not have this, or am I crazy? I think they have it. Looks like it. If they don't die, I feel like they have it. Or, or with DPS. Three minutes. So. Slightly. Two two minutes forty for forty percent. They they hundred percent have this. They have this, guys. They actually have it. Do, does how much um execute does priest have? Does it have any execute? A little. Does mage well, have execute? Better. Does does arcane have execute? No, not really. Because uh, fire has like a so. fire has like a little bit of execute, right? Or at least that's yeah. how yeah. it seems. Not that much though. Oh yeah, ma yeah mage. Yeah, mage gets its lust, right? Mage will have its lust again, so that's big. Yeah. Should be fine. I think it's good. I think time's good. 28%. I can't see DPS cooldowns. But we have Breath and PI coming up. Oh yeah, the spider. they got to watch out for that. Uh, next to Ice Cold is the... Uh... Yeah, that's like the Arcane Surge, right? Or... Arcane. Yeah, that's Arcane Surge. Yeah. Okay, so they have Surge and PI coming up. 24% with one minute. I think this is it. This should be it. The guy was wrong. Okay, with the, the deplete. <laughs> Do you notice how they're not dying instantly to racking pain with augmentation evoker? Isn't that just the craziest thing? Yeah. Yeah. I guess they gotta do one more soul rend after this, I think. And they can probably just ignore the last one. The spiders are a bit fucking cancer, though. One minute for 10%. That is free yeah, as fuck. It. No, it's free as it. fuck. Yeah. Even if free, one of them dies, they still like have it. They, even if they die, they have it. Uh, yeah. It's 15 mil. It's it's free as fuck. They have to play the set yeah, of ads, but they just ignore it, I think, right? Yeah, they just ignore it. And then just, just kill. Yeah, just run the boss away and just kill. 
Yeah, yeah, they got it. World's first. Yo, huge. That's big. Dude, the priest did 350k DPS. Yo, there it is. World's first. Goddamn. Oh, they're one IO off rank one as well. Oh, yep. man. <laughs> That's, uh... That's pain. Holy shit. What do they need to time to get rank one? Yeah. 35 Dark Heart. Yeah, I don't think that's happening. Oh, they need thir they need 30 Throne. Okay, okay. I, I, 30 Throne? Am I insane? That feels like it should be easier than 34 Atal. No? I, I, I mean... No? <laughs> There's no way. 30 Throne is harder than 34 Atal. Probably not. Because, I mean, we've done 29 throne, right? And we're not yeah. full god comp, and obviously we're not as good. Uh, Yasma. Is Abindo back? Is everyone just dead? Oh, no, Abindo's back. Okay, nice. We gotta wake up, snizzle, and we go. Because they may have got 4k rating, but we're about to hit 3.8k. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, I heard about okay, the uh, throne exploit. It's, wait, I think Snizzle's gone now, though. Type your wait, what is this? Uh, Lin has sent me a clip. Of the Forbidden Plunger. <laughs> Wait, what the fuck? <laughs> okay. Where's Snizzle? He's muted. Or he muted us. He's deafened. Yeah, he doesn't want to hear it. Alright. It's time. It is time to pump. Check builds, guys. Check builds. This is 30 rise. Remember that. 30 rise coming right up. Prepare yourselves. Bad news. Snizzle's fully dead. He's mentally broken. Ah, Jester. Jester, stop pushing keys, by the way, bro. We're about to hit 3.8k IO. You need to start pushing. Are you even 3k? Is Jester even fucking 3ko? He's probably 1kio or something. Let's see what we got. Dude, Jester's not even 3k. He's 2.9kio. He would... Jester would not get into my weekly 20s. Oh, there's a tournament. Wait, can we play this? A charity tournament. What's this? Oh, shit. Wait, what is this? This is a very interesting format. So they have pro players. You sign up, and they put you on um, teams with liquid, liquid players. That's actually pretty interesting. Yo. That's pretty cool. I might sign up for that. Yeah. Oh shit, wait, Michael's playing with Nate? Oh, that's cool actually. Portable God, yeah. It's 
Sizzle's never coming back. He's gone for a five-minute nap with no alarm. What time can we uh, play tomorrow, by the way? Around the same—is it around the same time for you again, rated tomorrow? Uh, yeah. There you go then. Boom. Easy. That'll do it. And like we keep pushing, right? We can keep with it. Well, there's no reason to stop pushing. Like there's still keys on the table, right? So we'll keep playing. Because if we time I this, I just want the. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah. What do you want? The thirty-one black hook. Yeah, yeah, for yeah. Sure. For sure. Yeah, definitely. I want that one too. That's a really good one to get. Yeah. I mean, we. I think. I think. We should be able to get like three eight two zero three eight twenty. I think. Probably. If you're they, there's, talking like this. I mean, uh, Black Rook is plus 12, or plot probably plus 12. A Tau is plus 10. Rise is plus 10. Dark Heart 30 is plus 10. So that's 40 rating on the table, potentially, that we could grind for. Oh, you had a 70 some vanilla bars? Ah, oh, very good, Jester. Very nice. If we time the 30, it means we actually have over 50% of the keys done on 30. That's pretty big. Yeah, it is pretty big. And one on a 31, too. Imagine if we'd stayed with the Cope comp. <laughs> yeah. Zero. I wish my uh, yeah. DH got Taito as well. You know, oh, and you do. It's a count characters. Work. Job done. Kind of Easy. <laughs> Not like that. No. He just wanted to have the rating on the on the character. Yeah, on both. Yeah. It's pretty big. Did you fuck up by getting the sword? Well, you are negative pro- The thing is, you were probably negative prior on the fist weapon anyway, Jester. It's technically Biss, but it would go to Hunters every day. Every single time. Um, hunters or Shaman. So, not really. Uh, the sword is very good. From the, uh, Dragon's Call. Let's see, what's, uh, what, what is Nerf going to do now, actually? I guess they have to roll that throne, don't they? So I need to just do some keys to get the, um, to get the throne. Uh, we, we playing? I mean, hopefully. I don't, I don't want something to sizzle. He's probably just gone to eat something, got some food or something. But yeah, ideally... We probably send this key and then maybe bedge after that. Getting a little late. I'm gonna go eat something. I'm hungry. It is actually extremely funny looking at the tyrannical versus um, fortified on. So yeah, Nerf's best atal was 33, 32 tyrannical, 34 fortified. Now it's big. He's yeah. rank two demon hunter. They actually have two world's best keys. They have the world's best black rook and a tal. Second best fall. And then fourth best waycrest. Wait, they also have 29 uh, fourth turn. Yeah. Huh. Hmm. Yeah, I think that's the last key they need for rank one. Is that on 30? So what you're saying is, is that we have the same key level as Nerf. Rank 1, yep. TGP champion, Nerf meta. Oh, yo, okay, ah, Snizzle's back in business. Oh, wait, did he just deafen? Oh. Why not? Yeah, he did, yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, I, I thought he was just completely AFK. I did do a ray check, like, 20 minutes ago. Well, 10 minutes ago. Yeah. Yeah. Literally anything to have WoW blink. We should have just started spamming him on Battle.net, I guess. All right. Okay, boys, let's focus up. Check consumes. They've been running down right now. So reconsume. Make sure we got all the juice. 
And check your build as well. Check your build. Everyone, check your fucking build. We'll do another ray check and let's send this. Is rated's key. Do I have the right build? Yes, I do. It feels good. It's time. All right. Pull 10. Here we go. This is it, gamers. Rated's key. Let's get this done. Here comes the 3.8K. This is it. Four, three, two, one. Full focus. Let's do it. I'm next. Ready it next. This can't be happening. If Murazon exists, that means I'll silence that one. Gripping. No. No. They should get orbed. We have to get back to the timeways. Silencing. Bam. They're orbed. You're orbing orbed. them again. No. Orbing. Get that volley. I have a silence. I have a grip in one second. I'm going to grip them ahead. Orbed. And final orbs. It's fine. Just keep blasting. Keep blasting. We need that kick. We need that kick, guys. We need that kick. We're okay, we're okay. Alright, I'm gonna grab some snakes. Okay. We have an extra snake, but that's not a problem. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna go in a sec. Silencing them. Maiden being a lifer is actually good, I think. Volley. Orbing them again. Uh, can we get some kicks on these guys? Bolts are quite dangerous to me. We can. And Bolly. silencing, silencing. Orbing. Should get him. Yeah, I got him here. They should get orbed. I'm going to try and orb these again. Yeah. All right, and I'm getting final snakes now. Make this boss clean. I don't have cheat. It's a little bit spooky on this build. Need to not troll here. Watch the charge. I'll move after that. Yeah, yeah. Moving now. Kick. Killing the snakes. Oh, 
Boss is activating. These are probably going to be dead, I think. I was bound by the shackles of the Titans. Now my mind is open to infinite possibilities. Nice babe. But your path. Gotta wait for a defensive here. button and then pull a boss. Pulling now. The infinite dragon flight shall continue. Sparks. Yet to pass. Soak. Divided, you fall. Dropping a darkness. My Tank frontal. Are infinite. No! Oh, res me, res me, res me. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, kite. It's bait. Tank frontal on, again. On, it's still on. on me, by the way. I have it, I have it. Oh man, that was really unfortunate. I'm gonna get knocked in middle, careful, sorry about that. Ah, oh, did I there? I shouldn't have died there. It's fine. The of the Your orbs. An infinite vision guides me. That's right. Box. Yet to pass. Tank frontal, guys. Tank frontal. frontal. It's bait next. Annihilation is inevitable. Soak next. Apart, you are weak. And bait. Then middle is inevitable. Infinite grant me strength. Orbs. Playing the other side this time. Sparks. Something. At least if it's soak. Soak. Yeah. You fall. We have rally. It's gonna be bait or uh, sorry, bait or tank frontal next. My it's tank frontal. Are and then bait, then middle, or tank frontal again. Rather sorry. It's bait. And then tank frontal. I get hit to middle. Inevitable. Getting hit to middle or tank frontal. My strike is true. We kill after the next cycle. Grant me strength. Oops. I will we protect get. this future and kill this cycle. Sparks. Your greatest fears realized. My Tank frontal. Are infinite. And bait. Behold Just kill the boss. Eh? We have soak, but boss dies. We're good. You okay. Yo, that time is sick as fuck, actually. Holy shit. You know, trash was very fast. Okay, for first, we have darkness. First is going to be darkness. Okay, let's fix this. We just need to... Uh-oh. Get that kick. Shall come to pass. I'll drop darkness kind of where Snizzle is. Dropping darkness now. Okay, for next, we're going to have mass barrier. Barrier. And then for next, we have probably Divine Shield Sack, I think, is what we're doing. Next. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Yep. 
So next is going to be Divine Shield Sack. Here we go. And then after that, we have... Ooh, we're not going to have Rally, so... Give it some big juice. We've got to live two more. Maybe only one more, actually. I, I think you can pretty much just press... I don't have much. You can press pretty much everything, I think. Right, save you. Hey, you lived. It should die before the next. It dies before next. Just kill. Okay, I am swapping builds. We go for Spiteful. What? Yeah, it's because Spiteful. Yeah, it's Spiteful, like, yeah. Combat, so oh. you don't get the speed. Bro, that was fucking cursed. I just mismanaged my cooldown slightly and died. It was pretty bad, but it's fine. Don't worry, okay. Nice. Let me know. Yep. Thirty percent now. Has everyone got the pots for him, guys? Healing potions. Uh, yeah. Trade him some while I'm loading in. So when? It's open. Going in. Enjoy. This is lust on this dragon. Focus the high health one. Kill them at the same time. Pulling in three, two, one. Uh, you guys can focus the other one, I think. Yeah, hit the saboteur, guys, the saboteur. Not close. Kill it before it breathes, otherwise I'm, I have to wait a bit. Nice. Okay. Uh, the time waves are even twistier than before. I'm pulling dog. Uh, rated, if you can kick, you can grab the mage as well. Uh, I can kick, yeah. I'm waiting. Yeah, it's fine. Okay, I'm pulling. I have been taunted. Me next. Bro, next. I fucking... Jesus Christ. Up in the next. Uh, debut next. <laughs> next is me, next is uh, Snizzle. You should have it. Yep. Next is a Pindo. Next is a teapot. I can get it. Next is me. We can pull do next you mage. Want me to yeah, get yeah, do it. Yeah, get the mage, get the mage. Don't get the dog yet, though. I can kick. Yeah. Yep. And Snizzle. Next is me. Next is a bindo. We're through here. I'm pulling the Next dog. Is, uh, now. Rated. Next is Snizzle. I might need help on first bloom here. Yep. Yep. 
Next is me. Next is a window. We need to get some random shit here. Uh, next one goes off. And after that, oh, it's no. uh, rated. I think I was standing on the sand. Hang on. Yeah. Bob dies now, so it's fine. Just have the anomaly. I have it taunted, I have it taunted. That's not ideal. It's recoverable though. Kill him. Wait, what, what, what even hit you there? A small guy. Need Rift Mage now. Yeah, right. I can kick first, yeah. We we kind Me of next. Oh Ooh. no. Yeah, you gotta be careful when the small ones are coming in. Like just hit the big one. When the small ones are moving in, it's gonna be really cursed, because I can't hit them very effectively. I don't have taunt for a bit. Yeah, it's okay. Got it. Yeah, I, I can't really get those off you. If we, yeah, this is bad. Thanks for the uh, raid, Plenix. Uh We need to do both at the same time if we're going to time this. Honestly, a bit fucked. Be next. Need the Rift Mage. Snizzle next. Uh, kick the bones. Oh. Okay. Oh no, it's, it's too much. Okay, it, it's over, it's over. Ah! Oh! Yeah, that, that was unfortunate. I think I died to the side. That sand. was insanely cursed, yeah. Yeah. I'm I also hit it. I fucking blinked. Into the sand, twice. Hmm. Yeah, that's not ideal. Yeah. That was a very good start, though. Unlucky. Well, we just have to farm that key again. That's fine. All right. Um, maybe one more like upgrade key and then bed. I think. Let's go like a towel twenty nine. Upgrade that. Get a plus plus and then bedtime. That is the plan. We will get the Black Rook from this. Yeah. Hey, Ashley, thanks for the two one. I appreciate it. Can we plus plus the 29? Yeah, we already did today. Actually. You don't remember? Wait, did we? Yes. Literally. Yeah, we did. I'm actually fucking seeing all. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I got 31 Eight players. But... <laughs> I'm just role playing, bro. A towel. Yeah. That was cursed. It's a little bit hard to say what went wrong there. The really, yeah, I died. I stood in the sand and died. That was a really big problem. Then it was fucked after that. No, yeah, the sand is harder than the. Uh, yeah, the sand the was doing heavy damage. I thought I was on the edge, but I was not on the edge. I was in it. Of course, we're not the only. Is that uh, just the time, ways? Yeah. You are too late, outsiders. 
400k a second. Every point is 0 0.05 seconds. Yeah. Not good. We'll see about that, you vile creature. Get in here. Creepy spider. That's going to be a creepy crab soon. Wait, you can interact with it. I'm going over. Yeah, you can smash it. Wait, I squished you, it. You stomped them. What yeah. the fuck? That's kind of crazy, actually. I'm small. You're deleting my SKB stacks. The spider has I'm been actually squished. the size of the critter. No. Ready, check. It's still recharging. <laughs> Let you do that. Slide. Oh, that's on. Yeah. I can't like mount. Full time. The snizzle skill. Five, four, three, two, one. We go Rosanne first. Hey, see you later, Phonics. Thanks for the raid, dude. It's time. Uh, experimental. Okay. The range, you mean? Snap Young down or die. Why, Young down or die. Why would you do this? Let's go! I suggest uh, pressing defensive. No, dude, die. the boss is too far away. Defensives, time. Darkness. I'm not. I don't press anything. Yeah? I'm don't. dead. Don't actually press anything. Four, three, two, one. Uh, screech going off. We sh it should be like LOS though. Yep. Okay, yeah, take it over to the next dinosaurs. Dude, I think I just cooked, man. This feels fucking based. That's the dinosaur squad. And then kick. Yeah, nice. There's one up there. Yeah, that's, that's okay. I got it. I got taunted. I'm going to finish moving boss. I got the screech. Four, three, two, Bro, the fucking one. bleed. Holy shit. Some of these. Want me to melt this? Can you melt? Yeah, it would be nice. Yeah. Look. Yeah. Nice, there's gonna be one raptor. I, I tell it. Skyscreamer, I got the kick. It's fucking. I taunted, I taunted, I taunted. The ignite. Two, one. You spread the ignite. Okay, if we get a non meld, I can. The things you can meld if you want to, though. It's, uh, oh, okay. Yeah, that's fine. We'll do it on the next one, next set. You know, nerf did this on a thirty-four. Yeah. Yeah. You're well, dying to a twenty-nine. Something similar. Yeah, but he's playing like the fucking. The cheat death bill, bro. He's like the giga. Yeah, it's build. time. It's time. Yeah. Cheat death. One. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. Yeah. He's also running org Us. as well. Uh, don't meld this. I go. Yeah. Yeah, but he doesn't have a healer. Yeah. What do you need? What do you need a fucking healer for? You're playing tank. Well, yeah, but like right now. Oh, oh my god. Not even yeah. close. Oh, you are feared. Yeah, I, I, was trying to, it, I was trying to come back. Didn't really work out. Four, three, 
Ja, oh, das ist ja Zeit. Oh. Ja, ist er jetzt. Ja, ich glaube, wir brauchen es. Er ist overcooking. Ja, er ist versucht. Oh, ein Winde hat Das ist aber unfortunate. Get ate it. Oh, Volcanic. Yeah, I guess we should have done the, uh, the thing there. When Ray did meld it, we should have not meld it. Because these are still alive now. I'm just saying, guys. This is a cook. Yeah, yeah we saw the 34 at tower. Really impressive. It's value later. Let's start uh, moving. We're going to get the rest of the trash giga clean. It's no problem. That's an experimental cook. Let's pull all of this. Let's really get experimental. Sounds. Kill Confessor. Can dispel. Well, buff's gone. Fortunately, this is a piss key. Am I wrong? This is five uh, levels yeah. below world record. Yep. Yep. I'm pulling. Look at the totem. Me silence. I silence again. Next is rated. Oh, juggernaut pulled. I got it though, it's fine. Oh, yeah, okay, I got it. I got it. Watch for the um, fiery enchant. Nice, he died. We're good. I think our Volcanic is on us now. Feels good. Oh. That was a wildfire. Oh no, it's just... Yeah, it was a Solbon. Yeah, Solbon at the same time. That ring is dead. If we kill the Auger, we can just pull. Meeple. I'll stay in the same spot. Silence is down. Next is the misery. Again. I'll get the... Should be fiery enchant any second. Got it, nice. And then Bob's on his mantles now. Yeah, I did. I have silence next. It is done. Again. Go. Finish off the uh, thing, sir. It's on me, I need something. Wait. It's unrated. 
He's enjoying it. He's being burned. Oh, I soul burned. fucking hate these volcanics. Volcanic. Also, I'm Oom. Yeah. Wow. Why are you Oom? A spells, dude. You're oh, playing nice. Arcane? Maybe you should play Arcane. It's good on this boss. Yeah, you should. On end boss. I can't. Play Too Arcane hard. rated. Swap. Swap your oh, I've only played that during leveling. It's time. I got stuck on the pillar. Didn't feel good. It's going. Let's pull this with the boss. I believe it's time. Look at the statue. Observe it. Look at the bank account. Kill the statue. No, not the auger, rather. Not the statue. We need that. Yeah, the auger's dead. We can just kick the other one. We'll just let it run back in when it spawns. Uh, he's running back now. Yeah, just kick him. Here he comes. Range kick him when he gets there. Get him. Anyone? Uh, rated. He's wild firing you. Anyone? Oh. Good morning. We'll pull this onto the boss when it's just the auger. Kill the first one. My claws will find your heart. Killer. Kill the ad. Have another grip. Me grip. Blood. You do not belong here. The tainted blood has been obtained. Paralysis. Ataldazar's power flows through me. Look at her blood. Misery, said you. Ataldazar's power flows through me. Corruption be purified. Nice baby. What's this? My thanks for killing the Fire. priestess. You have only succeeded in strengthening my hold on the temple. Sounds. Probably done this. Sounds. Plus plus is still fine. 
We overcrank. We cross. Is it? Oh, oh. Uh, that's fine. I didn't get that one. Pick. The sounds of the okay. Did you have dining slash? Kill him. Okay, that's through damp and harm. Oh, we can see all Yeah, because it's a uh, small hits. Uh, oh, hits. yeah. It's only 20%. It's only 20%. Yeah. <laughs> Swords. Alright, well, I uh, will wait a bit actually. Actually, no, we kind of don't. We don't really have that. We don't have that luxury. I'm going in. He'll get it. I believe. Huh. Uh, so I can gripping, it. gripping. I have silence next. Oh, someone's frogged, I think. Get out. No, it's sparrow picked. Uh, okay. Oh, okay. Not oh, sure if that went on me anyway. Yeah, yeah it did. So I just got frogged. Next is Vivi. Wait. The cast is gone. Oh, funny. I have nothing right now. We have Ring of Peace, but that's all. Right. Just trying to send kicks on the uh, kicks on the Witch Doctor. Yeah, we can't. The frogs. <laughs> Fair. Uh, I'm yeah, I'm dead. Huh. Uh, well, no plus plus, but we can still finish it. It's gonna re-roll into the rise. It's all good. Uh, yeah, we still have them in combat, I think. Oh no, we don't. It's unfortunate. Uh. Unlucky. I think you should have waited a little there. Don't snizzle still. Well, I think. And I think Benno just died to one Did you walk thing. into that without sigils? Um. I mean, I had some things. I had, I had like, less than usual. One well, less than you usual. You went into the. pool without an interrupt for the Ubendo. I need the stalkers. I got them. Grip. We got the uh, shit. Oh, wait, Fuckers. what the fuck is this guy doing here? Okay. Fuckers. We went on the wrong side. Silencing now. If this is a black rook, that's a bit tragic. X's. Dude, oh, wait, I'm, wait. Okay. I'm feared here. This, I'm gonna die. Yeah. Well, we just. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Uh, it's still doable. Uh, yeah, right. It's kind of. Yeah, we have a go, but. Calling a CC rotation. We're just yoloing. Need to. Line I'm dead. Goodbye. Uh, uh, I'm in com I should be in combat with him now. Yeah, the dinos. <laughs> we need to move over there because I think the other one's reset. Yeah, they did. Yeah, the other one. Pull. Yeah, let's go. There's the sounds now. Well, I mean, this is going to be exciting. Got him. I gripped. Kicks here. Next is rated. Next two. And my silence. After my silence, it's Vivi, then Blast Wave. I just used that. Blast Wave. Ah, okay. Then it's gonna be Vivi next. And it's my fear. And a Bindo's fear after that. And it's Dragon's Breath and Blast Wave next. Rip and then sounds.
Yeah. Yeah, that's Thanks. nice. That's my fault. I was a little... I was a little tired, to be honest. After the break, I lost my energy. Shouldn't have taken a break. Breaks Same, are a to mistake. be honest. Yeah. I need to wait for the ammo. Let's go. We're still fine, though. We got this. Ten minutes. Pulling. Three, two, one. You are tear you apart! Razan in pieces again. Wait, no, Razan. Volkal. I guess Razan too. I'm gonna go help Square. Start thinking about killing. Can kill now. Guys, look, this is just like Nerf's 34 key. We've got about the same amount of time. Yeah. That's a 29, not a, uh, not a 34. Building his SKB. But I will still be drinking your blood. Oh, he's got seven. He's not. You're fucked, bro. You're actually screwed. How does no. it feel? Oh, wait, no, there was another one? Oh, he got it. Never mind. Yeah. I thought it was over for a minute. You can just hold the what is that double spider? What the fuck is that? Yeah. That's crazy. Oh, Both you need down. to fucking lost in 10. You, you have no food? Yeah. I mean, right. No, I don't. Three. I don't have flavor two, One. Here we go. Ah, uh, drums. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, why don't we just... I drummed. Yeah. We could have just Thick. waited for a second set of CDs, no? Let your soul be no. Shattered. no. I guess not, then. I should have been hit by that. <laughs> just walk through it.
Nice. Sauron goes ahead. Let your soul be shattered. Bro, this fucking spider. Holy. Yeah, that was a. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's one. Nice. That's your mate. Okay. Yeah, I'll be in a second. And I might be able to get you if it's dangerous. That's fine. Okay. On us, we need to move. We'll move a lot when they move. Let's move. Okay. What do you mean by that? Should I have best ice cold thing? I have no grip for this. Kill the ad. Yeah, will die. Soul run is next. Might be a bit awkward with spiders here. This might be a bit cursed. Maybe run quite far, I'd say. Nice work here. Yeah. I require a bus to hit. Yeah, I'm I'm bringing it over. Oh, uh, get that one, I guess. Sigils will be fine from now on. It was a bit scuffed at the start. I double grip the first set, messed it all up. I grab. There we go. It's on me, I need something. Alright. The boss is dead. Kill the boss. I guess, yeah. I guess I don't. Touch the spiders, guys. I'm doing it. He actually died too. What key is it? Please tell me that's Rise. It oh it's full. Fuck! God damn it. That was that was 50-50. Unbelievable. That would have been a, such a sick reroll. Okay. Well, okay, that'll do for today then. Alright, come back and we'll uh Oh actually we probably want to re do we want to reroll re re-roll the rise? Yeah, get get rid of all the nasty shit. Get rid of the Everbloom 29 as well. And just yeah, re-roll the yeah, re-roll the rise and re-roll the Everbloom. Get something we can level up easy, maybe. Throne. Throne? Oh, okay, that's yeah. not that uh, nice. Rated. Yeah, rated re-roll your Wait, shit, what? bro. Oh. Re-roll uh Yoki. Fucking uh, uh, to suck out. You got Everbloom. <laughs> hmm. Okay, that's actually quite cursed. So uh, what's the plan tomorrow then? I guess it's probably the fall. Isn't I think it? 34. Yeah, 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 34 is the plan. Okay, that's good. And then reroll like yes. everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Also, reroll the cancer. Yeah. Uh, wait. Do we like wanna downgrade the weight rest and do it like on 31? Yeah, I think it's th 31 is. Maybe doable. I don't. I think our route is too slow, though. I'd have to do some investigation. It's too slow. Um, because even on thirty, we'd only be a couple of minutes under the timer. I think if it goes pretty smooth, so we'd have to do something. Maybe some trash on boss or something. Maybe some trash on the pig boss somehow. Um. So yeah, we'd have to figure. So I need. I need to. I need to do research for the thirty-one. We're too slow. Oh, well, where the fuck is the black hook? Yeah, it's, it's it doesn't exist. Well, we're getting it from the thirty fall anyway tomorrow. That was a good day though, actually, a very good day. We got the throne, we got the fall, and we got the uh, Everbloom, right? Very good.
It was a good day of progress. I think we're back tomorrow about the same time ish. Uh, right? Yeah, I think that's good for. Is that well? Yeah. I'm yeah. assuming that's good for everyone. Yeah, it's going to be Probably. about the same time tomorrow. Uh, and we just send. Yeah, that's 3.8k is tomorrow. Easy. Easy. 3.8k. That's Yo. it. Yeah. And we will roll. Right. We will roll the rise again. And we will conquer it. It's the, the nemesis uh -huh. key. Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna go play some hots. Good night. Ah, <laughs> very good. Alright, yeah. Good night, boys. I'm out of here. See ya. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, Don't yeah. we have raid on uh, Sunday? Pretty sure uh, we do. Yeah. What do you mean? So, like, we can't go like infinite, right? Well, then we're not. We're not well, I mean, we do. We have to kill like if we keep a full raid. Yeah, but I mean. Oh wait, well, no, you said tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's after But tomorrow is Sunday. Yeah. For no reason. And yeah, we can key after raid on Sunday, right? But, and then, yeah. um, and then we have Monday and Tuesday, and then it's next season. Yeah. And three point eight. Just kill five dude, like dude, we have to get three point eight k, bro. Holy shit, we need to fucking do this. Like, we can do it. It's so free. It is so free. Oh my god. I mean, we just need a a single key. You know? Yeah, we need one key. I and mean, if we can just roll a black crook, we've got it. If we can roll a higher tal, we've got it. Um. If we can roll a dark art, I think we've got it as well. I don't think we can do 30 Everbloom and 30 Throne. That's probably not happening. Yeah, that's probably a little bit rough. Yeah, Sunday is Saras. That's true, actually. Saras. The Breaker. Wait, we're, wait, are we not looking good on Sunday, Sprudel? Ugh, that's not good. It should be. Well, Sprudel says we're negative three. Hmm. That's unfortunate. Wait, on Sunday? Yeah. No, I don't think so. There was a vote for tomorrow, Saturday. and three people yeah. were done. Yeah, that was tomorrow. Oh, like oh a okay. Poll. Oh, never mind. Sure, we should be good on Sunday. Yeah, it's fine then. What are you, uh. I'm attacking to do the it. Dino Squad. <laughs> they don't take any debuffs, though, so I do zero damage to them. Because I can't put brand on them. Or anything. It's just the base damage being applied. I'm surprised uh, the Trinket does that much damage. Fire. I mean, that's yeah. just the pulsing damage, right? It's surprisingly... Yeah, it, it adds up, honestly. I mean, it's uncapped, right? So it's uncapped. Uh, Dude, I'm actually full, up, full RP on Farag. Yeah, you have yeah, every Farag item. Items. Yeah. <laughs> the Legendary, the Rage Heart, and I guess you got the Augury too, right? Yeah. Yeah. And also, I'm getting the main hand yeah, like when we reclear, surely. Yeah. Like the axe. Surely. Alright then, boys. I'm out of it. Good night, lads. See you tomorrow. And then 3.8k. Easy. We reroll. We get the black yeah. rook. We get the rise. Fucking GG. Easy peasy. I'll see you then. Yep. Yeah. Alright. I'm done as well. Oh, man. That was intense. Goodness me. Uh, some good keys, though, actually. I think we played pretty well today. Happy with that. Uh, shame about the rise. We depleted 330 rises, but we're just going to re-roll it tomorrow anyway, so easy, no problem. That last one was my fault. I need to look back. I need to do VOD review on that. Like, that part is just really hard, to be honest. The boss death was stupid. I just used too much at the start. I I, I mean, you know, th there's, there's a universe where I got slightly better fell devastation RNG and I could use it earlier, but I was like one second off fell dev. Uh, that was fucking stupid death, to be honest. I just used too much of the star. I was like, oh, I'm going to fucking blast. Surely I get good enough RNG to use it again for the tank frontal. But yeah, the sand areas is fucking horrible, man. It's um really hard. It's very, very hard to do that. But I can do it. I believe. He just managed the cooldowns correctly there. Like, I mean, no, it wasn't even that. It was fine. I, I just, um, I just stood on the edge. I stood in the sand and died. Like, it's, it's not, it's not even cooldowns. It's whatever. All right. Anyway, I'm done, guys. I'm back tomorrow. We finish off the Guild Wars two tier list and we do more keys. I mean, wow, what a day! What a day of excitement! You, you know, you 
it's you can't beat that. I'll see you guys then, okay? Follow, subscribe, come back, watch every single day. I'll see you guys tomorrow, okay? Take it easy.